This is Minecraft, but everything uh, I touch melts. From melting every block I step on, to every mob I touch, to even entire structures. My goal is to fill the uh, melt meter to 100% and melt the entire planet. But let me show you guys how this works first. So this is a normal grass block. And if we step on it, it goes from gas to magma and it melts to lava. That means everywhere we walk literally burns with us. See this tree right here? I can try mining it like normal, but it also melts when I touch it. And even when I hold items, it also melts. We can also melt the mobs. Sorry, buddy. But on the bright side, if you look at the very top, we got a little bit of progress on the melt the world bar, where our goal is to make it go all the way to the very end, where the entire world is going to be melted. But in the meantime, we got to melt everything we see, including these cows too. <laughs> And slowly but surely, we're getting closer to the first flag where something happens, apparently. Hello, Mr. Villager. This is what happens when we melt a villager. Oh, he's made of fire. Wait, do you trade? Oh, wait, he has a lot of trades. Yo, well, I can't really grab all this stuff, but he trades molten scrap. 10 molten scrap for a blob recipe book. I think we need that. And for a molten compass. So let's real quick grab the door and the torch. That's five molten scrap. Anything in the chest? Oh, we got bread and paper. So we can grab the paper, make more molten scrap. Grab the bread, 17 molten scrap. That is incredible. All right, sir, I will need the blob recipe book and maybe we can grab the molten compass in a bit. All right, it's something. Wait, if we can't get wood, can we do this? Oh my goodness. And so this is our crafting table, the molten crafting table. Oh my gosh, it literally is melted. Can I right click it? Oh, I can. And so is this where we got all the crafts? Oh, so now we can get a molten pickaxe and a molten sword. We just need to stick somehow. Might have an idea. Okay, so low key, when I melt the tree, not only does it melt, but I also get one piece of wood. And if I don't touch the wood with my hand. This is the cursor. Look, my hands are not moving. We can actually craft some sticks. There we go. Okay. And now with the molten grabbing table, we can go ahead and make one molten sword, which I don't think will melt. And it says it might not be super practical, but look, it's all sparkly and stuff. I love it. And then finally, the next craft, which is going to be two sticks and then three scrap. And we get the molten pickaxe, which can apparently mine through anything. Very nice. And it doesn't melt when we hold them. Now let me show you guys caving with the belt touch. Holy that's a big cave. Oh, the bar went up a little bit again. Oh, wait, this mine's so quick. Yo. Oh, wait, I realized we can mine the lava. This might be another craft. Lava block. A block of lava. It's hot. And by that, I mean, ah, <laughs> why did I do that? <laughs> So, wait, can I right click it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Am, am, am I gonna eat lava block? What is going on? Yo! Guys, we found our food. So, in Minecraft, but anything I touch melts, we do not need normal food. We eat lava, apparently. And it works like a golden apple. Very nice. All right, let's grab all these then. Okay, let's go for this iron. And I don't have any other blocks that I can use. So, we're stuck building with lava. Okay, so I don't wanna melt this. So, can I mine it from here? No! Does the pickaxe make everything into magma? Oh, come on. Wait, we did mine one. Okay, wait, no! Guys, in this moment, we can't mine anything. And of course, there's diamonds right in front of me. Really? Why are there diamonds everywhere? Now, what happens if I run in water? Oh, I boil the water. Very cool. Now, this is lava. When we jump into it, we don't take damage, but we can kind of just chill here. Can we get one like and one sub for the lava bath? All right, let's get to the first flag. Melting montage. Oh, we did it. Now that's going to be 10%. We got to defeat a molten golem. All right, time to make the molten golem, where we pretty much just make a normal iron golem thing, but because it's the melt thing, uh, this is kind of all backwards, but with this... Oh, there he is! Oh, okay, he does a lot of damage. All right, buddy, take some molten sword. He, he has had better days. Oh, gosh, okay, he doesn't have a boss bar. Oh, my gosh, that could have been bad. Good thing we can eat some lava blocks. Get some golden apple hearts there. Oh, and there we go. Now we have powers and hands. Oh, and what is that? And so now we got Golem's Boots. Boots made of molten scrap. And I think with these... Oh, we can convert a bigger area. Our melting powers have increased. And I think we also got something with a sword where we can now now we've been launch melting powers. Oh my gosh, wait, we're already halfway through the bar. Let's continue the melting. Hold up, can I projectile melt a chicken? Um, no, I actually cooked that chicken. Oh gosh. Wait, does that mean I have food? Nope, it still gets made into scrap. All right, let's keep melting. Oh, we got even more food. Hold up, I need all this. Let's get all the scrap we can. Melt some of the house, melt the village. Now let's melt everything. Let's go. Oh gosh, the lag. Oh, we had 20%. Getting closer to 100 and our new mission is to melt the entire village. I just got some coordinates. This is a melted village. And now this is literally a frozen village. How did you guys get so much ice? So here's the plan. I'm going to get all the way up there and I'm going to melt it from the top. We need a lot of blocks though. Luckily, we can get all the lava we ever want. Can I break it with my hand? Oh, I guess this is fast too. Okay, 64 should be good. Now all we got to do is real quick stack all the way up. Okay, I think we just have a 
almost the perfect amount of blocks. Oh, wait, that was the perfect amount. Is this a four block jump though? Hold up, I can just break this. Oh, wow. Okay, water. Well, let's step on the water. And now let's begin the plan. We're gonna slowly but surely convert all the water on top into water blocks. Wait, are those water blocks? Oh, they are. Sick. And then it becomes normal water block. Now let's roll quick in super fast mode and walk through all the ice on top. And now with the hint of a bunch of fire particles. Is this enough? Guys, I think I may have overdone it. Oh, that worked. Yo, and now we can boil it. Okay, now let's just boil and sooner or later. Oh gosh, everything's shaking. Come on. Yes, we melted the village. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, I'm already melting the actual village too. Okay, um, anyone home? Looks pretty empty. There's no villagers. Wait, hold on. Did you guys hear that? What is that? Why are all the villagers in one village house with no dogs? All right, let me save you guys real quick. Oh, no. Guys, I think I just made every villager into a melting villager. Oh, gosh, I'm stuck in here with them. My friends be free. Oh, I think that's mission complete. Oh, that's powers enhanced. Let's let these guys disperse real quick. Okay, now they dispersed. Now, Mr. Villager, do you have any new traits? Oh, wait, we never got the molten compass. I guess we can grab this next. It always points to the hottest place. So, does it want me to go that way? Or can I convert a bigger area now? Well, we can still melt things at a pretty quick rate. And I guess if we want to get 30% now... Why don't we just melt this entire forest? There you go, something. Go on, molten sword. Let's lag the game. Oh, yep, that, that, that's, a, that's a lot of lag. Oh, that worked. Now we got a molten mansion. Gonna guess that's that way. All right, let's see where this leads us. Oh, yep, this is a frozen mansion. My only mission is to melt it. Oh, and there's ice soldiers. Yo, hold up. You were supposed to be in Minecraft. Let's real quick take you down, and he drops nothing. Well, let's actually burn this in our hands. So far, so good. I guess we just walk around and melt the place. Maybe we can find something here. Oh, wait, do you guys hear that, though? I think we have some prisoners. Okay, well, let's look for these guys. Nothing here. Oh, normal pillager. Let's take you down. Good time to eat some lava blocks, too. Oh, and here they are. All right, find the prisoners. They got both villagers and allies here. All right, everyone, please come out. Let's real quick uh, turn you guys into melted. Oh, my gosh, I melted myself in. Let's set all of you guys free. Another pillager. And I think this might be the last of all the prisoners. Is this good? Oh, nice. Well, good news. We freed all the prisoners, and we unlocked a new ability, which is this, apparently. Oh, what does this do? Oh, well, that's one way to melt the mansion. So literally, we can just keep doing this over and over again, and it melts everything. Super blast. How's it going, buddy? You come here often? Uh, oh, oh my gosh, wait. Oh, I oh, forgot about this guy. Come on, you burn. There we go. And you're free too. Let's eat some lava blocks to celebrate. Burn some more of this mansion, and it looks like we're approaching the next flag. Oh, and also a bunch more mobs. Okay, molten sword, do your thing. Melt everything. I'm very curious what abilities we get once we hit 100%. Now to finish it off, what if we spam the ability in the forest? Come on, let's burn the entire forest. Go on! Yo! Oh, and that's 40%. Now we gotta melt a desert temple. Why well, salute you, mansion? Let's go find a desert. By the way, this is what happens when I go up to ice. It all becomes water. Nice! Might as well get some more water. It also says a block of water. It's not hot for now, huh? Anyways, time for a desert. So we found a temple, but these guys spawned with them too. Yo, all right, time to take out the ancient guards. One easy way is real quick to have all of them chase me down. I guess I can't really melt these guys. Come on, all of you, get over here. Let's get every ancient guard in one spot. And now without further ado, fire in the fire. Oh gosh, and now they're easy to kill. Good old one hits. Let's do a couple more of those. Eat some more lava blocks, get the rest of them. And I guess we can do these guys too like this. Oh my gosh, we're actually just straight up melting this temple. Finally, you guys do. Kind of weird that can't melt them. And final one. That's a lot better. Now to literally melt a temple, which I'm gonna guess we can just do this real quick. And wow, that was quick. Now let's go to the center and spam our new attack. Here we go. Oh, oh, I'm at spot. Let's real quick do that too. One of those, one of those. And before we complete the mission, I guess we can also check what's at the bottom. Oh, wait, can I loot this without melting it? That is the new task and new mission. Oh gosh, the curse of melting is tough. Oh no, 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 no. Please don't melt the chest. Please don't melt the chest. Oh, wait, I just grabbed the items. Wait, is the TNT gonna be melted? Yes! Melted TNT. Very nice. Can I loot this normally? Oh, nope. It kind of just burnt all the items. Well, there goes that. Oh, but we did end up with some loot. Which yeah. still burns into scrap. Oh, well. Well, almost mission complete. We just gotta go up here. And I really only got two spots left. Alright, let's melt you there. And final spot right here. This should get the job done. And we did it! That's Pirates and Hits. I think that gave us new power. I guess I'll press the new button. Oh, what? It summons one of these guys! Yo! What's up, buddy? Does he do anything? Uh, does he just gotta sit there? I think 
think he fights stuff for me. Wait, does he burn stuff then? Oh, he does. Okay, wait, when I push him that way, he burns everything in his path. Look at him go. And that made the bar go up a little bit. So what if I summon a lot of them? All right, let's get a lot of them coming up. There they are. My minions go around the world and spread the melt. I hope you guys out too. We're almost halfway to the top. See that village over there? Well, if you don't mind me, I'm going to spawn a zombie there. There, 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 there. Let's uh, spawn a good bit of these guys. Oh my gosh, look how quick they did this. Sorry about that, guys. Zombie there. There, there, there. Let's get some zombies up there too. Do your job over there. Oh, and we have 50%. New mission, a pillager outpost. All right, time to find a pillager outpost. All right, we got to the outpost and I think this should be pretty straightforward. Oh, wait, why do they have names? What is going on? What is wrong with this guy? Oh, no, wait, he's melted now. Yo, we have a melted ravager. Hold on. Can I ride this guy? Oh, this is crazy. We can melt the Ravager. Can I melt you guys? Nope, can't melt these guys. I actually gotta defeat them. All right, let's do that real quick. Go in here and use our super melting powers as we go up. Oh gosh, okay, that's making the bar go up. Wonder if my husks can help too. Come on, husks, go to your thing. Nope, they're just standing there. All right, let's do this the old fashioned way. Take you and you. Good job, man. And I think from it, we literally get a Ravager we can ride. Yo, our melting powers are getting more powerful. Let's real quick keep upping the bar a little bit with the power of the Ravager. We can even melt all these guys as we go. Oh, this is crazy. Look at them. Sorry. Uh, get out of the way, buddy. Good old man grow biome. And we can melt it too. What if I just run through it? Oh, this is crazy, guys. Yo! Out of the way. We are melting everything. Let's do one of these. All right. Let's melt all you guys too. Oh, and that's 60%. Brand new mission unlocked. Now we got to melt the forest. Again, I got some coordinates for whatever this place is. All right, Miss Ravager. Let's go over there. Yep. That's the forest. What is this guy doing here? Hey. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, they're attacking me. All right, Miss Ravager. Stay right there. I guess these guys are protecting the forest. All right, let's cross real quick. Use some of our attacks. Oh, that's one easy way to take him down. And now, like the top says, let's melt the forest. Real quick, take you down too. How many of you guys are there? I completely forgot, by the way, that we can literally just break the bottom oak log right here. And that melts too. All right, hold up. There we go. Nice melted tree. Now for the entire thing. Ravager, I think it's time. Let's get on you. Here we go. Let's melt the entire forest. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. No forest were hurt in the making of this video, but besides this one, okay, this one's kind of hurt. And now with this last one, we did it! The entire forest is literally gone. And I think that's mission complete. And now the only thing left to do is to get to the next little thing on the bar where I think we actually got a bigger range with everything. Oh! Holy! That is stronger now. Alright, let's convert everything into lava. Oh gosh! Well, now that's 70%. Oh my gosh. Anyways, the mission is now to melt the deep dark. Oh gosh. Gonna guess we gotta go caving again. Last land of the water. And this might take a bit. Give me a sec. Guys, we found it. Hold on. We might be onto something. Also, quick update. We still can't mine these. Oh, wait, no, I just mined it. Yes. Oh, no, it became scrap. Okay, never mind. Still can't mine it. Oh, my hunter's right. Ancient city. I wonder if we're supposed to melt a warden. Hold on. I guess I just gotta make a bunch of noise. All right, Mr. Warden, come out. I guess I don't wanna melt these guys. Can I melt them? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, so I gotta be careful if I actually wanna get one. Warden, I'm making all the noise in the world. Come on, come on. Uh, any wardens? Any wardens? I mean, it's just a normal ancient city, and we pretty much are melting everything. Oh, and here's the portal. Okay. Is that gonna spawn one? No, that's not gonna spawn one either. Maybe these? Oh gosh. Anything in the chest? No, just project all books. Oh, come on. Will these spawn them? Oh wait, I think I hear them. Wait, did I actually spawn in a warden? Wait, there actually is spawning one. Yo, what's up, buddy? All right, so now do I just like touch them and melt them? All right, I am just gonna slap you once. Oh, and that actually worked. We got warden puddle in Minecraft. Amazing. And what the heck is this? Oh my gosh, wait, that's another one. Uh, nope, uh, we're melting you too. Okay, I got two of them. Ancient towers compass. I have no idea what that is for. Oh, did that lead me somewhere? Let's uh, melt the deep dark and then investigate this. All right, time to bring out the big guns. And so now with that last one, let me show you guys the melted dark. We did it. And we got a new ability with it. Apparently I pressed this button. What does this do? Oh gosh, what's that noise? Oh, wait, I have a sonic boom now. Hold up. Yo, very cool. Now to figure out what this thing does. Let's get to the surface and try to use it. Okay, so I was trying to get on a mountain and this is just goofy. What is going on here? Anyways, I guess I'll just throw it here and see where it goes. Oh, wait, it's going this way. It's like an eye of ender. All right, we're going that way then. Let's use some editing magic in three, two, one. Oh, and we hit 80%. Oh wait, I think that's it. We're supposed to now melt the fire temp one. Holy cow. That thing is massive. It even has a bridge for us. Well, we're almost to the very end of the bar at the top. So without further ado, let's cross this bridge real quick before it breaks. One bridge closer to melting the entire world. Okay, so... 
do I go to the first floor? Doesn't look like it. I think I might have to climb all these stairs. What the heck is gonna be all the way up here? Oh my gosh. Okay, that took forever. But what is this? Place poppies in hoppers. What? Is this supposed to be a puzzle? I don't think we have time for puzzles. I'm gonna melt the puzzle anyways. All right, let's melt you and melt you. We don't got time for puzzles. Oh, and wait, we made some water. We can ride all the way down. Take us down. I think we solved the puzzle. Oh gosh, wait, no, let's just not fall. Okay, looks like there's some melting already down there too. What are we gonna find down here? I mean, it is the fire temple. We already have fire all over the place. Let's get down here safely. And what does this pressure plate do? Does that do anything? I don't think so. There's a door right there. And I mean, low key, we can uh, skip all the puzzles because we can just melt the door just like this. Oh, oh, what the heck? Okay, let's actually break the door. And now we can go all the way down. All right, what do we got down here? Oh, more puzzles. Very nice. Let's melt the puzzle here. And let's melt the puzzle over here. We say no to the puzzles. Anything in the dispenser? Nope. Easier solutions when everything you touch melts. And I think the door was right here. Perfect. Oh, gosh. Okay, these blocks are getting a bit more menacing. All right, another room here. And oh, my gosh. What is that thing? Gonna guess that's what we need to defeat to complete this one. All right. Am I landing on lava? Is that lava block of lava? Guess only one way to find out. Here we go. Please don't fall damage. Oh, yes. We're good. We're good. We're good. Time for the boss battle. Let's see real quick. Shoot some fire at him. And oh, gosh. Maybe I shot too much. Oh, he's coming straight at me, isn't he? All right. Get over here, buddy. Use some fire real quick. And holy, they do so much damage. Okay, we gotta run. We gotta run. There's so many of them. Go on, fire attack. Let's hit those guys there. Okay, the little guys are going down. Fire attacks are good. I can also use my uh, sonic boom attack. Sonic boom. Nice. Hopefully, if I take down the main guy, all the other ones go down. Couple more hits. And he's down. And we celebrate with some good old lava. Oh, and all the little ones disappear too. What did he drop? Molten eyes. Am I supposed to go into the end now with these? Oh, wait. The bar goes up every time I put in an eye. So is this going to be the final boss area? We might be getting the ultimate power very soon. All right, let's put in all these guys real quick. Oh, and it really is its own thing. All we got to do now is slay the dragon. What's that machine over there though for? Does the mod give me like a bonus level over here? I feel like there's no time for games. And when I right click it, it just gives me an error message. So let's just get straight to the dragon. Okay, portal is lit. We have one little bit of bar left to go. Let's go melt the dragon. Oh, wait, what? the heck? This is already melted. Oh, yo! It's a fire dragon! Okay, that looks sick. All right, first off, let me summon some minions. Husks, come out here. Let's go all the way up, and I feel like the best way to fight this guy will probably be with a sword projectile. So, does this damage him? Come on, fire things, do your thing. Don't think I can melt a fire guy. Oh, he needs to be in my range. Oh, wait, that does good damage. Now, what if we explode in front of him? We might have to do this old-fashioned way. All right, first, let's break the crystals. Let me sonic boom, and oh, it worked! All right, then let's now Sonic Boom, this one. Oh, that's another one. And this one. And this one. There we go. And now with all those done, let's actually destroy this guy via the sword. Come on. Oh, this is great damage. Come here, buddy. Fire Dragon got nothing on the Melton. Oh, nice hits. Nice hits. And he's down. Let's go. Down goes the dragon. And that's powers enhanced. We have one last mission, guys. With them dead, we unlocked a new ability, which I think will make the mission very possible. Melt the world. Let's go back into the world. Oh, we're back here. Now to show you guys the final super ability. Once I press this, everything is gonna be melted. Here we go in three, two, one. Here it comes! Oh my gosh! Guys, this is how we melt the world in Minecraft. An infinite melting meteor shower. Where you see the world right there. It is melting as we speak, guys. I am lagging out. We are on to the next challenge. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great one. And here is the next video. This is Minecraft, but the sun melts you. Today, the sun will be turning me into a liquid. From sweating myself to be out of a puddle to melting down to an ice cream cone to even turning into soup? My goal is to reach 100% melted form, but to get there, I'm gonna need to make the sun as big as possible. So, how can I move if I become a liquid? And how big can the sun even get? Stay tuned to find out. Oh my gosh, the sun is so small! So right now we're 100% solid, where because the sun is so small, the entire village is also pretty much frozen. So our goal right now is to stack some villagers according to the top. So do I just like talk to you? Oh, I can straight up pick up the villagers. And now that I have a villager, do I give it to one of you? Oh, wait, the totem pole master. Wait, right click? Oh, wait, we're stacking up all the villagers to that mini sun. Hold up, guys. One sec. We're trying to get to the sun and make it bigger. Oh, they're going higher and higher. Okay, seven villagers so far, and now 
we need three more. So let me grab you. Let me grab you. And let me grab you. And so now with the three villagers, do I just like stack it up? All right. One, two, three. Hey there. You trying to stack the villagers? That's my job, man. Let me help. Wait, where do they come from? Oh, they're just adding to it. Oh, wait, they're actually getting pretty close. Oh, what is going on? Oh, they made the sun bigger. Oh my. Guys, it, it's, it's, it's raiding fire villagers. Wait, what the heck? And so with that being done, that's going to be the advantage of Tricky Towers, which is make a tower to reach the sun. And so now the sun definitely got a lot bigger. But now that we got the advancement, we got a sun drop, which says linked with the sun. Wait, so do I just eat this? Oh, melting increase and you're dripping sweat. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely getting a lot harder if I'm sweating. My goodness. And a cult nearby was spawned in the desert. Oh gosh. I'm going to guess that's for the next advancement. But before we get to that, we have another ability unlocked, which is going to be the sweaty bomb. Did I just press it? Oh, it's a bomb made of sweat. Now let's go through a thousand blocks away and find whatever cult this is. All right, so it's taking us straight to a desert cult, but what the heck is a desert cult? Oh, welcome friend. If you wish to join, you must recruit three other followers. Return to me when you have done so. So wait, we got to recruit followers. I did pass by a village over there. Give me one second, buddy. By the way, next advancement's on the screen right now. It's going to be return home, whatever that means. All right, let's get to that village and get some recruiters. Oh, if I go up to them, they have a recruit name. Wait, so did I just right click them? Oh. Oh, join a cult? Sure. All right, guys, let's uh, go ahead and join the cult. By the way, don't do this at home. I am just doing this for villager purposes. Here we go. Let's go and grab two. Number three. Straight this way, gentlemen. All right, Mr. Guard, we got the villagers right here. And can I go inside now? Excellent. Now we must gather cows for your entrance ceremony. Two are needed. Wait, two cows? What, what is the entrance ceremony then? So now we got two golden leads, which is for the chosen animals only. All right, let's try to find some cows. Oh, we got some cows. Okay, so uh, do I just right click you? Oh, why is it on top of my head? All right, that's going to be one cow. And with the golden lead, I just grab the other one. And there we go. All right, two cows come right this way. All right, Mr. Guard, we got the cows. Here you go. Take those right there. And beautiful creatures you've chosen. Follow me. Oh, okay. All right. I guess we're going straight inside the coal. So do I just like walk inside? Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. What is happening right now, buddy? It's just speaking random stuff. Do as I do, brother. Wait, well, what are we doing? We do I throw the cow in there? Cow, I am so sorry about this. But goodbye. Oh, there we go. You're now one of us, Accessorio. May the sun rays shine on you. Um, and so now there's an item up there, which is a sunstone. Let me grab that and... Oh, what the heck? All right, sunstone. This seems misplaced. All right, am I supposed to put this somewhere? Oh, wait, what is this room? Cult members only. Wait, can I go inside there now? Oh, I can. Oh, and I guess we put the sunstone around here. Do I just, like, put it on the wall? Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, now that we have the sunstone on the wall, does something happen? Oh, the sun is growing in size. Oh, and that's gonna be the advancement complete. And yeah again, we get another sun drop because I'm gonna guess that once we walk out of here, the sun's about to be a lot bigger. So real quick, let's see how big the sun got. And oh my, what the heck? And now let's take the sun drop. Right click, melting increase, and you turn into melted butter? Wait, what? Oh my. Guys, I, I, I'm I literally butter right now. What? And now we got a brand new ability, which is fire bending. Huh? Okay. Oh, Oh, that's sick. Oh, oh gosh, we might burn down the coal. You know what? Let's walk away right now. And our next challenge is to try pulling the sun even closer. Wait, how am I supposed to pull that even closer, guys? So as you can see, we're now 60% solid at the very top, but that's not 0% yet. We gotta make it even bigger where it's gonna be the entire screen. So next advancement on the screen right now, which is gonna be real or in. Hold up, I think I found something. Wait, what, what is that over there? Oh, fisherman. Oh, I'm gonna guess this guy might be the guy that fishes the sun. Um, all right, how's it going, Mr. Fisherman? Hmm, you want to fish the sun? Sure. Oh, oh, he straight up just gave me the rod. All right, let's pull. Okay, that, that's definitely not long enough. Yeah, I'm surprised you thought that would work. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm being roasted by the villager. Wait, 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 who's this guy? Ah, trying to fish the sun? It's said in the old wise tales that you'll need the moon wolf fur for that task. What the heck is the moon wolf fur? And where did you come from? Oh, wait, oh, buddy got good trades. Oh, and he has a moon forest tracker for one redstone dust. Oh, and also 20 gold for a diamond dust. My goodness, he has some good prices. You know what? It might be time we go caving real quick just to get some stuff. All right, time to get some iron. And we got the redstone right there. Okay, one redstone. There we go. And now we should be good to go up. 20 oak planks. There we go. Let's get some diamonds. Why not? One good old diamond chest plate, which I don't even know if I can wear that when I become a puddle. And then finally, a moon forest tracker. Not for the faint of heart. All right, let's grab all those. And so now that I'm melting like butter, can I even wear a chest plate? Oh no! I just scammed myself. It won't let me wear a chest plate now that I don't have a full body. So we're pretty much just stuck making a diamond sword. All right, diamond sword. There we go. And let's use this tracker. All right, so it's straight this way. 
And my goodness, that sun is about to be so big once I get that fishing rod. All right, Cole. Hope you guys are having a great day. I do quit the cold, by the way, because it's not good for press. All right, let's go this way. All right, this does look like a moon forest. I guess let's get deeper in. Oh, this might be it right here. Is this like a cave? Oh, it is. I don't even know what I'm supposed to get here. Oh, I think I found out, guys. So that's a moon wolf. And I mean, we have our sweat bombs and fire things. Hello? Okay. No, 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 no. The, the, the dog doesn't want pets. All right, might be time. Go on, water bombs. Get them. I'm so sorry, dogs. And down goes the moon dog. Oh, and that, that's the moon wolf fur, I guess. Is this all I needed? Oh, moon wolf fur. It looks like a pure moonlight. So did I need one of these or two of these? Let me look around real quick. I think this might be enough. Oh, there might be two of them. Guys, this is cave number one. And this is cave number two. Wait, is there another doggo? Oh, yep. There it is. All right, let's make this quick. Go on, sweat bombs. Get him. I'm so sorry, doggo. And there he goes. And last thing of the moon wolf fur. So I think this might be everything I need now. All right, let's go back to the fisherman. Okay, so now that we're back in the fisherman, we actually unlocked a brand new craft. So I'm going to guess I don't actually have to talk to him. But instead, on the screen right now, we got to make that. So I got to get some oak logs. One sec. Okay, now we got the oak logs. And I guess we just do three of those and then the moon fur. And now we have a moon fishing rod. Sturdy as the moon itself. Wait, am I fishing the moon or am I fishing the sun? So I'm going to guess I just point it at the sun again and then I throw it. Oh, gosh. All right, here we go. Right click. Didn't quite make it. Try again. Oh, yep, yep. It kind of fell. All right, here we go again. That was way closer. One more time. Okay, last one. Come on. Wait, Yes. Guys, the sun just got so much bigger. So that's going to be the video we've done on the screen. And now we got yet again another sun drop. So, sun, let's see how much you're going to melt me. Right click. Melting increase. And you look like you need a cone. Wait, what? F5? Oh, we are now 40% solid. And I'm like a slushy slush. Well, whatever that means. Make a cone quickly before you melt away. Okay, wait. So how do I get a cone? Oh, okay. We were given a question mark, question mark, question mark compass. Going somewhere cold. And now we got to go 1,500 blocks away. Wait, am I going to become ice cream? Oh, gosh. By the way, we also got a brand new ability, which is Sweet Sweep with H. So let's press H. Oh, oh, wait. What the heck? It's like an ice cream thing. Oh, and it's Oreo. Get it? Because it's Texas story up. Yep, yep. Okay, let's uh let's go to go 1500 blocks away and do our next advancement. Oh, is this what we're going to? Okay. Hello. <sighs> oh, oh my goodness. Wow, I want ice cream. Give me ice cream. Okay, dang. But he really wants ice cream. Wait, what is this? A spoon. When does a spoon become a shovel? Um, wait, what am I supposed to mind this? Oh, it gives us ice cream. Go ahead and let me know your favorite ice cream flavor in the comments down below. Unless I guess you can't really eat ice cream. Then that's okay too. Okay, got your ice cream, buddy. And also this is for the next advancement on the screen, which is X Factorio. All right, here you go. Buddy. An icky yucky. That's the wrong ice cream. What? Oh, and now he's fighting me. All right. You know what? I, I'm, I'm done with this guy. With their new ability of the ice cream power, let's take this guy down. And down he goes. No, that was my baby. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait who's baby? Oh, 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 gosh. Um, and now we got to fight the ice golem. All right. Get over here, buddy. X ice cream story. It's going to just use this. Oh, oh, my gosh. We said I'm jumping. I think it might be time we go in and fire bend. Go on, fire bending. Get him. Oh, it's working. Yes. Global warmings. And down goes the ice guy. A lot of fire. Let's go and grab those things. And so now we have an ice cream cone. Perfect vessel for ice cream. And also an ice cream factory key. Right. First, let's try the ice cream cone. And, uh... Oh! And it fit us! Yo! And now we have the accessorial ice cream. <laughs> what? Why am I an ice cream cone? Okay. So I'm gonna guess that's not the advanced we're done yet. We gotta go to the factory so we can actually do it. Oh, and the factory is straight this way, I think. All right. I guess we're doing capitalism today in the Minecraft video. Sounds good. Good. I like the X on the comb, by the way. Reminds me of the merch on the screen right now. Go ahead and get yourself some merch or a poster. Maybe you'll like it. Oh, and that's going to be the factory right there. Oh my goodness. What a sad looking place. Hello? Oh, oh gosh. Excuse me. Could you help me, please? What just happened to the factory? I messed up and instead of hiring a construction company, I hired a destruction company. Could you build a new plant? I'll give you a huge reward. Rebuild the factory. I literally just got here. How did this happen when I just got here? Oh gosh. Okay, let's do this, guys. I'm going to repair all the burning stuff with a flammable wood, and that should be good enough. All right, now that I'm looking at all the damages, guys, I might need some help. So real quick, let me message a friend. Yo, Mongo, what's up, buddy? Yo, why do you look like that, Nestor? <laughs> okay, you know, ignore how I'm a piece of ice cream. Wait, we got some bigger business to do. Okay, so you see that right there? That right there is an ice cream factory. And it kind of kind of just blew up, so we got to repair it. And I only have one thing to repair it with. And inside, we have snow. So we're going to repair the factory with snow. Might not work out. And also some ice cream if you'd like the ice cream. But uh, that, that's pretty much it, Mongo. We're just going in there and then just going to build it, okay? Yeah, I would love some ice cream, but you definitely need help with this first. So I got 
got you. Now. All right, all right, buddy. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We put the snow there. Ignore the fires. Global <laughs> warming is not real, and we're just gonna pretty much like uh, fix it up. I don't even know how it looks. This might take a while, Nestor. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I'm, I'm gonna let you go ahead and do it while I kind of sit here. So real quick, what the power of editing? Watch this in three, two, one, and we're back. Okay, factory's completely done. And Mongo, I do appreciate it, buddy. Let's go ahead and introduce it. This is gonna be Exus Storio's ice cream factor. Uh, we, we didn't have room for the Y, so it's just factor, and uh, that, that's pretty much it, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, it looks pretty nice, Nestor, but I gotta say, I have to go. I have some business to go through, so I'm out of here, Nestor. Uh, oh, 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 okay. B but he just literally put himself in lava. Okay. Anyways, so now that we have the factory done, I think I gotta talk to the CEO. Are you the CEO? I forgot who the CEO was. It's been a bit. Oh, CEO, what's up, buddy? This is perfect. I'll be selling more ice cream in no time. Oh, I thought it was my ice cream factory. Oh. And that's gonna be advanced down on the screen. And now we got a jackhammer. Wait, what does a jackhammer do? Oh, apparently it's to mine. Okay, I guess we got a factory tool. Oh, the factory's on. Oh, wait. What the heck happened to the sun? Oh, wait, it's because of global warmings, isn't it? And not only that, but we get the next sun drop. Which, so what are we gonna become now? All right, let's right click it. Oh, there we go. Melting increase. And he became a puddle with arms? Oh my. Guys, it's getting way too hot. We are now 30% solid. And wait, who are you? OSHA inspector. This factory's not up to code. Just look at all this smoke. Oh, yep. Uh, that's a lot of smoke. Bribe the OSHA inspector. Wait, what? Okay, uh, one sec, buddy. I'm gonna need to bribe you as a puddle. We gotta get some gold, though. Before we do that, by the way, we got a new ability where we can press Y to pick up trees? Huh? Wait, let me go up to this thing and... Oh! Wait, we can pick up the tree! Wait, so what do I do with the tree? Uh, oh, oh, I, I guess we're now also countering global warmings by planting even bigger trees. Very nice. And now with the jackhammer, let's try to bribe the guy by getting some gold. All right, let's get this gold. Come on. Oh, 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 okay. Don't, don't use the jackhammer on those things. Let's maybe do it the old fashioned way and use our own big axe. All right, one gold. And now let's get to the good part. All right, buddy, we got the gold ingots here. Go take all 16. And he says, looks like I have the wrong location. Everything is perfectly fine here. All right, there we go. Okay, so I guess our factory continues to make that thing. Well, might as well make the most of it. Say maybe even toss in some trees to make it bigger. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What do you mean toss in some trees? Oh, wait, are we trying to make a bigger fire? Let's, I guess, throw some trees in there. Oh, because the trees burn too. All right, one sec. Let's grab as many trees as we can. Holy, it's already burning. Okay, let's go with trees. Get it, get in. Oh, not bad. Maybe some houses could do even better. Wait, 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 wait. What does this man mean houses? We are literally burning a giant hole. Okay, whatever he says, let's go ahead and get the houses right here. Wait, can I just pick these guys up as a blob? Oh, oh, I am so sorry, guys. Don't mind me, Judge. Just a piece of blob. That's gonna be the last house. And now I just gotta throw the house into the fires too. I never mentioned the advancement, guys, but now we gotta do space realtor. Whatever that means, but I guess let's just throw this in there oh all right that's one house another flammable house number three and there they go okay this might be a bit too hot can you get rid of it wait am i supposed to pick that up oh gosh okay i guess we're going in oh gosh oh gosh okay okay don't mind me i am just making my way inside i'm gonna guess this is it do i just pick this up oh I think I picked it up. Oh, gosh. Guys, it is so big I'm inside of it. But we got a rubble ball. Oh, my. It's literally the size of the inventory. Mr. CEO, I think I fixed it. Try throwing it at the sun. Oh. <laughs> okay. One sec. Let me real quick sack all the way up. And this might be a big hazard. But I guess now that the factory is gone, we got to make the sun bigger somehow. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, go. Oh my gosh, look at that thing go. Oh gosh, I think it landed. So what happens now? Oh, it got bigger. Yo, and so that's gonna be the man to down on the screen. Oh, and we got another sun drop. So now that the sun's bigger, how melted are we gonna be now? Right click, melting increase, and huh? huh? Oh, I'm a bowl of soup. Why am I a bowl of soup? Wait, what is that noise? Um, hello? Follow that laughter. Apparently, I gotta go find a witch. But before we do that, we did unlock a new ability, which is Spoon Slam. Uh, Spoon Slam? Wait, whoa, 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 what is that? Oh my! Oh! I am so sorry, guys! I will not be using the Spoon Slam until further notice. Let's awkwardly walk away and get to our next advancement, which is gonna be Soup's First Steps. What? Well, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i walking right now as a soup. Okay, all right, let's follow the, the witch, and it's gonna be straight this way over here. Oh, there it is, guys. Okay, so random witch hut and X Soup Storio is coming in. How's it going, witch? Hello, X Storio. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> you don't know me, but I know you. I see your soup. How ironic. Well, how, how is that ironic? I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> I'm making soup myself. Could you help me out and build me a bowl? Oh, oh, you're making a soup. Okay. I'm gonna guess we gotta straight up build a bowl then. All right, I'm not really sure what it means like a, like a bowl, so I'm gonna make probably the smallest bowl ever, but it's all good. And now we have a bowl. 
Oh, there we go. Okay. Honestly, it doesn't look that bad. I would say it's not one of my worst builds. All right, Watch. Got the bowl done. What do we got to do now? I'm not strong enough to lift everything else. If you help me make it, I'll give you a tool to help you later. Oh, wait. So we're cooking a soup. Recipe. Quite the list. Wait, what would have gone the recipe? Oh. Five cows, four pigs, two sheep, one chicken, 32 wheat, and 32 sugarcane. Okay. Let's go find the mobs real quick then. And then I guess throw them in that. All right. One side. All right. Let's get some sheep real quick. There we go. I guess we can just straight up grab the sheep. All right. Three sheep. That's done. Now we also got to get one chicken. Let's grab you real quick. And oh gosh, now we also have a chicken. My goodness. Come on, pigs. Let me grab you real quick. One big, two big. And let's get that last pig right there. Very nice. I need that sugar cane too. All we need now is wheat and cows. Found the cows. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right. All we got to get now is wheat. Shouldn't be too hard because I guess we just have some hay bales here. And I think if we just grab four of them, that should be all we need. So a couple hay bales. There we go. Okay. Let's make some soup. All right, Miss Witch. I got you everything you need. Here you go. A bunch of sugarcane. All right, 32 sugarcane. And now 32 wheat. And I think we should be good with the first ingredients. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Now for the meat. Okay, there you go. Get your cows. All five cows. One chicken. Four pigs. And then finally, I think it was three sheep. Oh, there we go. I forgot an ingredient. Could you get me some gunpowder? Huh? We gotta make this spicy. Oh, oh gosh. All right. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's safe, but I guess let's go in the cave. Okay, finally, creeper. Hold up, hold up. You're getting beat up by a piece of soup. Did we get gunpowder? No gunpowder. My goodness. Oh, and another creeper in diamonds. Oh, oh, okay. I do appreciate it, buddy. We are trying to get to 5 million subscribers, but let's go ahead and take you down. Okay, calm down, calm down. One more hit. Oh, we got the two gunpowder. Nice. All right, why not? Let's go ahead and mine the diamond there real quick. One diamond. And now with the power of editing, let's go back to the witch in three, two, one, and we're back. All right, here we go. Two gunpowder. And perfect. Now to make the soup. Oh, gosh. Wait, how are you going to make the soup then? Oh, wait, she teleported. Oh, she's right here. Uh, she really be making that soup. Oh! Wait, 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 what just happened? What is that thing? Did that thing just jump into the sun? Guys, the soup just said, thank you, father. I now must fulfill my duty. What the heck just happened? <laughs> Honestly, not the worst thing that's happened in this video. All right. That's going to be advancing down on the screen. And what the heck? Sheep, you can be free. Oh. <laughs> Why, why did the sheep just spawn as a pig? You know what? Have a great day, pig. Anyways, we got the next sun drop. Let's see what we become now. Here we go. Melting increase yet again. And just your average glass of nester. Wait, what? Oh, oh my. Yo, I'm a glass of water. And so we got a new ability to press ice cube throw. Ice cube throw? Oh, oh, oh. Well, uh, I'm sorry about the house, by the way. Anyways, we got a message saying the sun still isn't hot enough. Yeah, apparently. Find even more hot things. Wait, where am I supposed to find more hot things? Maybe the advanced a clue on the screen right now. Nether sunny side up. Bring the nether to the sun? Wait, how am I supposed to bring the nether to the overworld? Oh, wait. That wasn't there before. Knowledge cave. Hold up. Let me take you down. Wait, so did something change about here? Oh, dead skeleton and dead skeleton spotter. Wait, what, what does dead skeleton do? Does he do anything? No? Maybe the chest? Oh, that is not a normal chest. And inside we have a book of knowledge. Oh, okay. And skeleton soup. All right, let's walk away before a glass breaks. Okay, book of knowledge. Let's right click you. And oh, new crafts unlocked. So now on the screen, these are the brand new parts we unlocked where i see now that we can make a portal mover and a cannon huh all right before anything let's go get the stuff there we go that should definitely be enough for it and now let's go ahead and get the obsidian holy this is a nice lava bowl all right let's go ahead and place that and because i'm a glass of water we can break obsidian five times faster does that make sense nope but watch this that was completely legit and totally not edited all right let's grab the rest of the obsidian one sec okay now that we have everything let's get the cobblestone in get some slabs and now we have a cannon and with the obsidian in the flint we get a portal mover to make transporting portals a breeze. All right, I don't really know how to use this thing, but I'm gonna guess I just placed on the cannon, right? Oh, wait, so am I supposed to put portals inside this cannon? What if we just go down, make a bunch of portals, and then right-click them with it? That might be the move. All right, let's find a room portal. Okay, one room portal right here. I guess let's fix it up real quick. All right, one portal mover. Do I just right-click? Oh, that worked! Oh, and it grabbed the portal! Yo, and now we have a handheld portal. Wait, could I technically just make another one because I'm sitting kind of stayed and i made it way too high didn't i oh gosh all right let's go again come on oh and yet again another portal and we need four of them i think all right yet again let's get another portal and that's three portals that we got with the portal mover was it four or three i already forgot my goodness my brain must be melting at this point but now let's go ahead and make a portal down in the caves all right portal number two and i'm realizing right now guys does this work if i light the portal all right let's light the portal just in case and gimme 
Oh, that worked. And so now we have four portals. I think that's how much we needed. So let's go back. All right. So do I just put it in here? Oh, one, two, three, four. Oh, that makes sense. We need some gunpowder too. Okay. Don't mind me. Cup of water. Just gonna go get some gunpowder. Not a creeper, but it might have gunpowder. Oh, zombie spawner. Why do I have my pickaxe on me? Okay. Here we go. Break you. Oh, wait. Did I just pick up a zombie spawner? Um... Okay, we're gonna just ignore that and let's get the golden apples and some three gunpowder. Not bad, but we actually need like a lot more. So let's try to get some more creepers. Okay, this should definitely be enough. So do I just like put all the gunpowder in it? All right, one more. And did something happen? Oh, wait, because there's a fuse. Will this work? Right click. Oh, yes. Go on, nether. Go into the sun. Oh my gosh. Oh, and yet again, the sun got even bigger. And that's gonna be the next advancement done on the screen. Holy. Did we get another uh, sun drop thing? Oh, we did. And let's go to use the sun drop one more time. Melting increase. And oh, I am entirely melted. 0% solid. Ability unlocked. Press M to puddle slide. Uh, puddle slide? Oh, gosh, I'm slipping. Okay, that was actually kind of sick. What the heck? And so anyways, now that we're a puddle, we're 0% solid, but, but shouldn't the video be done? That still wasn't close enough. A sticky piston might work. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot of slime balls for that, but I'm gonna get some fix that. We have the message on the screen where we gotta move 9 100 blocks away. All right, let's go this way. By the way, next advance is on the screen right now where we got to become a slime rancher, apparently. All right, let's figure it out. Holy, that's a lot of slime. Okay, so what exactly am I supposed to find here? Oh, wait, there's a villager. Hello? Mr. Slime Villager, what do you got to say to me? What's up, man? Howdy, do you need some of my slimes? Well, sure. Do I know where to get some pistons? Hmm. Listen, I can hook you up. Just get me a stack of wood and I'll make you them for you. Uh, I mean, that's a lot of wood. Do I have that much wood? I only got 13 logs, so let's go and give him that. And now let's get some wood real quick. All right, Slime Rancher, got you the oak logs you need. Here you go. Take all of them. Oh, and there we go. Here you go, son. Now, if you want to get some slimes, you got to go through the bubble first. Oh, my gosh. Okay. You know what? It was the first thing we got this video. We're using the water bomb. Go on, water bomb. Get her. I I, I, I am so sorry, Paul. I, I got to do it for the greater good. We got to make the sun bigger. One more hit, and down goes the slime bomb. New crafts unlocked also, and we'll get to that soon. Let's just take out these guys first. Oh, slime boots. Is this some kind of a joke, by the way? Because I, I can't wear boots right now. Lots of slime, I don't think. Oh, and that's the piss. Oh, wait, 32 pistons. Okay, let's real quick grab these slime balls. That's gonna be eight of them. And as for what we gotta make, on the screen right now, we gotta use nine sticky pistons to make a giant sticky piston. Do I make a sticky piston like this? Oh, I do. All right, let's real quick make a nine of those. There we go. Wait, before anything, can I even wear the slime boots? And I can't. But it's all good, because now we can go ahead and make a crafting table. And with the sticky pistons, now we can get a giant sticky piston. Okay, so do I just like place this down? Oh, piston needs fuel. Wait, so what's the fuel? Oh, maybe you can be the fuel. Oh, wait, because I'm a liquid. Oh, gosh. Wait, so do I just right-click this thing? Oh, you use yourself as fuel. Oh, my gosh. We're so close to the sun now. Wait, so do I, like, right-click it? Right-click? Oh, wait, you pulled the sun closer. Oh, my gosh, I did. And uh, how do I get down? Can I, can I get down, please? Oh. Oh gosh. Woo. Wait, I mean, I'm a liquid, so I guess I wouldn't take fall damage anyways. All right, we got the sun drop yet again. Let's go ahead and take that. And that's going to be melting increase. And what the heck are we? Finally, you've turned into gas. Guys, we, we are literally gas. What is going on right now? Okay, I got to admit, we actually look so cool. Yo. And we got a brand new ability where I can now shoot gas tornadoes. Gas tornado? Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Holy, okay. Go on, gas tornado, do your thing. And so now our mission is to get to the sun. The sun cult might be able to help. Oh, we got to go back to those guys, I guess. All right, X Castorio on its way. Oh, here we are again, guys. It's been a while. Might as well mention that the new advancement on the screen is blood for the sun god. And it says, become a sun god. I'm literally gas right now. All right, what's up, guys? It's been, it's been quite the challenge right now. We've gone through a lot of stuff. Uh, Temple Guard, how's it going? Welcome back, Nestor. We'll fully welcome you as our sun god if you build us a new altar to worship you huh wait what uh, uh, okay uh, uh, apparently i'm building an altar to worship me okay i don't really know how an altar looks so i'm just gonna straight up like build like a mini pyramid with the stuff i have and then we'll, we'll i guess go off of that with the power of youtube editing let's finish this build in three two one one eternity later guys i don't want to show this i it's it's really bad i i didn't have enough blocks i'm in a bit of a rush but this is the altar here it is i use every block we had you know what I'm just gonna go back to the guy, and hopefully that's good enough. Double guard, I got it done. So what happens now? Thank you, Sun God. This is exactly what I hoped.
look for. Really? Okay. We will follow you till the end of time itself. Oh, oh wow. Okay. They must have really liked it. What's that coming from above? It seems the sun itself welcomes your arrival. Wait, what? What, what do you mean? Oh, oh my. Okay, guys. The entire sky is almost the sun. What the heck? We, he also ended up giving us a fuselage. Oh, wait. New craft unlocked. Now we gotta make a bunch of new crafts that are right here, all three. We're making a rocket. I think we're flying to the sun. So we got one piece from that. And now we pretty much have everything we need for the other parts. I just gotta get some obsidian. So give me one sec. Now we got all the stuff. We got the obsidian. We got the iron. Got some gold. And now the last iron piece. That's gonna be the rocket exhaust. Now we just gotta make the staircase thing. There we go. A nose cone. And when we combine all three, I think this makes a rocket. Oh, and there it is. A rocket to infinity and beyond. Okay, rocket. Let's go to place that down. And oh, we're inside. Lift off in five, four, three. How am I even inside in a chair? Let's go. Oh gosh, wait. We are getting close to the sun. Holy. Oh, wait. Are we in? Oh, we made it. The sun. Home of the sun god. Oh, guys. I don't think we're fighting the dragon today. I think we're fighting whoever this guy is. All right, guys. Let's get our water bombs ready. And here we go. You finally come, my child. It's time for you to take the throne. But first, you must earn it through combat. All right, we're fighting. Here we go. Oh, this might be a bad idea. Okay, let's not get hit and throw some water bombs. Go on, water bombs. Best way to breathe fire is with water. So let's bam that thing real quick and get the sky down immediately. Couple more hits and down goes the sun god just like that. And we get the sun god's crown. So do I just put this on? Can I even put this on? Oh, that worked. And that's gonna be challenge complete. And we get sun god Existorio. And so I guess the video ends, guys, with us now being the sun, I guess. I'm gonna be turning the entire Minecraft world into gold. And that means by any means necessary. So let's begin by unlocking the meanest gold touch. So the first step to get the gold touch is to repair the apple. Well, we're gonna need some tools and a lot of gold blocks. All right, let's get some wood. And some food too. There we go. Now let's find a cave. Oh, that is a big cave. Oh my goodness. All right, let's jump all the way down. Bad idea, but it's all good. And first we need coal. That should be good. And some furnaces too. Now we need in total 192 gold. Oh my gosh. All right, let's jump down. I should have seen if there was water. There was water though. We're good. Holy cave. All right, let me grab you. And I need to do this over and over again. I have some more ideas though to get some extra gold though. You'll see. All right, six gold. And gold there. And gold there. All that for 18. Oh, wait, could I get minecart gold? Okay, not gold, but golden apple, good enough. Might as well get some cobwebs too. Can never not need a bow. All right, what's mine? All right, we're not getting diamond touch, but I do appreciate one diamond. And more gold. Another diamond. Thank you very much. Oh, and another diamond. We want the gold first though. And so now after all that, we have 48. Let's get a stack before we go on to the next strategy. And so now this is a stack into gold. That'll be enough caving for now. And with the gold, we'll just put it right here. And now we wait for it to cook. In the meantime, though, I have a plan. Oh, and that's what we need. Good old room portal, which gives us one free gold block. All right, there we go. And oh my gosh, look at all the gold stuff, but we don't need that yet. Might as well wear some gold armor. Okay, we need a little bit more though. Oh, I have an idea. What if first we make a bow and then look for underwater ones? Hold on. Oh, we found one. Look at that. Oh, and we found that too. I have an idea. Okay, first, let me go down real quick. Make one quick Minecraft door because we don't want to drown. And now we mine block. There we go. That's two. What do we have in here? Oh my. Enchanted golden apple. Sure. And the golden hoe. We're going to take it for no reason. So now for the real challenge. All right. Here's the plan. We're going to go in there, get the gold, and then get out. Oh, and there's the fish. Okay. I'm going to need a lot more doors. I'm going to go right here real quick, get the crafting table. And this is what we need to do. Make 13 doors. One iron sword. Oh, and we have the notch apple. Might be a good time to eat this. All right. Let me eat up and let's go in. Oh gosh. Okay. That that, that was instant. How's it going, guys? All right. We are going to just run in. Oh, gosh. Okay. I should be fine with the notch apple. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's block that off. Okay. We're in now, but this is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Okay. Let's just find the gold room. Okay. I got to take out the elder guardians. Oh, and there's one right here. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. I got to be quick. How many hits does this guy take? Oh, I got him. Yes. Oh, oh. We're drowning. We're drowning. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, go back in here. And I think we're good now. We have three minutes now to wait. Okay. Let's go back down. And so far, so good. Okay, we're gonna go through here. Oh, and I think it might be this way. Yes, we found it. Okay, let's real quick get inside here then. And I think we should just be good to wait and then we get lots of gold. A few moments later. And we're good. All right, so now let's just quick mine this. Oh, and there it is, guys. Okay, this should be eight gold blocks in total. And this is definitely gonna help getting the meat touch. touch. And 10 gold blocks. And so now the final step is to get out of here. Let me real quick mine this. And I'm never doing that again. Let's get out of here. We're free. Let's go. And now with the gold ingots, we have 
17 gold blocks. Is this gonna be enough? Okay, we gotta fill in that right there. Let's do that here. There we go. And oh, this might be enough, guys. Okay, so then we just gotta fill in this part here. And now finally, just this here. Oh, we did it! All right, let me real quick come out of here. That should be the golden apple done. And there's a complete apple button here. All right, let's press the button. Oh, step 1.5, fill the apple. Oh, wait, there's a thing now. Hold on. Uh, sorry, Apple. I know I just built you, but let's real quick go in. Oh, and fill the frames with four golden apples. Oh, so we already have one. Okay, so we need more gold and now apples. And all we have is 12 gold. I have a plan, though. First, we need cheers. And let me go to that tree. Let's real quick get some apples. We need three in total. That was quick. And just a little bit more gold. Oh, hold on. Spotter. Let me real quick take you guys out. Okay, only bones. Golden apple. Oh, and a golden apple. Yes. Okay, now we just need four gold. All right, four gold. There we go. And now one last time we cook. All right, we got the gold. And now that should be the rest of the golden apples. All right, let's go inside real quick then and put the four golden apples one more time. There we go. And now with the frames filled, does this complete the apple? All right, fingers crossed in three, two, one. Oh. Oh, it's doing it. Come on, give me the gold touch. Oh, it dropped a weird looking golden apple. All right, let's grab that and the mega enchanted golden apple. Okay, so I think this is what gives us the touch then. So let's eat up and oh, we know the meanest touch. And so now everything we touch turns to gold and that even includes villagers. Golden villager. And he even has traits. And so now our golds turn everything into gold. Oh, and we already have the first percent done. So even sheep become into golden sheep. All the villagers can become into golden villagers. And what about the iron golems? Golden golem. Yo, hold on. Big carrot farm. Does this become into golden carrots? Oh, it does! And so now with the golden touch, we get unlimited golden carrots. And there's golden wheat, I think. Oh, it is! Oh, and the golden cows for all the golden wheat. Very nice. Oh, and now we reach 5%. Item locked. Find the golden minigun. Oh, and I think it's right here where it says 5% gold required. Golden minigun storage. Oh, what the heck? Okay, let's go in here then. Just slowly converting everything into gold as I go down. And it looks like it's locked. Hold on. Is this like a little temple, underground temple thing? Here required insert a golden key oh that's what the villagers so if we go to trade with this guy it's two blocks of gold for one golden key all right so we just gotta mine a little bit of gold ore and now we have 18 at least wait what does this guy drop this might be how we get the gold blocks all right let me go up real quick okay sorry about this oh and he dropped gold blocks yo and so now with the gold blocks real quick gave me that golden key and now we can enter whatever is down here all right we're trying to get to high percentage so do i just press it in oh it works nice okay so match the colors to unlock the door. Oh, wait. Do I break the colors? Oh, wait, that makes sense. Hold up. If I change all the colors here to gold, then it should match the other side, right? Hold on. Let me real quick do this. There we go. Oh, and it worked. Yes. That, that, that is amazing. Oh, and now we're in the obsidian slash gold thing. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. The trap's safe. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's uh break through that real quick. And this is a little bit dangerous. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, uh, turn into gold. Oh, okay. You know what? We found the exit at least, I think. And I'm now just gonna press that and we can go through. Oh, and there's a golden pig. Back. Oh, and a golden carrot. Hold up. Golden pig, follow me. Follow the golden carrot. I am literally converting things into gold as I do this. And I think we gotta take him all the way to this end part right there. All right, let's real quick get you all the way at the end. And wait, how do I do this? Can you go on top of that? Wait, no, can I not break the glass? No. What if we put TNT right here, make a lever, and then we explode it? Oh gosh, this might be a bad idea. This might be a bad idea, but we're gonna go for it. Go on. I mean, we kind of lost the connection but now we just put the pressure plate there and we're good all right no we, we didn't cheat at all it's all good guys <laughs> Oh, gosh. And now with that being done, we looks like we have a parkour segment. Well, the gold touch makes it so everything is nice and gold through here. So let's real quick just go jump and jump. And that jump right there is a little bit too difficult. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, okay, we're good. And that might be it right there, whatever we're going for. And this should help us convert a good bit of stuff. Oh, we just had 7%. Oh, and so here we have it. The gold minigun. Wait, so do I just shoot this thing? Yo! I need to go up real quick. So this is a normal village. And now with this, we can go and pop off. Oh, we're already at 8%. Let's go. Everything's been coming gold. Okay, this thing is actually crazy. Almost to 20. Oh, and step three, make a golden army. Wait, did something spawn over there? Dog trader. Pink dogs make little soldiers. Oh, okay. Uh, Mr. Dog trader, I'm here and I kind of made the whole entire village into gold, but it's all good. So five golden carrots for a dog adoption paper. Luckily, we have 54. Let's grab that real quick. Dobson dogs. Wait, how so? Let me real quick try something. 
So if we make a quick hole, and then we right click the paper. Oh, it's 10 of them. Yo. And I think I gotta tame these guys first. Hold on, let me get out. And so we have 13 bones. Is this enough to tame you guys? No, it's not enough. I have a little bit of a plan. Because if we go all the way down here, I'm pretty sure it was somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. The skeleton grinder. Let me real quick take you guys out. Hopefully I don't convert the spawner itself. Okay, I'm converting everything. Oh, and we should be good here. Okay, here's the plan. First, we break these guys right here. And total already have 13 bones. And now we just gotta cover up this. Well, we have leaves. So could we just make it into gold leaves? Oh, again. Oh, that's genius, guys. Okay, so with the gold leaves, I can see through for free. And so now we just need a little hole right here. All right, hole done. And I need some iron. Oh, gosh. Don't convert the iron. Don't convert the iron. Okay, there we go. Now we cook the iron. And now we can make two iron buckets. One and two. Now let's go inside. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This guy's gonna be annoying. Bad thing about gold touch is everything I craft becomes into gold also. And now let's be smart and actually use torches. No more mobs. Thank you very much. So this is how it's gonna work. First, we're gonna build a nice little hole right here. And then we're gonna mine out this whole area. There we go. Now one more row right here. And then all the mobs are going to fall straight down here. Okay, so let's real quick cover this up there properly. And now we place the rest of the water. Okay, last one right there. And what we need to make now is one sign. Okay. You guys spawn down there. Then you guys hit the sign right there and fall all the way down. All right, we lit everything up. And now we need a hole going straight down. All right, let's make this as deep as we can. That should be good enough. Okay, gold block all the way up. And I'm not sure if this is going to work, but can I make a slab? Nope. Okay, that was a bad idea. And we'll just hit the feet. One thing I think does work, though, we can use ladders, I think. Oh, we can. Yes. All right, and with that being done, this is the golden spotter where I need to remove the torches. Okay, that's the last one done. Now, this should work. Oh. And they're all fighting. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let me take care of these guys. And so now this should work technically. Any moment now. Oh, wait. Maybe I should not use leaves. That may be a really bad idea. Let me change that up real quick. All right. Block of raw gold. There we go. And now it should work. Wait, I think it is. It's working. Oh, I made all the signs into gold. One sec. Now we're good. Yep. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yep. Down you go. And now the final set's getting all the bones. We kill the skeletons. Oh my gosh. There's so many. Holy. Okay. Let me get a little bit closer. Grab all those bones. Couple more. And so now in total, we have 52 bones. That is more than enough. Okay. We're good here. Let's just leave the skeletons be. And now we get some dogs. All right, my army. I now have bones. And with the bones, well, I'm going to tame you all. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, wait, they're all converting. And now we got step four to reach 30% conversion. Oh, and we also got a golden dog whistle. Uh, wait, is this for the golden dogs? Do they come over here? Oh, they do. And so do they convert the world with me? Oh, they do. So when we run around, we can go even quicker. I have an idea. With my golden dogs and with the minigun, this is what we're going to do. Let's go up to 30%. Go on, my dogs. Spread everything. Even these dogs right here. This mountain right here, about to be gold. Watch this. And now that's a golden mountain which I think we should be close to finishing up. Oh, and 30%. Now, step five, summon a golden genie. How do I summon a golden genie? Did I get a thing? Oh, wait, we got something. Is this the genie thing? Oh, a golden genie in a bottle. All right, dog army for now. You guys are dismissed. Thank you. And without further ado, do I just like press the bottle? Oh, wait, what's it doing? Oh, it's bought in the genie bottle. Oh, what the heck? Okay, let me go up real quick. Maybe there's an entrance at the top. Oh, wait, could the entrance be through the spell? Let's check. Oh, and it is. Yo, okay, let me just real quick jump in there. Oh, this place is colorful. Hello. Sorry for breaking the decorations and that's a villager genie or a gold villager genie. Hello. How's it going? Gain a wish. Complete three tasks. Okay. I mean, I don't have anything better to do, but let's do the three tasks. Oh gosh. Okay. I just got teleported. Challenge one. Complete the course. Oh, right. Okay. We're doing the gold course then. Um, okay. 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 Let me make that jump. Oh my gosh. That could have been bad. Loki, I don't want to cheat it because I feel like I would lose or something. So we'll just play it safe. And now is this TNT run? Oh gosh. Wait, I don't have speed. Can I even make this? Oh wait, I converted it to gold. Oh yo. Yeah. Oh, okay, let me play it slow then. Okay, okay, let me just convert everything I can. Okay, we can't fall. We can't fall. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, okay. Slow wins the race right now. And we're good. All right, that is the benefit of the gold power. Okay, let's keep going. And now we have like a little slime spot. Do I like just keep going? Oh, and the rug helps not convert it. Okay, let's go again. Jump up real quick. There we go. Jump up again. And last one. That was actually pretty cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, these jumps are, I, I don't like the, the plus signs. I'm not, not a fan. Looks like we have another area coming up right here. Don't really know what this is. Is, but do I just jump around? Okay, I mean, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, Mr. GD, the obstacle course is not that good. I mean, it, it was a solid, like, four out of ten. And we crossed the finish line. Hey, there we go. Teleported yet again, and now it says challenge complete. Oh, and he's right here again. Okay, so what's the next challenge? Challenge two, tip 
at the scales. What, what scale though? Hint, they're outside. Oh, okay. Let me go outside then real quick. Through the spot we go. 360, water bucket. Oh, and I think that's a scale right there. Okay, so do I like talk with this thing? It's unbalanced. Try some golden animals. Okay, so we gotta add 16 animals. And so this might be a good moment. Let's get some cows. All right, first up, I got four golden cows, which uh, which kind of look like the blue bloom, but it's not the blue bloom. And so do I just like bring them up to this thing? All right, let's get you guys in there. And oh, wait, they got it to the top. And it tipped a little bit. Nice. Now let's try maybe some chickens. Golden chickens look so creepy, but it's all good. Straight this way, guys. All right, we just gotta bring them in. Let's tip the scales one more time. Oh, and there they go. Okay, it's almost halfway done now. Next up, pigs. The great thing about the pigs is they only follow golden carrots. All right, straight this way, guys. And now is this gonna be enough? One more. Come on. Oh, and it's tipped this way now. Holy mobs. Four more to go, though. So now we get sheep. All right, sheep. You should be the last ones to go up. And... Oh, we did it. Yes, we tipped the scales. And with that challenge complete, now let's go up to the guy. All right, that should be challenge number two done. Do you have anything else for me? Oh, and I think it's helpful to me again. Challenge three, give him a fresh trim. Oh, <laughs> what is that haircut? Flight enabled. Oh, we can fly. Okay, I gotta get it now then. So all I have right now is one set of shears. So I guess we could try and see what we can do with this. Oh, wait, we can convert it to gold too. So let's see how much we can cut real quick. I want to see if I can make him bald. But at the same time, if you look at the shears right now, they're going down very quickly. So we'll give him a quick trim real quick. And then I have a different plan. All right, don't mind me. Let's just cut as much as we can. And there goes the shear. And so now that we don't have a shear, why don't we just make him blonde? All right, now we just run around and pretty much give him blonde hair. And now he's blonde. I think that'll do. Uh, Mr. Genie, are you happy with that? Oh, they teleported me. Oh, challenge complete. And now that's three done. Is that going to be good enough? Oh, and now I can build my wish outside. Oh my. Okay. I will definitely go building. Guys, that is in total so many sacks of gold. Well, now with this, anything we build, we're going to be getting. Let me grab my water bucket down. And this might be a good area right here. So what I'm thinking is, let's make it goofy. Because I did a bunch of mobs right there, why don't we use a giant golden chicken to convert the world even more? What I'm thinking is we pretty much make exactly like the normal Minecraft chicken, but it's golden. As for what it does, I have no idea. The game master's going to decide that. But I mean, hey, it might be cool. All right, now we do some body. All right, final part. And now we might have a chicken. Wait, please tell me it looks like a chicken. It looks like a chicken. Yes, the golden chicken. Let me press the confirm button then in three, two, one. Oh, come on, chicken. Come to life. Oh, there it is. Now we got to reach 40% conversion. Hold on. Can I ride the chicken or what does the chicken do? Oh, it converts a huge area. And I can ride the chicken. Yes. And it's going up. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's converting a nice area quickly. All we got to do is get up to 40%. All right. A little bit more and 40%. We did it. Oh, now explore golden temple. Oh, and I think it dropped. All right, Mr. Chicken. I appreciate you. But now we got the golden temple. Right click summon a golden jungle temple. Let's pick a new spot for this. All right. Without further ado, golden temple. Oh gosh. Oh, it's literally a jungle temple made of gold. All right, let's check this out then. So far, pretty normal. Oh, and it goes deeper. Hold on. Okay, I guess we're not exploring this thing. Oh, and the first room looks to be a trap room. Nice. Okay, what does that even shoot? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, apparently, tripwire hooks don't become into gold. Let's be careful. Run. Oh, gosh. Go quick. Ow, ow. Okay, okay. Let's just be quick with it. All the way to the end. And now next room. Sort the animals and the door will open. Oh, wait. How do I sort golden pandas and stuff? Oh, wait. We can grab cocoa beans. And so maybe the parrots follow this? Because it looks like the pandas are all organized. It's just the parrots I gotta organize. So come over here, parrots. Will you follow the cocoa beans? Oh, they follow. Yes. All right, so I just gotta organize them over here, and this should be the only one. Come on, we gotta open this door. Okay, 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 we should be good. And now they're locked in. Oh, and the door opened. Yes. Okay, that is that done. Now, what do we have here? Oh, it's like a button thing. What does this button do? Oh, okay, so it's like a piston parkour. Well, that's sick. Let's go ahead and do that again, and I'll take it. Another one done. And what do we have here? There's a pressure plate. Do I press that? No. Oh, wait, press the plates, and the door will open. Oh. Oh, maybe I gotta put weight on it. Okay, that makes sense. Let me real quick press all the plates right there then with items. And then I think when I go all the way up, should be good after these. Okay, so if we put that there, did the door open? Oh, it did! Yes! And oh, what the heck do we have here? Okay, so we got diamonds clearly, which I might as well grab. Let's go ahead and grab that. And what is this? The golden nimbus. Right click to summon a golden nimbus. Let's go up real quick. All right, so we got the golden nimbus. Do I just right click us? Oh, we got it. Oh, and I can ride it. Yo, it's golden rain. Yo! Oh, and it's converting everything. This is OP. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're at 50. Oh, we got step eight. Step eight, paint my next tool. Huh? 
And we got some great new crowds on the screen right now. So let's grab that sugar cane. Okay, don't turn to gold, don't turn to gold. It should be good there, thank you. And now all we gotta do is real quick, make some paper. Then with the paper, we make a canvas. And now I'll be enough, we gotta cook one gold ingot. Oh wait, no, we can just do this. There we go, one gold, one stick, and we get the golden paintbrush. So with the canvas, we just place it down. And now with the golden paintbrush, we can draw anything we want. So I guess here goes nothing. Right click. Okay, so if we can draw anything we want, what if we make something a very giant? So I'm thinking, we're making a gold, of course. And there's one thing that I feel like would be very helpful, and that would be a giant walking desert temple that we've had before in a video. But what if we made him fully gold? So it's gonna be a very ugly drawing, but I'm gonna try my best right here. Imagine this being gigantic right here and with some big old arms. All right, let's real quick color him in. Oh, it gave you some natural squares. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, just a little bit more. And now for these other spots, we'll color them orange like a normal desert temple. And now finally the head, which we'll just go ahead and make one head right there. And now we just add some eyes and we got to give him a mouth. Oh gosh, this, this is so ugly, but I, I think they'll understand what I mean. And then uh, I'll put a little air right here and say giants. There we go. Okay, I want to send this to the admins and we'll see what happens in three, two, one. Oh, it's happening. Come on, come on. Oh yes, he's alive. Wait, can I get on top of him then? I'm on top. Guys, I can't even see this far down. Holy cow. Wait, can this guy even throw stuff? What did I just do? I think I just threw a projectile and oh my gosh. Okay, guys, this is very OP. Watch this. Boulder, shoot, and shoot again. Oh, and now step nine, go to five another. Okay, I'm gonna get off this guy real quick. Down we go. And this guy is massive. But now we gotta go to the nether. We do have a water bucket and all we gotta make is one flint and steel, which we can do that real quick. Not to make a portal, but from far away. Okay, I cannot move any closer, guys. This is a lot harder than it looks. So far, so good. Gosh, we got it, we got it, we got it. And we made a portal without touching it. Yes, now with one flint and steel. Oh, and made it into yellow portal. Oh, we can go in. Okay, now let's see what happens. Oh, and we're in and there's just a normal piglin. Hello? Why, why is he upset, Mr. Piglin? Oh, what is this? Am I being kidnapped? Captured, escaped their treasure room. And no, they took all my stuff, except the armor. I guess they do like their gold armor. So what do we have here? Oh, arrows and a golden bow. Okay, so we got the golden bow, which pretty much when you shoot, it makes things gold. And oh, right there we have the golden tsunami. I feel like I shouldn't use this inside right now. Let's focus on escaping. Let's just sneak out and make sure we don't get taken again. All right, what do we have here? Oh, gold ingot. Oh, it's a piglin. Does he follow the gold ingot? He does. All right, straight this way, buddy. I think I already know the maze exit. I think it's straight this way. Let's take you all the way over here. And oh, okay, the pressure plate's right there. All right, come on. You got it, buddy. Okay, I just gotta have him go right here. And if I throw the gold, he stays there. Oh, nice. Oh, this can be a little bit risky. Do I have the gold armor on? Okay, I do. What if I use the gold tsunami right now? Oh, that is sick. Oh, I think they're just vibing. We should be good. All right, we got some more gold stuff. And oh, no, 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 no. I have gold armor on, though. Oh, it's because I opened up the chest. I'm an idiot. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Please be a pickaxe in here. There is. Okay. And it looks like I gotta do something here. What the heck is this? Okay, I, I get the puzzle right now. Is that, is that a lucky block? You know what? Ignore that. I'm just gonna go in the middle. This is gonna make the macro again. Let me get the redstone. And I think we gotta do this. Then I gotta fix this. And do I just put something in front of this? What did I do wrong? Wait, so if I do that, it keeps opening it. Okay, hold up. Break. No, gotta be quicker. Hold up, hold up. Yes. Oh my goodness. Let's go all the way up. Oh, and it's my items. There we go. And now we got everything back. Okay, now that we're good, let's Let's try taking this against this bastion right here. Oh, the portal's right there. Okay, wait, so do I just do this? Oh my gosh! They did 5%? Yo! Go on, Tsunami! Keep going! Okay, this is actually insane. What the heck? It keeps going! Yo! And then, let's get to 90. Oh, and now step 10, conquer the golden end. Oh, and we got that brand new craft on the screen right now, which is oddly pretty simple. So we just gotta get one of these. And so, is it literally just this? Oh, and it gives 16! 16. 16 golden eyes of ender. Let's try this back in the overworld. Alright, where does take us. Oh, straight that way. Okay, give it back. Thank you. And now we walk and we're here. All right, let me break that real quick. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay. Oh, and it's a gold portal. Oh, that's sick. Okay, let me fill in the eyes then. All right, well, without further ado, let's go in. Oh, and kill the dragon and the end is yours. Oh, it's the gold end. Yo, and Buddy's already destroying his own gold end. All right, let's go ahead and take down the dragon. And does this even hurt it? I don't think that hurts it. What about the golden bow? Oh, it's so hard to shoot this thing. What about now? Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's perching. This might be a good time. Come on. Oh, and yes, it does damage. Go on. Okay, this is actually doing pretty good. Oh, it's almost down. Couple more hits and down it goes just like that. And he gave us a bunch of gold blocks. This is Minecraft, but your XP equals your temperature. Today, the more XP we collect, the less cold and way harder our player gets. From being frozen solid at level zero to being beach ready at level 60 to even becoming hotter than fire. My goal is to collect XP to make my temperature as high as possible.
possible. But as my temperature gets higher, things might definitely take a turn. So, how high can my temperature go? And how will I get XP when frozen solid? Stay tuned to find out. So right now we're level zero and we're frozen solid. Oh gosh. And all I can do is we'll go around where the entire world is frozen, including me. And so you guys probably already get the point. Do not get frozen. We're gonna have to get some XP via advancements where the first thing I gotta do is break the ice and I gotta make mobs like me? Huh? Oh, snow jacket cow. Wait, so do I just like right click it? Oh, it licked me. The cow is now stuck to you. Okay, I get the point now. All right, cows, mm. hurry up. Let's get licking. Another cow right there. And I'm gonna guess these are the cows that mm. might become XP after a bit. Oh gosh. All right, that's four cows. Oh, and that's the last cow right there. What's mm. up, man? All right, last cow. And is five enough? Five cows are stuck to you. You feel heavy. And so now that we feel heavy, I think I just gotta break the ice by falling with the heaviness. Okay, let's see if this works. Big ravine right here. Hopefully this stops the fall. But I think I just jump. Oh, here we go. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, oh, it worked. Temperature increase and we got a level. And oh my goodness. May have broken the ice, but now I am the ice. And so now that we're level one, we're also one degree Celsius. Very nice. Okay, so what else did we get? We got a winter coat and some leather. Wait, can I put on the coat? I guess because it's cold. Oh, we have a coat now. Nice. Ability unlocked warm breath. Oh, yep, yep. That's warm breath. Okay, well, I definitely can't get more speed down here right now because I don't have tools, but maybe we can now go to the temple up there. All right, give me one sec. On the way back up, we found some ice shards. I think I fell with these. Okay, these might be useful later. Let's keep going up. Okay, we're back up now, and it looks like there's a villager down in front of the temple. Treasure hunter. What's up, man? I heard a loud bang and came right away. When I got here, though, I found this beautiful temple. Do you think you could help me explore it for treasure? Oh, uh, sure. I, I guess that might be what has the next bit of XP. Real quick, let's get some tools. All right, got the stone tools. And so do I just like break through the snow? Oh, wait, what the heck? Is this like a staircase? Wait, this might not be a normal temple at all then. Yep, definitely not a normal temple. All right, let's take down these guys real quick. And of course they don't drop any XP. Okay, so I see some chests around here, which I'm gonna guess that's where all the treasure is. Okay, let's go up real quick. I'm gonna guess that things are harder to get XP from then. Oh, wait, I right-clicked the chest and now we got one treasure. Nice, get that one right there. There we go, that's gonna be treasure number two. Still no XP, but I'm supposed to find five. Oh gosh, big area. Okay, let's just run around real quick. Going. Get the treasure. That's gonna be number three. And where's the last two? Oh, there's one right over here. There we go. Okay, that's gonna be number four. And I don't think there's any other chest down here. So maybe I gotta bring it back to him or something. All right, let's go back up real quick and get away from the husks. All right, there we go. And where? There should be one more down here. Wait, what? Why is it shaking? Hello? Who oh, dare take my treasure? I'll have it all back. Of course. Okay, who did we wake up? Ice Pharaoh. Okay, he's probably down there. I'm gonna guess. All right, let's go down real quick. On the bright side, we do have some raw beef that we can eat. And one thing I also realized, guys, while I was grabbing all the chests is we actually did unlock a brand new craft on the screen right now and it's to use the ice shards and i think we can make an ice sword like this oh there it is ice sword sharp as ice oh that is nice okay oh gosh okay is he down here oh yep that definitely is a nice hero okay good thing i'm already frozen so that doesn't do that much to me let's go in oh i'm cheesing the fight guys i am definitely cheesing the fight all right let's fall back real quick and get some raw beef in us and oh gosh okay 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 maybe we gotta take this slow no they came through oh it's getting a little bit too close okay let's fall back real quick Ooh. And down goes the pharaoh, just like that. A little bit too close for comfort. And now we got the last treasure and also warm XP. This might be what we needed. Okay, so I don't know how many levels it's gonna give us, but let me try out the ice stuff. Oh, 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 okay. I am definitely gonna be using that later. And I guess without further ado, let's try out this warm XP by throwing it down, I think. Here we go. Oh, temperature increase. And it gave me 29 levels. Guys, we're now 30 degrees Celsius. And am I in floaties? Well, I guess now we're ready for the beach. And so do I just give the last piece of treasure to him? There we go. Wow, nice floaties. I'm going to keep hunting for treasure, but the beach is north. Oh, wait, we have a beach now. Okay, might be a little bit too cold for us now. But now we have a message for a beach 415 blocks away this way. All right, I guess let's go straight this way. Does it get hotter that way? I guess we'll just go and find out. <gasps> I think that's the beach over there. We made it. Yes. All right, so how am I going to get XP here? Uh, hello? Oliver. What's up, Oliver? Whoa, dude, you need a tan. We're having our King of the Beach event today. Winner gets a sick hat. First event is volleyball. See you there. Wait, it's, it, did you just go down to the sand? <laughs> what? Okay, wait, so if we're playing volleyball, how are we playing volleyball in Minecraft? And what does this have to do with XP and getting hotter? Hit the ball back over the net. Oh, oh, wait, we're playing. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Okay, it feels more like tennis than volleyball, but this is actually the coolest thing ever. What the heck? Oh, my gosh, this guy's so good. Oh, there we go. First score. Okay, straight to round two. That's gonna be number two. Oh, 
he's serving it again, guys. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. Let me throw it in an angle. No! Ah, he got it there. I don't know if it's versus three or whatever, but we're going at it. No! Guys, this guy is beating my butt. What the heck? It's 2-2 right now. Come on. Yes! Oh, I've been playing wrong the whole time. I gotta jump, and then I can angle it. There we go! I gotta, like, jump, and then angle it, and there we go. All right, better get the trophy from this. No! Oh, gosh. Okay, he's kind of beating my butt. Yes! There we go. Number seven. His weak point is the right. Oh, my gosh. That's 7-4. How am I losing to a villager? Oh, number eight. Come on. Number nine. Oh, that's one. And yes! There we go. Down goes over, and we just played volleyball in Minecraft. Nice. All right, well, my reward be XP. What are we doing all over here? You won this one, but you won't win our sandcastle contest. Oh, okay. Why, why, how does he even do that? Okay. Also, I don't get a prize from that. Okay, where's the sandcastle contest? I mean, I can make some decent builds sometimes, not really, but... Oh, there he is right there. What's up, Oliver? Take this out. Uh, what, what am I checking out? Oh! How am I supposed to beat that? Your turn. Talk to me when you're done. Guys, you know my builds by now. There is no way I can make such a great build. Okay, real quick. We're gonna get a lot of sand, and then we're gonna get ready to, uh, compete with that. All right, montage time. Okay, we got a whole lot of sandstone, a whole lot of sand, and guys, I still have no idea how I'm gonna beat this, but if we can make any castle, I have a little bit of an idea. All right, let's get to building. And there we go, guys. Now we have a giant villager head. And oh gosh, it's so ugly. I am so gonna lose. Go on and rate my building in the comments down below. Um, just, just, just say something nice with the timestamp. Anyways, Mr. Oliver, I am ready with my build. As you can see, it's a lot better and it looks good, right? Right? Well, I think it's safe to say I won, but let's ask the judges. What, what, what do you mean you won? Wait, judges? Oh! <laughs> What? And why did they go through the sand? Yep, I definitely win. See you by the coastline for the last challenge. That literally took me like 15 minutes, guys. And I got a zero for it. Well, let's just go to the next challenge. Oh, there he is. Uh, so what are we doing here? It looks like it's pretty much a normal river. Oh, wait, are those surfboards? Hello? Okay, first one through all the rings wins. Go. Oh, we're surfboarding. Yo. Oh, this is sick. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, so we just gotta go through all the rings. Okay, it's like a rhythm to it, guys. Because if I wait too long, I go in too deep. I better be getting XP for this. Oh, man. Oh, man. We're actually getting good speed. Let's go. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Very last one. I don't see him, so I think we beat him. And is that it? Oh, we did it. I hereby declare you king of the beach. And just like that, we complete the challenge. And now we have a beach crown and some more warm XP. Let's put on the beach crown real quick. And we got three more hearts. Very nice. Oh, are you, are you sweating? Wow, it's hot here. I'm gonna go underground to keep cool. You should too. Oh, oh, and down it goes. Okay. All right, let's get some more XP. And now let's see how many levels we get. Oh, 20 more levels and a temperature increase. Raced. Okay, I'm sweating now. Guys, it is now 50 degrees Celsius. And I'm gonna guess now we should probably go underground like that guy said. Oh, well, that's kind of convenient because right beside us, now this showed up. The cool cave. And I'm gonna guess this is where everything begins. Okay, before we go there and see what's up in there, we did get a brand new ability, which is a sweat cannon. So let's use that. Sweat cannon. Oh, oh wait, that's sick. So all our sweat becomes water we can blast. Very nice. All right, what's in here then? Oh gosh, is this a scientist? Mad Peter. Hello, Mad Peter. What's up, man? Nothing is perfect. Hey, you, take this. Get me some XP value for mobs. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, okay. An XP stealer. Maybe this is how I get, I guess, to the next XP level and the next heat level. Oh, finally a mob. And, okay, so do I just right click? Oh, and it filled the XP a little bit. All right, let's grab as much XP as we can. That's gonna be a little bit more. That's gonna be six XP. Doesn't give it to me, but get over here. All right, that's number eight. And also some diamonds. My goodness. Okay, before we go back, let's make sure to grab those diamonds. Wait, can I get XP from a bat? Might not be that much XP. Oh, gosh, get back here. Oh, and there we go. Okay, now the XP sealer is full. And before we take it back to the scientist, diamonds and diamonds. All right, let's get some iron. All right, iron pickaxe. And now we get diamonds. All right, let's get the diamond pickaxe just in case. And now let's take this XP sealer back to the scientist. All right, Mr. Scientist, got the XP sealer. Why, thank you. This is much better. Ha ha. Anyways, please follow me into my secret tunnel and I'll show you what this is for. Um, okay, where are we going, buddy? Well, here goes nothing. Wait, what is he doing? Oh, oh my. X poison Peter. Gotta guess we gotta fight this guy now. All right, with the power of sweat, we can do this. His attacks don't even make me this better. Give me some XP. One more hit, and down goes XP Peter, just like that. And he dropped a giant bucket, it looks like. Giant bucket. Do I just grab the water then? Right click. Oh, giant bucket of XP. I'm gonna guess this is what we drink, and then we get a lot hotter. So real quick, let's go in here. And here goes nothing, guys. Right click, and temperature increase, and oh my. We're now at 150 degrees Celsius, and we unlocked the ability Melted momentum. Do I just press it? Oh, 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 yep, 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 yep. That'll do it. All right, so how do I get XP now? I do have a brand new advancement on the screen, which is gonna be protein packed, which is drinking a self made protein shake, huh? How does that even work? Maybe I gotta come out here? Wait, my body melted off me? Oh, I'm melting! Oh no, wait, what's going on? 
doing it? The alley just took your arms and legs. Oh, um, right. Well, that just happened. Okay, well, now we gotta, I guess, chase that down. And my right arm is this many blocks away from me? Oh, gosh, guys, I'm literally a blob now. But now let's go all the way over there, I guess. Wait, what the heck is this place? I'm gonna guess my arm came here then? Gonna guess it's probably the big old TNT house. All right, let's go inside. Oh, no. One bad step, guys, and I am literally screwed. Anyone around? Hello? Where's my arm at? Is my arm not in here? Maybe it's down here. Maybe it's in this house? Oh, well, that's my hand right there. Hello? What's up, man? Back off, and Allie gave me this arm. If you want it back, you'll need to do chores for me. Huh? Clean Creeper's house. All right, let's, uh, I guess pick up all the gunk. Oh, there's a Minecraft dumpster, apparently. Okay, let's put it in the trash. There we go. And now, I guess we can talk to the creeper. All right, did your chores, buddy. What do you want now? Fine, deal's a deal. Goodbye, Chewy Arm. And now we have our arm back. Can I Can I put it back? Oh, no, but it's not letting me put it anywhere. Oh, gosh. Okay, all right. Have a good day, creeper. And now the next arm is 110 blocks away. Wait, is it supposed to be up here? Oh, gosh. Why did the alley leave me a whole parkour? Melted parkour. Let's go. I'm crazy with it. Here we go. 13 blocks away. Oh, here. What the heck is that? The rare some phantom saw your arm. Okay, then. All right, you know what time it is, guys. Let's throw a few swipe bombs and get this guy out of the way. It is a some phantom, so I'm gonna guess water's probably the best way to do it. So, real quick, sweat it down, and down goes my arm just like that. And now we got my left arm. All I gotta do now is just get my other leg. My goodness, how many pieces did it take for me? All right, I think we gotta go this way now. Oh, wait, it might be in the mountain. Okay, let's try to find the entrance. Okay, so it wasn't the mountain. Is it somewhere? around here? Oh, it's some dogs. Uh, do I just talk to the dog? Hello? Oh, Nestor, help me. I lost my babies. If you help me find them, I'll give you this leg. Okay, yet again, we gotta do some chores to get my leg back. Oh, and we can just straight up grab the babies. All right. Yeah, uh, there we go. That's gonna be two, and I'm gonna guess I gotta get all ten. My goodness. Let me get you real quick. All right, that's gonna be four. Okay, it's actually harder than I thought to actually find these guys. All right, in the meantime, here we go. One, two, three, four. That's gonna be that done. Let's find the rest, I guess. Okay, last one. Now we have all six. And can I get my leg back? Where's the mom at? Oh, there she is. Let's go to give all the puppies. And there we go. Thank you so much. I'll never lose him again. Take this leg. And now we have my left leg. So we got my arms, my legs. And now the final leg to get back is... 59 blocks away. Okay, what is this way then? Oh, wait, is that a house? Oh, we gotta see someone in there. Okay, so now what? Bill the Sculptor. Hello, Bill. Oh, hello. My dog brought me a leg and I was so confused. Lucky for you, I'm a sculptor. Put your body parts in my Sculptatron and we can put them back on you. Oh, Sculptatron. Wait, so if I get my leg, my arm, and my left leg, how does this work? Okay, that's one piece. That's another piece. And so do I get my body back from this? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a blunder. Oh, of course, it's here, bud. Now you you have no limbs. Really? Okay. Give me my limbs back. Nope. Nope. Down goes here, bud. And, and, and do, do I get it back? No. No. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Wait. So what do I do with this? Do I right click it? Oh, wait. Did I just drink my own thing? Oh, guys. I think I just drank myself, huh? Okay, so now that we're a glass of Nestor, we got the advancement done, but we also got another message where a new building is 500 blocks away from us. Wait, do we go this way? A new giant building opened up a nearby village. Oh, and we also unlocked a milk thrower ability. Wait, so are we like a glass of Nestor milk, huh? I guess let's try that out. Uh, do I press the key? Oh, it straight up launches milk. Very nice. All right, let's go to this village area. Oh, well, it's definitely by a village because it's literally massive. Okay, uh, I don't know what exactly I'm supposed to do with this thing to get more levels, but we do have an advancement on the screen right now, which is gonna be baking accident. Be used in a cake? Oh, wait, is that a bakery? Oh, oh gosh. Oh, wait, are those mice? Hello? Are you guys nice? Nope. Okay. I uh, don't know why there's mice in the factory, but let's go into here. Okay. Now we're in the new building, but what the heck are we supposed to do in here? A lot of mice, it looks like. Let's take these guys down. And holy, that's a giant villager. Um, do, do, do I talk to you or something? Hey, you there. I'm missing ingredients for my new giant cake. Do you think you could help me get them? I'm sure there's some stuff around the kitchen that can help. Oh gosh. Okay. We're going to get some eggs, some wheat, and some sugar. We can get the sugar from over here and holy eggs. Holy. Okay. That's going to be 16 eggs right there. Let's go down here real quick. Get all the sugar cane we need. That's going to be one of sugarcane. That was easy. And finally, the wheat over here. Wait, all right. The health rating on this place must be really low. Holy. All right. Let's go over here. Take care of this last mouse right here. 
Or, oh my goodness, he's stuck in the pipes. I am so sorry. And now, finally, let's get some wheat right here. All right, that should be enough wheat. One sack of wheat, one sack of sugar, and definitely a lot of eggs. All right, Mr. Villager, here you go. Take all the wheat you need. I'm not really sure how much he needs, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spam him. Then let's give him some eggs and all the sugar you'll ever need. Guys, this is probably not enough, so I'm gonna have to go get some more eggs or something. All right, chickens, let's get all the eggs real quick. All right, hopefully this should be enough. There you go, all the eggs you'll ever need, Mr. Villager. And there we go. Thank you so much. Now I just need some wait. Maybe you could work. Can I use you as a final ingredient? Huh? Enter the oven. Oh, gosh. The advancement was not kidding, guys. Let me get some bread just in case. Gotta, gotta be some good. I guess accessorial, like whatever I am. And in we go. What happens now? Does it turn on? I think I set the heat too high. Wait, what do you mean he set the heat too high? Oh! Oh, my. What is going on? You became a cake. Oh my gosh. Return to the baker. Guys, we're literally a cake now. This is my cup of your XP goes your temperature. I have not changed temperature yet. Am I supposed to be eaten now or what? what's going on here? Oh, actually, you can just keep that cake. Oh, 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 wait. He gave me a separate cake. So with that being done, we now get an XP cake, which I think I'm supposed to eat this thing. All right, let's eat it. There we go. Temperature increase and we just got 500 more levels. Now we're level 1000 and 1000 degrees Celsius. Guys, I think we're now made of fire. And wait, I have the ability to fly now? Huh? Oh, I can fly now! Yo, that's sick! Alright, so I'm like human torch nester. Very nice. I'm gonna guess Gabe and Otter. We're gonna talk to this guy, which is gonna be Steve. Looks a little bit different from the usual Steve, but I guess we'll talk to him. You look like you could help me. Could you light this bonfire for me? Oh, um, sure, I think. Okay, so how do I even light this? Oh, passive fire ability unlocked. Oh, yo! Okay, so now I'm properly on fire. And wait, so can I just light this if I'd like go to it or something? Oh, it lit! Yes, I'm burning it down! Let's go! Thank you so much, my friend. Mason could use your help. Find him in the stone mason house. Well, now that we're fire, we lit up the entire campfire thing, and I guess let's go to Mason now. All right, let's fly over there. Oh, maybe he's up here. There's Mason. How's it going, buddy? I uh, ignore all the heat coming off of me, but what's up, man? I know, I'm Mason, and my name is Mason. I ironic, right? Uh, yeah, 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 very, very nice. Anyways, I need to harden this clay, but my furnace stopped working. Could you help me? Oh, okay, I guess I could try. Do I just, like, put this down and go over or something? No, that didn't work. Oh, wait, what if I use that ability I got earlier? where I run and make fire. Let's try that real quick. Okay, here we go. Go! Yes! Oh, and it worked! One sack of terracotta, just like that. And oh gosh, let's not burn down the village real quick. But I'm gonna guess this is what all Mason, the Masoner, wanted. All right, Mason, here you go. These are perfect. We were contacted to build a house with these. Could you help us build it? I, I, I mean, that's your job. I'm, I'm literally supposed to get XP. I better get paid for this. But what do I even build the house? I only have two sacks of terracotta right now. So I guess we'll just build a small house right here. All right, give me one sec. Let's just do this real quick. It's gonna be the tiniest house ever, but it's gonna be the greatest house ever. Like, like you guys already know, I'm the greatest builder of all time, so don't worry. Okay, there we go. Now we just need one door real quick. Let's get the door there. It's not gonna be the greatest build ever, but it's honest work. There we go. All right, Mason, I did your job. Wow, that was awesome. Well, are, are, are you sure that was awesome? Okay. Thank you. I heard Bob's family got trapped in a mansion near here. You should go help him. Oh, okay. Now we gotta help someone else with a mansion 7,000 blocks away. All right, let's get to flying. And now we gotta go straight this way, it looks like. And we're here. Uh, wait, is this Bob? Hello, Bob. Uh, what happened, Bob? Hello, I need your urgent help. My family's stuck inside this mansion. All right, I'll try to find them. Well, Let's go. Wait, am I Naruto running? Wait, what the heck? All right, let's go in the mansion. Oh gosh, okay. Um, I think I heard a villager somewhere. Where would they be? Um, are they in here? No, no, no. Maybe it's on the other side. Oh gosh, vindicators. And yet again, they don't drop up speed, so I can't even level up from these guys. I'm just trying to get hotter. Oh gosh. Oh wait, are they in here? Hello? Oh, I found them. Yo, what's up, guys? Do I talk to you? Oh, have you come to save us? Then why is it getting so hot in here? Oh no! The mansion is catching on fire. No, 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 no! I did not mean to cause this. No. Um. Guys, I think we might be too much on fire now. Oh, no. Um, hey, Bob. Well, what's up, man? What were you doing? You burned the whole mansion and turned us into this. At least my kids are safe. Oh, wait, are the kids safe? Hold up. I, I mean, they're alive. I guess they're fire villagers now. Yeah, let let's go with that. Okay, let's fly away real quick and act like this never happened. And now with that being done, we got an XP emerald. Right-click me. Um, is this gonna give me, like, the power of more XP? So yet again, we're 1,000 degrees Celsius. So now when we right-click this, Oh, temperature increase yet again. And oh my gosh, guys, we're now 7,000 levels. And that's going to be 7,000 degrees Celsius. Let me press a five real quick. And how do I look? Oh, wait, what am I? Oh, I'm like a part of the sun now. Something strange is happening with the sun. Use your abilities to stabilize it. Wait, what? Wait, am I supposed to fly up there? We did unlock a brand new ability, which is called super fly. So I'm going to guess I can now fly to the sun. Before anything, here's a brand new advancement on screen right now, which is going to be holy war.
or become the new sun god. Well, we did get a brand new ability. It's a super fly. So let's go to press that. And here we go. Oh, the sun. Home of the sun god. Oh, what the heck? Oh, we made it. Okay, so what the heck am I supposed to do here? Mr. Villager, do I talk to you? Sun Villager. Please help. Our sun god has gone mad and is destroying everything. This might help defeat him. He's near the core in the center of the sun. Oh, a freeze ray. Oh, it's only a freeze ray. Okay, let's go down there then and maybe see if we can get some more XP from him. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, let's slowly sneak inside and hope for the best. Anyone here? Just a uh, flying X Storio. Oh, yo. Oh, there's a crazy sun god. You there, you think you can become me? Oh, okay. We're fighting this guy then. Let's take down the crazy sun god and my gosh, ice destroys him. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, let's not let him power up. And down goes the crazy sun god just like that. And he says, well, I guess you could and did. Wait, the sun is still unstable. Find the core and see what's going on. Okay, he dropped a few things real quick. Let's go in and grab those. But the thing I'm supposed to get is in there. And is that like an XP thing? It looks like an XP ball. Okay, before anything though, we did get the sun god crown, which it doesn't fit on our head. So we can't do that. And the sun staff. Convert villagers. Maybe for later. Okay, so now how do I get that out? Can I just go inside of there? Oh, wait. Okay, we can just walk in there. Okay, so if the core isn't stable, do I just grab it? Right click? Oh, and now we have the XP core. Um, do I just right click that then? And temperature increasing. Oh my. Yo, we look sick. I don't even know what I am now, but I'm literally 100,000 degrees. The sun is now stable. Talk to the sun villager again to see how to return home. And we also got a brand new ability, which is going to be sun launch. Sun launch? What did I just do? Oh gosh, that might be above us. Okay, let's real quick use our flying abilities and get out of here. All right, all the way up we go. And what did I do? Let's do that one more time. Ow. Oh my. Maybe I shouldn't use that on the sun. Okay. Anyways, Mr. Villager, how do I get out of here? Thank you. You have saved the sun from total destruction. We will follow you as our new sun god. Oh, you want to get back to the earth? Just jump off the sun and that should do it. Oh, wait. So I literally just jumped by the side. Okay. Let's, I guess, go to the side of it and then I just jump. All right. Here it goes, nothing. Oh, oh, we're back. Yo. Now I need followers. Try using the sun stats to convert the villagers. Oh, is that what this is for? Okay. But before we get to that, we did unlock a brand new craft with these sun shards which is going to be with three sun shards. And then we get the sun sword. Hotter than a sun god. Oh, it fires like a fire thing. Nice. Okay, now we have the advancement Inferno, which is to defeat the ice dragon. I don't know what converting the villagers is going to do for me, but get over here. Oh, you need a place for worship. Try building a temple first. Oh, so we made him a follower, I think, but we're supposed to make a temple first. Hold up. I have a little bit of an idea, guys. What if we just make an extension to the bakery and then like make a door to it and then we can call the bakery our temple because low key, that's when I became fire, so it might work. All right, what the power of editing? Watch this. Three, two, one, and now it's done. Okay, so it's not my best build ever, guys, but it says Temple of Sun, and now you can walk straight inside of it and go to the bakery. So pretty much it's a temple now. We got the entire bakery. So does this work? I think you need something a little nicer. Let's try this. Oh, why did he not do that in the first place? Now that you have a temple, try using the staff again. We're gonna bust through the back, and now let's go convert some more villagers. So real quick, let's go up here and start converting. All right, you become a sun follower. You become a sun follower. Let's make as many as we can. Okay, so far, our follower army is actually getting pretty big. Let's get a few more right here. Another one right there. Okay, one more. Oh, and why is it shaking? Something strange is happening. You're being pulled into a portal? Oh, um, where am I now? Okay, this is the ice end, apparently. And I'm gonna guess that's the ice dragon right there. Well, time for the final battle, guys. Loki, I'm kind of tempted to use the freeze ray, but let me see how much damage it does to this guy. Oh, it does nothing. Uh, it kind of makes sense because I can't fight ice with ice. So it might be time for the auto sword. Oh, and this might work. Oh, okay, that's just good damage. Okay, let's get this guy down. Then we can go up in temperature. And oh gosh, and this might be the fastest dragon fight ever. Oh, and down goes the dragon. So with that being done, that's gonna be the answer done on the screen. Oh, and that's challenge complete. Wait, do I get XP now though? Um, maybe this gives it to me to me. Oh, okay, that was a normal XP. Yo, my levels keep going up. Oh gosh, we are getting way too hot. We are getting way too hot. This is Minecraft, but everything I touch turns realistic. Today, my goal is to turn the entire Minecraft world into real life. What? From every block to every mob to even myself? My goal is to fill up the realism bar to 100% and use any abilities I get along the way. But as I get closer to 100%, things might get really weird. So, what happens when Minecraft becomes 100% realistic? Stay tuned to find out. All right, here we go, guys. This is gonna be our Minecraft today. So things feel a little bit weird. Oh, yeah, that was only a green screen. But for the real 
real challenge. We're going to be turning Minecraft into a realistic world with the power of our feet. So everywhere we're going to be touching is going to be turning into a realistic block from the grass to the dirt, literally everything around us. And if you look at the top, we have a bar where it's world turn realistic 0%. And now that we're 1%, we actually have a bit of a special thing where the game masters told me every 20%, I'm going to be changing shader packs from 1%, 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, all the way to 99.9%, .9%, which just says a warning. What's the warning? Who knows? But let's go ahead and get to 1%. Also, uh, ignore that I touched the negative 1%. Ow! Definitely looks a lot more realistic. And we also got a brand new mission that says make villagers realistic. Uh, okay, I guess we just got to go all the way over there. Oh, wait, I got money? I don't even know how I got money. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's literally me. And I literally have feet. Realistic feet. Just like a hobbit. What? What is this video right now? Does the house even become realistic? <gasps> The house becomes realistic. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah, I'm touching the house and it's becoming into realistic cobblestone and we even have realistic wood. Do we have realistic sheep? Is that a, is that a thing? Realistic sheep? Oh my gosh, we have realistic sheep. <laughs> It's so ugly though. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Anyways, I'm supposed to make villagers realistic. So do I just go up to the student? Oh, wait, what? That that's a realistic villager? Um, hello? Ow! That is terrifying. Can I trade with you? Oh, I can trade with them. So the money I get from turning villagers, I can use to get realistic items, which I definitely can't afford, just like real life. And also a iPhone 15. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Why not? And also I can buy a Nokia by getting bedrock, and bedrock becomes into the market phone. What? How does that even work? Let me real quick buy one bedrock. And with the bedrock, I guess let's buy a market phone. So what does the market phone do? Oh, it summons all the Steves I made. I uh, guess why not? Steve, meet Steve. And what about the iPhone 15? And of course, with the iPhone 15, I subscribe to Exostoria, which you guys can go ahead and do that right now if you guys are trying to help us hit 4 million subscribers. But anyways, let's go back to converting villagers. All right, you're becoming HD, Steve. Wait, do trees work too to become HD? <gasps> oh my gosh, that is incredible. Wait, what the... <laughs> I gotta get wood, but what? Looking at the difference between normal grass and HD grass is literally insane. Okay, let's get back to the villagers and see what exactly happens once we get all of them to be realistic. Is HD cows a thing? Oh my gosh, realistic cows are a thing. What the? Okay, where are the villagers though? We're almost done, and I really want to see what happens when we finish this challenge. Uh, HD villager and wait, why did my screen go black? Villager realism upgraded. Ow! Um, so not only are the textures I walk around gonna be realistic, the chickens are also realistic, and now we have a full neighborhood. Nice. Anyways, though, we did get our wood, so let's go ahead and make a crafting table and get started with the actual challenge because we also gotta beat Minecraft. Wait, what's a realistic table? Ow! Nice. And do I just get a realistic wooden pickaxe, or should I trade for one? I mean, at forty-five dollars, can I afford for one? Oh, that's expensive. But wait, I just hovered over the wooden pickaxe and because I touched it now It's a realistic wooden pickaxe. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's go cave here real quick Okay, so we found a cave But I just noticed something we have a thing called perks and on it It actually shows future things we can get like a realism ray a realistic hand and a realism nuke at 75% and even a moon So I guess definitely stay tuned for that because we have a lot of things to make realistic like look at that realistic dirt We got realistic stone as we enter. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna get realistic cobbles Stone. There we go. We, we got the cobblestone, even though it looks like normal cobblestone. Okay, so now I also want to test realistic stone tools. So, uh, I guess let's go ahead and do that real quick. Wait, realistic stone axe? Does this work? Hey, look at that. Okay, so even a realistic stone axe, which is pretty big. Anyways, let's go to mine this iron, which I guess in realism, it auto cooks? I mean, I'm not complaining. Also, let me real quick call up the market real quick. Uh, hey, hey guys. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. Realistic creeper. Let's, uh, get rid of you. I'm gonna go ahead and buy some burgers. Some burgers would be nice. I said, actually, wait, how much money do I have? Oh, wait, I have a stack of money. But literally, I can just buy bedrock. Wait, can, can I make bedrock realistic? <gasps> oh, that's sick. Okay, realistic bedrock, I love it. And I guess with that being done, let's go ahead and make an iron pickaxe and make a realistic iron pickaxe. Love to see it. And so far, we're only 6% up. So we definitely got to find ways to make realism happen more easily. Actually, hold on so you guys can see better. Let's make the brightness a little bit better. Okay, yeah, it's a lot better. Okay, I got you guys. Wait, are the Steve's talking to each other? What are you guys saying? Oh, like the Video, we're trying to go for one like. I mean, why not, guys? Go ahead and listen to the Steve's. Let's also, uh, you know, make it make this cave look a little bit better. Maybe it'll be easier if I'm on the surface. So give me one sec, guys. Let's go up real quick and see what we can do. Okay, we're at seven percent now. We're actually doing pretty good here on the surface. And oh my gosh, obsidian is shiny. We are making a shiny road right now. That is amazing. Okay, I'm trying to make as much as realism as I can. We're up to eight percent, but I guess let's make the sheep realistic too. There we go, realistic sheep. Thank you for the money. I appreciate it. And oh, okay, so at ten percent, we get something else to do, and it seems like Bob the Builder needs my help. Wait. 
what? Bob the Builder Summoner, place in the village. I mean, this was the village. It's just more realistic now, so I guess Bob. Hey, what's up, buddy? Nestor, long time to see you know. I can fix this place up for you if you get me the materials I need. Oh, I gotta get him stuff. Okay, so I gotta get 32 iron ingots, which we have 12 right now. Okay, so let's go back to the caves and I guess get the realism up even more. Okay, this is a pretty good cave. Also, I realize when we touch the iron ingots, they become into really HD iron ingots. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn as much iron as we can. We'll get all the iron ingots we'll ever need. And then slowly but surely, we're gonna get to that 100%, guys. And, and, and honestly, that's all I care about right now. Also, this is a beautiful cave. Oh my goodness. With our realistic eyes, everything looks much better. Okay, we have an 18 right now. Oh, nice. Okay, we got realistic gold too. Not bad. Okay, let me, I guess, grab that. We might need that in the future. All right, Mr. Bob, we got you all the iron ingots you're gonna need. I got 36 in total. I kinda wanna see if I'm gonna make realistic armor or something, but now he needs burgers. You know, I'm starving. This work sure takes it out of you. Let me real quick call the crew. Okay, let me get you, Mr. HD Steve. And I guess let's buy just as many burgers as we can. I do wanna save up though. Here you go, Bob. And glad I could help you out. See you around. Oh, and he's gone. We got some money, which is pretty good. And wait, X Nest Studio has been founded? Turn the village realistic challenge completed. Ow! Oh, okay, that's a lot more stuff we can make realistic too. So we can definitely turn the house into something really realistic, but we should probably get out of here and I guess just appreciate what we made. Oh wait, I just realized guys, as I do more challenges, the area we're converting into realism is getting bigger and bigger. Interesting. Oh, and we're almost at 15%. Oh, and there we go. Okay. So at 15%, we get the realism ray, which is literally a ray that shoots a ray of pure realism particles. Okay. So normal tree, HD tree. Oh, that's going to help me a lot. We're getting stuff that's going to help us a lot more get making everything realistic. So why not? Let's just spam as much as we can on the city. Also just found a desert and it works on the desert. Very nice. But let's just get to 20% and then go back to the village and see if we can make that even more realistic. Okay. We're almost 20%. We're getting there. Come on, feet. Get a 20%. Also, Minecraft should be looking a little bit more realistic. And hey, there we go. Okay. Looks like the town is becoming more of a city. Build some skyscrapers to help out. Guys, we literally got a skyscraper. Wait, so I can just place down skyscrapers? Do I just right click? Oh, holy. Okay. Yep. That, 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 that's very big. How many am I supposed to make? Do I just keep placing them? Okay. I got skyscraper there. Oh gosh. Okay. 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 Oh, and I think that was enough. I guess skyscraper challenge complete. We're, we're kind of stuck inside here and also I'm making everything realistic. Let, let, let me get out real quick. Oh wait, they're different skyscrapers. Okay. So that's one type of skyscraper and that's the other one. Nice. Okay. Our village is definitely getting somewhere, I guess. And now with that being done, we got to get five more percent so we can get the next realism TNT. And the best way to do that is probably going to be in the cave. So let's go back down. I got to get some diamonds. Oh wait, mine shaft. Oh, look at the wooden planks. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. The mine shaft might be a good spot to literally make everything realistic. I'm liking this. Okay. I'm touching everything. Let's get our ray gun out real quick. Realism ray where we're doing our thing. Okay. Realism ray. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Um, and just aqua affinity book. Okay. If you made this far in the video, guys, comment down below the aqua affinity book. Not because of a real reason, just, just for no reason. And glow berries, uh, we'll, we'll never make those realistic. So let's get past this real quick. Get our final percent. That is beautiful. What the heck? Okay. And this should be a nice area. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. So now we found realism TNT, which is a really HD TNT. Nice. For all my explosive realism needs. Maybe let's go to the surface and see what it does. I guess no better place than a mountain. So what happens when I right click this? Oh, oh, that's sick. Wait a second. That might be the new way, guys. Hold up. Oh, it's rainy realistic TNT. Let's go. Oh, oh okay. We are up now to 27%. I am going to spam this thing and get straight to 30. Go my TNT. Okay. So 29%. Oh, and 30%. And there we go. The city is growing, but now it needs some restaurants. Uh, Mr. Beast Burgers pop up. Wait, what, what, what type of realistic thing is this? Okay, let's go back to the village real quick. Okay, we are back at the village, and I guess we just placed down the pop up store or whatever. Okay, right click. Ow! Guys, this place is really turning out to be uh, kind of like in real life. We have skyscrapers over there. We got a full on suburbs, and now we have a Mr. Beast Burger. I'm um, guessing you have a mission for me? Long time no see. Say, you happen to have any burger materials on hand? If you find any, I've been meaning to test out a new burger recipe. Be. I think the other restaurants might have some. Wait, the other restaurants? So what exactly other restaurants am I supposed to go to to get these recipes? Because he needs a bun. Where can I get a bun at? Oh, my bad. Okay, I didn't realize that I didn't pick up one of the items and it was the Hell's Kitchen pop-up. So I guess let's go ahead and place that over here real quick. Uh, Right there. Oh, 
There we go. Wait, Gordon Ramsay? Is, is, is this a boss we gotta fight? Oh, gosh. Um. Oh, my goodness. You dumb sandwich. Get out of my restaurant. Oh, wait. What the heck? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I, I do not have enough armor for this. We're fighting, apparently, the chefs of Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay himself. I, I did not expect to be doing this today. I thought we were just touching stuff and making them realistic, but we're doing this right now. Okay, burgers saved me, but I'm out of burgers. This is literally the final thing. And just like that, that's gonna be it for Gordon Ramsay. I'll leave my apron and go. You'll be hearing from my lawyers. Oh, uh, yeah, we don't, we don't, we, we, we don't want to do that. Anyways, in the process, I think I picked up the cheese, the lettuce, the tomato, the bun, and the pickles. Did we, did we get the meat, though? Oh, I think we gotta get the meat. Okay, uh, let's see. Where could I find that? Okay, I finally found it. We got the burger patty. We have every single part of the burger, all realistic items, which look very nice, very tasty. Let me know if you like burgers in the comments down below. And we also got Gordon Ramsay's spatula, which is, I guess, gonna be our new weapon, better than an iron sword. It does pretty good damage, and wait, it, it shoots out food. Very realistic. We're gonna go ahead and give these materials to Mr. Beast, and at the same time, of course, make everything realistic. All right, my man, I got you all the stuff you'll need. I got a lot of buns. There we go. We got the burger bun. We got the patty. And uh, there we go. Thanks, Nestor. Give it a try. Did I get the burger? Hey, he gave us a Mr. Beast burger, which is literally a PNG of a burger. You love to see it. Build restaurants challenge completed. And now we can eat this thing. And hopefully it gives us good food. Oh, kind of. I mean, our old burgers did a lot better, but we did get regen two resistance and fire resistance for a nice five minutes. So I guess I'll take it. Oh, wait, it's infinite. Okay, that's kind of cool. And so far, we actually actually now have two stacks of money. So I think it might be time, guys. Let's real quick. Minion whistle. Wait, this is the first time using this thing. Wait, what the heck just happened? Okay. I'm going to ignore that. I, I did not like that. Let's go to the market guy real quick. What's up, HDC? I actually can afford stuff now. So we can either buy the realistic pickaxe or the realistic sword. I'm going to get the pickaxe just because I got Golden Ramsey spatula, but this does do 12.5 attack damage. That is crazy. We now have the, the realistic diamond pickaxe, which is really bad. Uh, also, I think it has a right-click ability. Oh, I shoot a firework and it breaks stuff. Nice. Okay, so we're at 32% right now. And the next thing I get is at 35%. So I guess without further ado, let's real quick make as much area as we can into realism. Look at all that sand. Look at all that stone. There we go. We're at 34%. Let me actually grab the TNT. Completely forgot about that. And realism TNT. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, yep, yep. That's going to make us go 35 really quickly. And there we go. Okay, 35% done. And I found a realistic hand. Oh my gosh. Realistic hand. A helping hand couldn't hurt. What does this do, though? Do I just slap a sheep? Oh, um, okay. That worked, apparently. Does it do anything else? Like, right-click? Wait, what the heck? The hand is mining things. So, the ability of the hand is just to fall from the sky and turn things into realism. I mean, why not? Let's make this house realistic. Wait, so what if I combine these two? That's powerful. That is very powerful. The powers of the hands and the TNT together. We're up to 37% right now. 39? Okay, this is going so quick. What the heck? Oh, and there we go. Oh, that's an upgrade. Village realism upgraded again, and the city needs a force to protect it. Help collect materials for the project. Oh, wait, there's something right under me. Contractor Steve Summoner. Wait, what the heck is this? I guess we'll build it over here. Oh, hey. Contractor Steve with that very terrifying face. What the heck? My crew's only missing cobblestone and some iron blocks. Cobblestone first and foremost. Okay, so to get cobblestone, I think the best way is probably through mining. So I guess let's just get it the old fashioned way and cobblestone. Nice. Okay, there we go. And now he needs iron ingots. Do, do I have enough? I only have four. Okay, there, there you go. Four realistic iron ingots. Let's go mining real quick. Okay, so we still got to get a lot of iron, which I think this is the iron, right? Yeah, yeah there we go. Okay, so don't mind if I do. Okay, yeah. I think we should have enough iron now. Let's real quick transform that when we touch it. There we go. Contractor Steve, get all the iron you'll ever need. And perfect. We'll get to work right away. Thanks for the help. Wait, what happens now? Ow! Well, there goes whatever was behind me before. And now we have Sergeant Steve. We will defend Ex Nesidio, no matter the threat. Especially since there was a taco command about a Godzilla in these parts. If you come into any trouble, this will help. And he gave us a car key. The sergeant ended up giving us a tank key. Oh my gosh. Well, okay, we're literally in a tank. What the <laughs> Oh my, wait, and we can make things realistic in the tank now. Oh, this is going to speed things up so much. This whole area right here, we're making it into realism. Oh, and we also got a realistic storm now. Do I just place it down? Ow! Oh my gosh. That's a tornado. That, that is definitely a tornado. And after that mini storm, we have a nice HD forest. Very nice. Oh, and we're actually pretty close to getting to 50%. I guess let me just walk through the forest real quick. Let's get to 50%. And there we go. Okay. Got a little bit more money and two pieces of paper. Looks like some mega corporations may come to the city if they get help building. Okay. We got an Amazon contract and a Tesla contract. I mean, why not? Let's try building it right here. Whoa. Uh, hello? Every single time I see this, like, 
Like, why? Why is this a thing? I'm sorry for trying to beat you up before, but let's put that behind us. Could you take this package to The Rock? He's eating at Hell's Kitchen right now. Oh, and I got an Amazon package. Addressed to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Give the package to The Rock. Let's, I guess, go back to the restaurant, which I don't really remember where the restaurant is, but I think it's this way. So let's real quick go up. Oh, we found it. Okay, so I just gotta give this to The Rock. Oh my gosh, he's literally inside of here flexing. Why is this a thing? Why could this just not be a normal video? Let's get rid of you real quick. And uh, here's your Amazon package, Mr. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Why? Hey, thanks, Nestor. I just ordered that like five minutes ago. Same day shipping is insane, huh? Here's a tip. Ooh, okay. Wait, we can actually probably afford the sword now. Thank you very much, buddy. I do appreciate that. Let me call up the market man real quick, HD Steve, and uh, let's buy the realistic sword. Sharpness 10, graphics sharp enough to cut. Holy, this thing is huge. Wait, how do I use this thing, though? All right, Mr. Kelp, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry about this, but oh, gosh. <laughs> Gosh, don't really know what the point of that was. Anyways, we also have a Tesla contract. I guess we can add this to the city. Like I said, guys, the city is ginormous. We got the military. We got skyscrapers. Um, I guess I'll put it right here. And oh, Elon, I'm always looking to expand. My workers could use some granite and circuits. Okay, there's actually a lot of granites right there and circuits. I don't know what circuits are, so we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out later. Let's get this HD granite real quick. And don't mind if I do. Like it, it feels so weird seeing everything being so high pixels and no low pixel at the same time. Okay, 32 granite, Mr. Elon. Here you go. I have all the granite you want. So weird just having him his real face look at me and now he needs 32 circuits which where do i get circuits oh wait no i think he might be talking about redstone itself okay so we just gotta get some redstone now i mean why not let's go all the way down realistic creeper of course and a realistic redstone which i'm gonna guess is gonna be the circuits unless i hold it and then it becomes circuits <gasps> oh that actually works what the heck okay let me grab as much as we can then and then get all the circuits we'll ever need more circuits why not and i think that should be enough yeah 33 okay let's Let's go back up. All right, Mr. Elon, got you your circuits. Here you go, buddy. Now, do you shoot up a rocket or something? Can't tell how happy I am for Tesla expanding to X next city. Well, time to get to work. Okay, um, did he give me a car or something? Car key. Is, is this what he gave me? And just like that, we get a literal Tesla Roadster, which I like a lot. Very nice. But we have a mission, and that's pretty much to make everything realistic. So let's real quick grab a bunch more TNT, make everything realistic that way. And also, we have the realistic can, which um, I still don't know what exactly it does but it does something cool. All right, back to the TNT. Go on, TNT. Make everything realistic. Oh, and there we go. Okay, so with that being done, not only is the sky very beautiful, but we also found a realistic meteorite. Wait, summons realism meteors? Did I just right-click this? Oh! Oh my- Okay, that is so exaggerated. What the heck? Oh, 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 they do damage. Oh my gosh, my computer. Okay, 56%. Oh my gosh, wait, this is actually converting the whole world into realism so quick. We're about to hit 60. And there we go. Realism upgraded. And what the heck just happened? Alert. Threat has been detected. All orders shall be given by Sergeant Steve. Okay, Sergeant Steve, is this you? Oh, that Godzilla talk wasn't talk after all. He's going to fight in the city at- Wait, what? Oh, it's only Godzilla! Oh, gosh! Um, boss fight time, I guess. I only have armor for pants. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Okay, uh, pants, pants, pants. Okay, we got realistic iron leggings, and that's all that's going for us. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Okay, he does a lot of damage. Let's go. Wait, the sword too hit him! What? How does that even work? But either way, with that being done, we get the Godzilla sword, which is even better. Sharpness 7, a trophy roar. Um, what does this do? Oh, oh, it's like a little spitty attack. All right, 61%. And what we could do again, actually, just to get the next thing, let's get another meteorite. Oh, gosh. Okay, 63%. We're getting somewhere. And there we go. Okay. And we got another tank, but does it do something different now? Oh, wait, I figured it out. Okay, so we're now shooting with the tank and it literally just blows up stuff. So we're now up to 67%. So we're, so we're getting there. Literally, everything is going to be realistic. Everything I touch. No, I got stuck in the tank. Dang it. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? We're going to call in the meteorites. All right, one more percent. Hey, there we go. Okay, seems like Councilman Steve needs my help. Maybe I should wait for the storm to pass, but let's go figure out who Councilman Steve is. Wait, unless I got an item. Oh, I did. Councilman Steve Summoner. Place in the city. Oh, okay, right. And no better place than, than to place on the Councilman, I guess, right here. Hey, there we go. Okay, Nestor, the city's getting a bit cramped. Help expand the city with this fancy new device. Just point and click. Boom, city. Wait, am I now placing down cities? Realistic cities? Um, city expander. Places a block more for the city. And I gotta do this 10 times. I guess why not? Let's just place one right here. Oh my! What? Heck? That's just by placing it down once. Okay, so I just keep placing down cities, apparently. What the heck? I have like five cities right now. All right, well, final one right here. Let's place it down. And there we go. Expand the city challenge completed. And oh gosh. Okay, let's uh, go back to good old realism. And also, wait, I think we got something. A realism nuke for all my larger explosive realism needs. Do we nuke the city? No snitches, okay? Oh gosh. 
Oh, wait, I literally just fire nukes. It doesn't really make things realistic, but it's a nuke. Well, give me one sec, guys. I'm literally just gonna start touching everything and hopefully we can get to the next year pretty quickly. Don't mind me, guys. I am literally just brushing up on my obsidian. Also, one thing I wanted to mention, guys, I didn't realize, but I'm the fastest obsidian miner. Like, look at that. I don't even need a pickaxe anymore. Literally the fastest obsidian miner right there. Boom, we got all the obsidian we'll ever need. And I feel like we're probably gonna need that in the future. So let's real quick keep that. There we go, grabbing the obsidian. Okay, 77%. Um, realism nuke, why not? Let's launch one right there and... <laughs> Gosh. All right, down you go, guys. Boom, boom. Setting in the nukes. Oh, no, no, no. Why did I do that? Oh, diamonds. Wait, we finally found diamonds. Oh, my. Why did that take so long? Water bucket. Oh, okay, we're good. Oh, my gosh. What the heck? That's insane. Well, there we go. We got diamonds. I haven't seen realistic diamonds just yet, so I'm kind of curious. Like, do I just hold it? Oh, that's amazing. And with that being done, I guess let's make the rest of this cave pretty much into just realism right now. I mean, we're doing a pretty good job, though. It's a little bit laggy. Let's go back up real quick. Okay, one more percent. We're almost there. Oh, and there we go. And man, that is beautiful. Seems like Councilman Steve needs my help again. Okay, I guess we're getting straight to it. We got some more money. I will gladly take the money. And now let's go ahead and talk to Councilman Steve, the White House Summoner. Place near the city. And Councilman Steve, X Nest Studio has gone so big it needs a capital building. Can you collect 32 diorite? Um, sure. Where do I get diorite though? Oh, okay. I think I found some in the actual city. I think it's the white stuff. Oh, there we go. Okay, so some realistic diorite. Let's go ahead and grab 32 of this thing and we're gonna just steal it from the buildings. Oh, there's a lot of it inside of here. Holy. All right, Mr. Councilman, here you go. Take all the die right you need and oh my, look at that beautiful building. Now we simply need a president. You're our founder. You need to choose. Do I choose one of these YouTubers to be a president? Okay, wait. So who do I pick as a YouTuber then? We have a uh, green mumble jumbo, Steve, crafty, captain sparkles, technoblade, bionic, Tommy in it. I mean, Tommy in it has a suit. That could be someone. Let me know in the comments down below who you guys would pick in this room right now because it's a realism video. Mr. Beast having the realistic face. I, I think it's a must. Let's pick him. There we go. Mr. President Beast. I'm honored you chose me, although I don't think the others are too happy. Oh, okay. That's all good. That's all good at all. We got the presidential key, but I don't know what that does, but we gotta fight these guys now. Okay. Desperate times calls for the Gordon Ramsay thing. Oh, gosh. Yep, yep. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. You're all great YouTubers, but we gotta get rid of you guys. Well, then. Nice. Anyways, we got a president and a presidential key, which bestows the rank of president to whoever's given to. Did I just steal the key from Mr. Beast? Did I just go Mr. Beast? Am I the president of my own city now? I mean, why not? We'll go with it. Okay, don't mind me. I'm just running around in my Ferrari trying to get this percentage bar up. We're at 81%, but I feel like it's getting harder as we go up, so it's taking definitely a lot longer than I thought. Let me get off the car now, and I think the probably the easiest way to get to the next thing is well, let's go get some more meteors. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Here they come. On the bright side, 83%. We're getting there. Oh, there we go. Okay. 85% finally, and it's a literal ball. Realism moon. For one, explosives don't cover it. So do I just right-click this? I think that's it. Oh, did it just drop and do nothing? Okay, wait, what if we drop it right there? Oh, oh, never mind. It does do something, and that was very powerful. Okay, so we just need one more percent. I might as well make all the bedrock into realism, and then we should be good. Might as well bring out the laser one more time. Get that percentage up real quick, and there we go. Okay, my city has made a space program, but needs some more funding. Wait, are we going to space? Or never mind. Wait, we dropped an item. A NASA scientist summoner. Let's go up real quick. Let's go ahead and place down this NASA scientist summoner right here. And what do we get with this? Oh. <laughs> Hello, Nestor. I'm in charge of Exodus Studios' NASA program. I'm afraid I need a list of materials if you can get them for me. Okay, uh, Steve, I got you. You're a NASA scientist. Um, let me get you your circuits. I actually already have some circuits, which is not that much, but probably a lot of them down here. So I'm going to go down here real quick. Okay, let's get all the redstone we can right now. All right, Mr. Scientist, here you go. And great, now iron ingots. Okay, NASA scientist, here you go. Take all of that. And now we just got to get some diamonds. Okay, so the diamonds, how am I missing? literally one. Are you serious? Okay, have the diamonds and never again. Oh, wow. That was actually really easy. There's a diamond right here. All right, scientists. I got you the diamond and now we need some coal. Wait, it said blaze rods, but we're getting coal. I guess maybe realistic coal looks like a blaze rod. I don't know. Take the coal though. Now all that's left is obsidian. Okay, I actually got exactly how much you need now. Oh, wow. Okay, there you go. Obsidian. Perfect. I think we're ready for launch then. Get into the rocket whenever you're ready. Oh my gosh. Wait, it's literally the Ferrari thing besides a rocket. All right, let's get on this rocket. Oh, whoa, it's carrying me. 
me. Up we go, I guess. Oh, it faded. Infinity Gauntlet. Wait, what? Do you think you have what it takes to defeat me? Is this a final battle? Okay, we're fighting two HD Steves apparently with an Infinity Gauntlet. This makes zero sense, but okay. Okay, we got one down. Let's get the other one now. Fine. If you want to get out of here, you're gonna have to defeat my final form. Wait, that wasn't the final boss, guys. I am so confused right now. Oh, the Unleashed HD Steve is literally just a dragon. Is that an HD dragon or just a normal dragon? I don't even know. But we killed it in three lasers. What just happened? All we got was this teleporter and we're still 5% missing. I guess I'll just right click this. Is this going to be it? Ooh, put on your final realism glasses. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Challenge complete. World equals real. And with that being done, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great one. I'm going to be turning the entire Minecraft world into XP. And that means by any means necessary. Run. So let's begin by unlocking the XP touch. Okay, first up for XP touch is finish the giant XP bottle. Well, we're gonna need some tools and some glass. So let's get some wood. Now let's get some sand. 43 should be enough. And don't mind me, I am just gonna sneak in real quick and borrow this. There we go. And now finally, let's cook some sand. Oh wait, I need fuel. I have an idea. This is a big brain idea. All right, so this is how we're gonna get fuel. Real quick, let me get up. One sec. Gotta borrow this. Please be three, four. Yes. Okay, watch this. We make a bucket. Now we just borrow some lava and put it in. Wait, does that not work? Oh no, it doesn't work for sand. All right, that's a scam. Hold on. Okay, this is how you cook sand. There we go. And now we wait to get XP touch. All right, 43 glass. Now to actually do step one, we gotta finish the giant bottle, which I guess we just fill in the glass. Hopefully I got enough glass. Okay, let's make sure there's no holes so there's no XP that drains out. No, we ran out. Well, that was enough glass. One sec. All right, here we go again. All right, last block. And that right there is step one done. I press a button. Oh, step number two, fill with XP. Wait, how do I fill this with XP? I don't have the XP touch yet. Oh, wait, I have an idea, guys. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab all these cows, then place them in there. And to do that, first, we need a hay bale. Then with the hay bale, we get some wheat. And now all the cows come straight this way. We're about to fill up an XP bottle. Okay, you guys stay right there, because first, let me get some wood. And with the wood, we're gonna make a quick staircase because I'm gonna lead all the cows straight in here. All right, cows, and it's time for step two. Let's get you guys out here. Then we open up the fence gate and here they come, get inside. Oh, come on, they're stuck already. Oh, there, there we go, there we go. The cows are coming. And now we have all the cows. Okay, so now how do we kill them without getting the XP? Oh, wait, let me get a bow real quick. Oh, this leads straight to a mine shaft. That is OP. One, two, and three. One sec. Oh, what is that luck? Yo! I wasn't even gonna go for this. An infinity book literally right by where I got the cobwebs. Okay, this is a sign then. I guess now let's get one flint. Give me that one flint. There we go. And now one feather. Oh, that was easy. There we go, okay. All right, there we go. Four arrows, one bow. Oh, and I need an anvil. And we have one iron. Oh gosh. Could I get an anvil from one of these places? Oh wait, what is this? Level 1000 required. Oh, what the heck? Hold on. Uh, Mr. Iron Golem, don't mind me. I'm just gonna borrow the top parts. Last one. Okay, that should be good. Okay, here we go. Finally, let's make the anvil. There we go. All oh, this just gets some XP. All right, we got the infinity bow. And now for the fun part, guys. Just so I don't get any more levels from these guys, all I gotta do is kill them from far away. And that's how we get XP, guys. All right, now step number 2.5, we shoot. No cows were heard of making of this video. Just ignore what's on the screen. It's working. All right, one last cow. And we're done. Okay, now I gotta be careful. I gotta make sure not to pick up any of the XP. And I only grabbed a little bit. All right, finally, let's complete the bottle fully. And oh, it's working. Come on. Step three, touch XP. Wait, what do we get? XP Metis Potion turns you into the Metis of XP. All right. Oh, my head is XP now. Convert the world. Start with 10 villagers. Guys, I finally have the XP touch. And the first thing we got to do is convert some villagers. All right, get over here, guys. Uh, how do I convert you? Oh, XP villager. Oh my gosh. And I can break him to get more XP. All right, don't need the levels anymore, guys. We are literally literally converting the world into XP now. You over there? You let me in there. Oh, wait, I can mine the XP blocks for XP orbs. This is amazing. W what about the plants? Do I get XP plants? We get XP potatoes. Yo, and it gives me a bunch of levels. Nice. And we're already at XP level 100. Forgot this guy right here. There we go. That's gonna be seven. Number eight. Oh, there's a guy right here. All right, sorry about this. There we go. And finally, one more villager. Oh, I think we found the last one. Lock, do not disturb. Huh? But he doesn't want to get turned to XP. Come on, buddy. Hold on. It looks like he left a ladder at the top and oh 
Oh, wait, the ladders don't convert. Okay, that's perfect. Let's real quick just get crawling. And yo, what's up, man? All right, let's slap you. There we go. That's an out 10. And now world converted 1%. That's only 1%, guys. And now we got to reach level 1,000. I mean, that won't be too hard because with the XP potatoes, we already have level 237. All right, so here's the plan, guys. For level 1,000 right there, we're going to just go ahead and get all the potatoes we can, even XP carrots. Wait, one thing that might help us actually get a lot of levels is, is this a thing? Oh, it is. Yo, XP pickaxe, equivalent to diamond, apparently. And now we can mine even more of these. Hold on. What if we touch the cow? Do you give me a thousand levels? Oh, we got experienced cow. What do I do with you? What if I kill it? I don't think I was supposed to kill it. Well, now we're level 400 and wait, was that there before village house? Can I XPify the house? Oh, oh my gosh. What the heck? Yo, okay. Well, now we can apparently XPify entire homes. Hold up. So if we do that, it makes the entire house into XP. Oh, and we have some more village houses right here, guys. Let's do some explosions. There's another one. There we go. We're at level 900 right now. Almost there, guys. This might be the last one we gotta do. Let's explode that real quick. And now 1,159. And level 1,000 reached. A cage is opened. Okay, we might be able to go over there now. Okay, let's make it all the way over there. Wait, what the heck is that? Yo, it's the X story of plushie, I think. Oh, wait, is it alive? <laughs> Build a friend and power it up, apparently. Oh, he follows me. Yo, what's up, buddy? Go ahead and give him the name in the comments down below. That isn't Nestor. And I mean, you can also buy him on the screen right now. But that being said, we got to bring a build to life and then check mark it. Oh, wait, are we supposed to build right there? Oh, we are. All right, XP buddy, straight this way. Okay, so if we're supposed to build an XP buddy, why don't we play a little bit smart with this and do this instead? Okay, so I'm going to touch all the blocks. And now you guys might know where I'm going with this. We need one pumpkin. Do you have a pumpkin? What do you do, really? Oh, wait, a rock like him. Oh, he enchants my stuff. Yo, okay. Lure two on the stone axe, though. I don't know about that. Okay, next up, let's get a pumpkin. One easy pumpkin right there. Let's real quick hit it with the potato so we don't convert it. There we go. Now we just put the little pumpkin right there. And I just right-click the check mark. All right, come to life. Oh, wait, is that gonna work? Oh, gosh, stand back, buddy. Stand back. Oh, my. Okay, he is much bigger than you. Enter golem. How do I enter the golem? Do I go up to this? Oh, I think I've entered the golem. Oh, my gosh. XP golem tier. Fix the right stone power. Okay, let me be a little bit careful. Oh, and I don't think my XP powers work in the XP golem. Hold on. Okay, what am I supposed to do in here? Do I go up? I guess I go up. Okay, as you can see from the top, guys, we've literally only made that much progress so far. And at the very end, something special apparently happens. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to fix this somehow. There's a current at the bottom. Okay, so the current starts right here. Oh, and that works. Okay, so I'm supposed to extend it. I'm gonna extend it this way and maybe this way. Does that work? Oh, gosh, wait. This doesn't work. Oh, no. Okay, let me get back to that one. Okay, so we'll keep going this way. This one was already fixed by me, oh, but I'm missing something. Maybe I gotta do this one too. Okay, that one's done. Oh, wait, I think I'm dumb. I think we gotta place this one down again. And did that work? Oh, power restored. Yes. Head outside. Wait, how do I head outside? Do I keep going up? Oh, here it is. Return to build. And we're back. Oh, he's alive. Yo, what's up, buddy? Oh, and I can get on top of him. And now the next step is to convert that force over there. Hold on. Let me use this ability. All right, Golem, do your thing. Expify everything. Oh my gosh. Something is angry. Defeat the red XP chicken. Huh? What the heck is that? Really a small chicken? Watch this. Gone. This is so OP, guys. What the heck? And we're making the world even more XPified. Okay, let me get down and world XP converted 10%. Oh, and now we got a giant temple thing. Okay, so now we got an XP Golem in the giant XP temple. Well, we gotta keep improving our XP powers. Let's, I guess, place this down. Oh, wait, we just went inside. Temple interior. Find the treasure. Okay, so what the heck do we do in here? All right, XP temple, and oh my gosh. Okay, I assume we gotta do some parkour then. Hold up, I can cheese this with my XP touch. That's good, at least. Okay, okay, converting everything to XP might make things a little bit wonky. All good, though. Just can't get it off. Let's crawl in here. Oh, I even make the fire into XP. That's sick. Okay, okay, okay. I can cheese that right there. I think I gotta make it all the way to there. Hold on, XP blocks. Be careful. All right, let's go around. There we go. And this might be the thing we go to. Okay, it's made out of emerald blocks. What are we looking at here? By the way, fun fact, I have a way I can, I think, disable the XP touch, but I'm not going to do that until we really need to, just because it kind of helps me. Okay, let's go up real quick. And what do we have here? Solve the puzzles. Open the way. Wait, there's a bunch of puzzles? 
huh? Okay, I'm disabling the XP touch for now. And what the heck do we have here? This way is blocked and there's a bunch of statues. Wait, what? Can I move them? Oh, I can. Wait, so there's a creeper side, a zombie side, and a stone side? So I guess I just push these guys to the creeper side then. This better give me a lot of XP. Okay, creepers to the creeper side. There you go. And now zombies to the zombie side. Okay, it's gonna take me a little bit to do this, guys, but bear with me. Okay, we got all the zombies in the zombie spot, all the creepers in the creeper spot, and now we have this place. Okay, so it's a puzzle, apparently. I'm gonna guess we gotta figure out maybe the difference? Oh, wait, there's some special ones with this stone brick. Oh, wait, does that work? Okay, maybe we gotta hit all the square ones? Let's try that. Okay, square one, square one, anyone up there? No, square one right there. There's another one, and last one. Puzzle's completed! Hey, the door is now open. Oh, and that thing went up now. Okay, no longer blocked. What do we have to do next? Wait, what the heck is this? Gotta press buttons? What do I do here? Maybe I gotta press the right button? This button's different. Oh, wait, the way's already open. Okay, now we gotta do complicated parkour. Come on. Oh, there we go. I hate ladder parkour. Oh, here we go. And what the heck am I supposed to do here? Oh, wait, can I make this jump? Hey, there we go. Okay, so um, let's make it through here then. I'm gonna bring out XP Touch just in case. Let's just XPify as much as we can. And we're gonna head all the way to the end. Now, let me make that jump. Oh, yes. Okay, and that should be it. Let me turn off the XP Touch real quick because what the heck do we have going on over here? Oh, no, 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 no. XP Wardens, guys. All right, I'm not gonna mess with that. Instead, I think we're gonna have to sneak in. Let me just not make a noise. Now I'm gonna go around them. Don't mind me. Just a silent Exostorio. Wait, does walking on XP make any noise? Let me try. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The XP might not make any noise, guys. Okay, I'm gonna just try using that instead. Oh, no. Okay, don't wanna get near them. Why are there so many? Okay, I don't think anyone sees us. Holy treasure. Okay, I think all the wardens are behind me. I think we should be good. And what the heck is this? An XP sword? I like grab it? Oh, okay. Pull. And oh, we got it. Wait, the wardens heard? Fight them all off? Okay, nope. The giant sword of radiant XP, apparently. Okay, before they get here, let me real quick borrow a little bit of this. Get me some diamond blocks. There we go. Some gold block suit. That should be enough. And go on XP. All right, let's get these guys. Okay, holy, this sword does damage. Down they all go. And so what happens now? Oh, world converted 20%. Okay, now let's actually leave the temple. Well, now that we're 20% done, we got the new craft on the screen, which is the XP gauntlet. That being said, we need to mine XP ores, apparently. So the next step is going to be to go down here. All right, first up, we got to get some lapis, which when we pick it up, we now have XP lapis when we touch it. Nice. Okay, XP lapis. Got to get some gold too, of course. Let's mine a little bit of that. Get the gold. And now we got XP gold. So XP lapis done, XP gold done. And now we just need XP diamonds and XP emeralds. Oh, and there we go. One bit of diamond. Let's go ahead and grab that. And I think I just got to pick it up. Oh, there we go. Okay. All that's left now then is one emerald. And I think I might know an easy way for this. Back at the village, I saw this guy. And does he have the trade? Oh, he has it. Yes. One XP orb for nice. One emerald. And now it auto converts to an XP emerald. Now for the good part, guys. So first, let's make sure not to convert this thing. But what we got to do is do four XP gold, one XP emerald, one XP lapis, and then one XP diamond. Oh, and there it is. The XP gauntlet controls the power of XP. Okay, wait. So does this like bring something? Oh, that's going to up the amount. Holy, that's a whole moon. Oh my gosh. How much do I got to use this? Maybe that'll do it. Holy world converted 30%. Check out the vault. Wait, what vault? Did I get a vault? Oh, I did get a vault. Vault door. So we're only 30% done, guys. And this is how much XP we have. Literally, guys, XP in three, two, one. Boom. I love that. And now a vault door. Let me place this down in a cave. Okay, for step number one, let me real quick just fix up this wall. Gotta make a flat wall for the vault, I think. And then do I just place down the door? Oh, it sucked me in. XP vault. Find the treasure. I guess my XP powers don't work in here. What exactly is the treasure, though? Uh, Mr. Guard for the vault? What's up? Riddle number one. Oh, we're doing riddles. Witch and Chim repairs. Mending. Got it. Ah, that's an easy one. No worries. And, 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 and easier, too. Do you want to answer it? Which enchantment increases damage? Is it quick charge or power? What do you think, buddy? Oh, well, you're looking at this one, but you're, you're, you're wrong, buddy. I'm sorry. It's the power. There we go. Give me another one. I'm ready. Oh, I think that might be it. All right. Thank you very much, buddy. Let's go up. Oh, and what the heck is this here? Is this like a maze? Oh, it is a maze. Okay, let's be a little bit careful and make sure nothing chases us or there's no traps. The bad thing is I can't leave an XP trail apparently on bedrock. So if we get lost, we get lost. Let's see right, left. Oh, wait, I see XP blocks. And what the heck is this? Is this like a straight line? Oh, wait, is that barrier blocks? Oh, it's floating parkour. So the blocks under me tell me where to go. Yep, this is a tough one. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, okay, making moves. It's all good. Okay, let's just go straight. 
straight. Boom, boom. We're slowly making it to the end, guys. I do not like barrier block parkour. A little bit harder than it looks. Oh, and we made it. Nice. Okay, next level. What the heck is this? Oh, seats? Uh, what do I need seats for? Am I planning something? Oh, I gotta free the chicken, don't I? Oh, wait, how do I do this? All right, can you come with me? Oh, yes, I did it. Okay, now come straight this way. It looks like the best route is probably left. Come with me, buddy. By the way, Mr. Chicken, fun fact, 80% of the people watching right now are not subscribed. And so that might include you, Mr. Chicken. So once we're done with the maze, click that red button. It really does help the channel. Okay, I think we're getting there. I think we gotta go up now. I see the solution. Nice. Okay, straight this way. Oh, and I see how it works. Get in there, chicken. Let's go. And remember to subscribe. All right, let's go up. Guards, avoid being seen. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, let's now figure out what we're doing here. There's guards and there's some places to hide. Okay, let me just go here. Okay, just no villager. Oh my gosh, if I did not move it, he literally would have seen me. Don't, don't, don't cross, don't cross. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh man, am I supposed to go up there? How do I do this parkour? Oh, this might be it. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Why is he coming here? No, 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 no. I think we're good. Okay, I just want to convert the world to XP. Should be good. Let's just get out of here. And up we go. Okay. Wait, what? Locked key hidden in previous room? Huh? We gotta go back? All right, we gotta go back apparently. And yet again, we gotta deal with this boss. Okay, let me see where this key is then. Could it be on this side? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we are good. I did not want to fail the segment. Let's just go here. Oh, and key. Yes. Okay, full key. Let's go back. And I'm in the clear. Okay, I know how to get there quickly. Just gotta run through here. And I'm gonna speed run it, guys. Oh, gosh, he's coming. He's coming. Let me just stay here. And let's go. Okay, now that's a job all done. Let's open that. And oh my goodness. Is this all the loot we wanted? Holy. All right, let me go ahead and grab some of this stuff. Don't mind me. And oh, wait, what? Is this the final thing I wanted? The XP machine weapon. Holy. Oh, and now apparently world converted 40%. Leave the vault. All right, let's go back to the entrance. Oh, we're back in item unlocked XP nuke. The heck? All right, before we continue, what does this thing do? Oh my. Yep, that is definitely a machine weapon. Holy. Okay, and so the nuke, do I just like place it down? Oh, prime the bomb. Gather 32 redstone? Do I have redstone? No, okay, so I'm gonna need to get some redstone real quick. Oh, and there's some right over here. Okay, don't mind me. Let's just grab that real quick. And in total, we have 23. Yeah, a little bit more. There we go. Now we give it to the nuke. And so is this gonna make the whole cave into XP blocks or something? Oh, here it goes. Oh, add a primer now. Surrounded with TNT. Huh, I think I might know a place. Okay, so we finally found one. And with the bomb right there, let's real quick go inside and get some good old TNT. Okay, don't mind me. Let's just break this. Oh, and I don't want to make the TNT into XP. So let me just break all this real quick. Thank you very much. There we go. Grab the TNT up. And is there anything that we want to grab here? Curse of Vanishing, the best enchantment, of course. Respiration, the second best enchantment. And a whole lot of nothing. Oh, that's all good. Let's go up. And so now with the TNT, I think I'm supposed to blow this thing up with some TNT around it. And last piece of TNT right there. Now, without further ado, I guess let's try blowing this up. Okay, run back, run back, run back. The bomb is ready. Oh, here it goes. Oh, Oh my holy and wait, what the heck? Everything became XP. Yo, and now that's gonna be world converted 60% because the tree made it for some reason. Now I gotta find the XP nether. Oh wait, what the heck was that? The XP flint and steel? All right, screw the normal flint and steel. We now have the XP flint and steel. I assume this is how I get to the XP nether then. All right, since so much of the surface is now pure XP, maybe let's go ahead and head down and find some obsidian. Oh my gosh, even the lava is XP guys. Okay, so let me just grab some of this. All right, got a little bit too much, but I think that should be everything. And so does this work? Oh, wait, this might be the XP portal then. All right, without further ado, guys, let's go inside and see what happens next. Holy my goodness. This is the XP nether, but it's not fully XP. Oh, yeah. So we got a brand new craft on the screen right now, and I think it requires these guys. Do they not attack me because I'm made of XP? Hello? Oh, XP stampede. Oh, okay. So we need nine of these guys. All right, here's the plan. You, real quick, you get the XP touched, and now let's go ahead and get more of these guys. You right here. Let's go get you into XP. And so far, we have only three. We need nine in total. Well, the good thing is that they don't attack me, so this is gonna be pretty easy. All right, you become XP. You become XP. One more to go. And last one. That's gonna be nine. Okay, so now I gotta just go ahead and craft one of these. Nine XP piglins and the XP stampede. How does this work? Does this, like, convert a large area? Let me see if there's any areas without XP. Okay, this might be good right here. Okay, let's try this out. Stampede. Oh, yo! They're converting everything! Let's try over there. Get the stampede going 
going right there. Convert everything, guys. Go. Send them over there. And keep getting the conversion going that way. Every part of the nether, guys, is about to be converted with a stampede. Oh, wait, what? Nether boss spawn. Try converting it? Oh, my. That's a big old gas. Okay. All right. Change of plans. To convert it, do I just gotta, like, touch it once? All right. Don't mind me. Let me just go up to him. Oh, and it worked. Wait, why is it getting bigger? Oh, my. No, 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 no. What's going on? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I'm getting down. I'm getting down. Oh, I think it just exploded. Okay. Well, it converted 70%. And that's the new crowd on the screen right there. You know what? Before we continue, let's go back to the world. My goodness. Okay, it's good to be back. Even though the village is kind of gone, we're probably gonna make it even worse because now the next craft is just straight up this, I think. All right, last orb. And that gives us an XP volcano, apparently. How do we place this? Uh, should I be worried? I mean, the village is pretty much gone. Let's just place it right here. Oh, gosh. Oh, rest in peace village. But prepare the volcano. Will he convert it to XP? Oh, I know how to do this. All right, Piglin, do your thing. Go on up, climb the mountain, and make everything get to XP. Look at them go. Oh, and that's the XP lava right there. Oh, now heat up the volcano. Enter to the top. Oh, this is the top. Okay, so there's literally no lava down here for a volcano. How do we heat this up? Hold on, I have an idea. What if we use campfires? All right, new plan. We gotta get some coal and some wood. All right, let's make some campfires right there. Okay, now that we're back, all we gotta do is place down the campfires, and I guess we'll just place it until the game feels like it's hot enough. All right, campfires, do your thing. Oh, wait, wait, run quickly. The volcano's erupting. Okay, nope, 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 nope. We are getting out of here. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Okay, climb up, climb up, climb up. Oh, my gosh. MLG! Woo! Bad idea. How big is this explosion gonna be? Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Is this far enough? Apparently, we're all converted 85%. Uh, XP and enchantment table? Did something happen up there, though? Okay, let me pick that up, but Let's investigate. Holy, okay. I think that's lava up there. Well, good thing we got out of there. But now we got the XP enchantment table. Right click to enter. Wait, what? Oh, wait. We're going inside of this thing? Oh, we are. XP enchanting table. Complete the three challenges. All right, let me turn off my XP touch real quick. Oh, and there's a one, two, three, and four. Let's start with one. Okay, so what are we doing here? Oh, a boat. Like me a good old ice boat. All right, where are we going to? Wait, defeat 20 XP bottles? Huh? What's this? Oh, some arrows. Oh, we need to shoot these guys. Oh, that's a lot of them. Okay, so I got to shoot the bottle and hopefully hit it. That's one, two, three, apparently. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I forgot the count, but we're almost done. 18, one last one. And yes, we did it. Challenge complete. Now on to the next. My goodness, that was a struggle. And so now on to number two. Okay, what do we got going on here? I like this boat system. Oh, I just kind of messed this up. Oh gosh, that, 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 that was my bad. Defeat 10 XP zombies? Oh, that, that's easy. All right, big old sword. This is actually the easiest one ever. All right, challenge complete. Now on to the next. Okay, let's go all the way up here. Oh wait, what the heck? is this? Do I, like, drop her down? Guys, I can just go straight in a straight line. What? That was it? What? Okay! Challenge complete, and now we have one more, and it's this one. The door has opened. Check it out. Oh, it might have been to this. Alright, well, let's get the final boat, place it down, and see what we have in front of us. Finish challenges to unlock. Oh, this is it. And now the final challenge is to go into the end, and I think this might be the last thing we gotta do. Alright, here goes something. Oh, and there it is, guys. Final boss, XP Dragon. Let's go ahead and start setting this place up to be XP-ified, and I wonder if the XP hurts him. Oh, what about the XP machine weapon? Nope, that doesn't work as well. What about the XP gauntlet? I'm gonna place it right there. Come on! Oh! It wanted him! Yes! Down he goes! That's gonna be 100% conversion. This is Minecraft, but from cold to hot. Today, I'm gonna be starting frozen cold with not much, and making my way up in temperature to be hotter than lava. From starting out frozen solid, to thawing and slowly melting, to becoming the king of all fire, my goal is to become as hot as possible, but raising my temperature is gonna be a bit difficult. So, how do I even unfreeze myself? Stay tuned to find out. We're so cold! We are at negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit right now, and to get to Lava City, we need to first get to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And you might be wondering, what's at Lava City? The election, which we gotta be 100,000 degrees Fahrenheit to become president of this city. So, to get warmer, we begin with warm school right here. And now we have two hearts, but don't worry, I got my cold shovel, cold pickaxe, cold axe, and of course, the cold bread. Let's go ahead inside, and first up, we got homeroom. Let me get inside, and did no one save me a seat? Oh, wait, there was homework? It was a little bit too cold to do 
homework. Uh, teacher, turn in homework. A hint, ice tools can break ice. Oh, is that my homework? Hold up. So with my ice tool, can I break this? Oh, yes. Oh, sorry about the water. Hold up, hold up. Let me put that there. There we go. And teacher, I got the homework for you. Oh, and we got our first thing, which is how we're going to get warmer with hot candy. Literally, when we eat it, we get hotter. Now we're at negative 10 degrees, but that's still below freezing. So let's get to the next class and get warmer. And next up, we have heat sources. Teacher, what do we have here? Turn in the five heat sources. Wait, we have homework here too? Oh, there's already campfire, torch, and magma. Okay, what else can we get? I mean, low key, we could get lava, might be a little dangerous, flint and steel, candle, and maybe a lantern? Is there anything like that around here? Oh, wait, at the top. Hold on, let me just grab some of these. Stock up real quick. Oh, and we got our first thing, the lantern. Oh, and they put a candle over here too. Okay, so I just need everything on top of the school. Okay, let me just put this right here. Light the candle right there. That's gonna be another heat source. And we'll do the lantern right there. And I get a flint and steel. Perfect. All right, teacher, how's that? Oh, nice. Did a Yeti just spawn? Okay. Anyways, we got some hot candy. Nice. I'm gonna guess that's for gym class, which is gonna be at the end there. All right, I'm coming soon, gym teacher. Let's get a little warmer. We heat it up. All right, gym teacher, what do we got going on here? Not following dress code. Find a jacket, huh? Where do I get the jacket? Try the Yeti. Oh, no. <laughs> that's how I get my jacket. What type of school is this? Well, we did unlock two brand new crabs on the screen right there, where we need some snowballs first. Let me grab some of that. And I'm gonna stick my distance, but I need this tree. Let me just real quick mind you. All right, we got some wood. Now let's go ahead and make what we need to do. This is gonna be an ice sword. Very nice. And also we can go ahead and make an ice pickaxe. Okay, when I swing it, it has like a little cold effect. Let's just make sure we go in and oh gosh, it's already angry. I only have two hearts. We're going in. Go on ice sword, do your thing. Okay, wait, it doesn't do that much damage. Maybe because I'm made of ice. Oh, no, no, stay away. Wait, I think I dodged it. This is crazy. Couple more hits and we got him. Okay, now with that guy being down. Oh, and I think this is the guy that has a jacket. Sorry, buddy. Let me real quick grab that. There we go. Oh, oh, did, did, did he just come back to life? <laughs> But now let's put that on real quick and this should be enough for the gym teacher. All right, sir I am still cold, but can we do class now complete the course? Oh, is it this we literally got to do cold parkour? Okay, there's stuff down there where I don't want to touch because I don't want to get even colder So let's real quick just go through here do that four block jump and oh my gosh What is this is stuff supposed to shoot at me or oh, no, nope, nope I'm just gonna guess it's for intimidation. It's fake spikes, right? This is just a school All right, let me just real quick get to the end here. There we go. And now come back to ice parkour What? Oh gosh, okay, okay, don't want to fall down there. Low key, though, wouldn't that just make me hotter? But I only have two hearts, so maybe not a good idea. Okay, let's jump there. There. Get in. Oh, we did it! Now we go zooming! Get to the very end. And is this the completion? Wait, no, there's a number four? Oh, yo! There's boat racing! Let's go! Oh, gosh, wait, this is actually a lot harder than it looks. Oh, my goodness. There's no control! Oh, uh, well, that is a little too close. Let me just real quick grab that. Let's do this old-fashioned way. And I think that's close enough. Now, what do we have here? How's it going? Dodgeball? Oh, we get these guys. All right, before we do that, let me eat the hot candy. And we're in zero degrees Fahrenheit. Still freezing, but we're getting there. And an ice machine gun, how's this work? Oh, it shoots ice. Do I use this against them or the snowballs? All right, let's play. Real quick, let's throw in some snowballs. Down you go, you go, and that, that was honestly pretty easy. Hey, gym teacher, give me another piece of candy. Oh, wait, nope, not yet. We gotta do a snowman build off, apparently. Oh, that's here. Oh, wait, what, this stuff? Oh, okay, that's a lot of good stuff. What am I going up against, though, coach? Oh, it's this guy, a gold villager. You have one minute go. Oh, wait, we're already going. Oh my gosh, okay, uh, let, let me just get some snow blocks real quick. We gotta make Authentic that and that. Oh gosh. Okay. I'm just going to make the biggest thing I can real quick. We're going to make it three by three. Let's just do that. There we go. Then we're going to go ahead and put a bunch of pumpkins. Oh, hopefully it doesn't actually make a mob. I don't think it should. That right there should be perfect. And we cannot forget about the nose and hands. There we go. Also pretty proud. Also, I may have uh, done that real quick. Sorry, buddy. And I won. Nice. Well, teacher, we have one more thing to do and that's bleep before we get the next thing. Am I up against the cow? Oh, he's coming straight at me. Good luck, loser. Hey, yo. All right. Guess we're doing this. Wait, why does he go so fast? Oh, wait, there, there's a shovel right here. Hold up. What is this? Oh, gosh, let me run. Let me run. Let me run. This is going to be efficiency done. This is a lot better. All right, Mr. Cow, I got to win this. Oh, my gosh. Okay, can I shoot the cow? Okay, no, no. It's straight up just a game of spleef. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm going to go across here. Crazy moves. The cow can parkour. Oh, we got him. Yes. And we won. Sorry, right, Mr. Cow. Here, you can have some wood. There you go. All right, Mr. Gym Teacher. Do I get candy? Oh, course complete. And we get extra candy. Oh, this must give me more heat then. So, with this, let's eat that. Oh, we hit the 32 degrees Fahrenheit. We're no longer freezing. And that means now we can go to the 32 degree Fahrenheit area. And reminder, we are trying to fill that bar up because there is an election coming soon. I'm gonna need a bigger jacket for that. Anyways, oh, let's real quick go up here. Oh, and now we made it to the cold village. Oh, and our first mission is 
so and freeze the frozen villager. How did this guy get frozen? All right, I have an idea. We're gonna pretty much save him through the power of a blend steel. So uh, pretty much, uh, just let me just add some fire all around him. Oh, and he's sweating. Is this gonna work? Come on, come on. Oh, he did it. And so with that, we get another hot candy. Let's real quick eat that. And now we're 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It's starting to get actually warmer. All right, what else can we do here to get more hot candy? There's a fire logo over there. Oh, and a villager. Let's start with the campfire thing where it looks like we have a lot of shivering villagers. I'm gonna guess these guys need a campfire. Should be easy enough because we can go ahead and just get some cobblestone, but this actually just gets stone. Never mind. There we go. And a little bit of wood. And so now all we gotta do is real quick just get one of these furnaces and we make charcoal. And now we just do this, this, and get fire. So, my fellow villagers, let's heat you guys up. Hopefully this works, right? Uh, gentlemen, is this good enough? Oh, wait, he gave me candy. So that might be good. That's gonna be another hot candy. And now we're up to 50 degrees. Oh, we got five hearts now. That's the benefit of getting a little warmer. Oh, and it looks like right ahead is the next door. So for the next area, we gotta be 75 degrees Fahrenheit. That's definitely doable. Okay, so to get warmer, we just have this guy, the farmer villager. And it looks like a giant cow that wants to be grown. All right, what do I do? Grow the cow, then kill it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna guess he grows with wheat because the wheat is frozen right there. So what we could do is get our ice pickaxe and do I do this? Come on. Oh, we broke it. Oh, yo, this is insane. We get frozen wheat. Is this what I give to the giant cow? Here you go, buddy. Bow onto this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, th I, th I think that's big enough. And so the next step for the farmer is to kill the cow. Sorry, buddy. But we get some giant raw beef. Holy, that is some big beef. Oh, here you go, buddy. Oh, and he gave us three hot candy. How hot are we going to get here? All right, let's go with one. That's 60. Two. That's 70. Oh, and one more. Is this going to get to us to 75 or 80? 75! Yo! And the bar's filling up nicely. And we're normal now! Yo! But let's go in. All right, so what do we do here? Oh, we're getting close to the lava city. That definitely means we're on the right direction. This is probably what we got to do then to get hotter right here. The to-do list with lots of different tasks right here and a lava trader. Oh, is he going to get me to the lava city? Oh, he trades three emeralds for lava shake. Maybe this is what gets me hotter then. All right, well then we gotta pick up any of these where let's start with make a villager a cold meat sandwich. All right, Mr. Ice Villager, is it you that needs the cold meat sandwich? Oh, yep. Okay, so that's the craft right there for a cold sandwich, but I'm gonna guess we need the cold cow first. All right, do I just kill him? Oh, we got raw beef. Try cooking bread and water. Is that the beef? Okay, let's real quick get some of this then. And now we cook the beef. All right, let's grab you. And now for the weird part where we gotta throw this in water. Oh, that works. We got cold steak! <laughs> oh, okay. All right, Mr. Ice Villager, there's only one thing left to do, and that's literally to put two cold bread and cold steak, and we get the cold meat sandwich. All right, there you go, man. And we get one emerald for that. Nice. All right, so we need a lot more for that guy, but good thing we have all these tasks. And before we get to the next one, it looks like we gotta get to 250 degrees for the next thing. What is that noise? Oh, uh, can I help you? Oh, I guess just buddy him giving us another one. That was easy. Let's go with that guy. All right, sir, what do you need? Build an igloo. Ooh, wait, that actually sounds pretty fun. Hold on. We have a bit of snow blocks, not that many, but we can make a very small igloo. It's not, it's not gonna be the biggest thing in the world, but it'll be something. Okay, so we're just gonna make a nice little igloo right here. Very tiny with the snow blocks we have. And can I place down the frozen wheat? Oh, I can. Oh, this is gonna be a cool igloo because we got frozen wheat. Let's go ahead and make the last bit of snow blocks. One, two, three, and four. And we made a little igloo. Nice. How's that? Hey, another emerald for us. That's gonna be three now. And it looks like the next guy is gonna be this ice villager right here. Clean up snow piles. Oh, like all these right here? All right. Well, good thing we have the shovel because this is going to be pretty simple. Oh, and I just realized, guys, we had three emeralds. Let's go ahead and trade for the hot thing right after this. Okay, let's get this done so we can get to the hot area. And Mr. Ice Villager, that's another emerald. Perfect. And so now for the lava trader, can we go ahead and get one little thing? Oh, lava shake. Let's drink up. Give me the lava shake. Oh, and we're now 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Yo. All right, let's see what's up over there. Whoa, what the heck is that? A heater. All right, what's up, man? Light the heater. Oh, wait, there's a lot of these. Okay, so how do we get coal for this? Oh, wait, what is that? That's how we get coal. Oh, and it looks like an iron golem is going around it. Hold up. I'm just going to go while he's looking over there. Real quick, let's walk in here. And we have emergency coal. Nice. I mean, that makes sense right here. Let's real quick grab all that. That's going to be inside your coal. More than I'll ever need. Let's now use the coal. So, for example, we just light the heater right there. Oh, and it's working. Did it make all the stone go away? Wait, what about here? And here. I think it might be doing it slowly. Let's heat you. And you. So many heaters. Though the snow is going away here. Get you out of the way. There we go. And I think that should be all of them. All right, Mr. Ice Villager. How's that? We 
got it! Second emerald done! Alright, so what's going on with this frozen iron golem right here? Do you give me an emerald? Let me just go ahead and start unfreezing him by doing this. Uh, there's eight there. Oh, and he's good! Oh, wait, we have another one here. Let's real quick burn you up real quick. And he's saved! Good, I guess I gotta do all of them. Oh, we have two more. So, we're gonna do this guy real quick. Let's burn you up real quick. Melt him. And finally, the last one should be this guy right here. Did I do all of them? Does he drop an uh, emerald? Oh, wait, this guy did! Yo, nice! And now we have five. So, Mr. Lava Trader, let's real quick get one of these. And is this gonna give us to the gold temperature? Nope, 125. Okay, on to the next quest, which it looks to be a little little red air right here where there's a chest over there. Watch for the powdered snow. Oh, wait, it's like a powdered snow maze. Oh, yo, this is sick. Hold up, so we just gotta make sure not to fall in it. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Okay, it might be hard to tell, but we fall in that and we sink. Let's just stay on the track. What type of maze is this? It's taking me all over the place. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Oh, here we go, and we made it. All right, what do we got? Oh, wait, another lava shank. Not even emeralds. Hold up, this should give us a good bit. 150, and we did it. Okay, it is definitely getting very hot right now. Can we just sink to go back? Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 This is gold. Oh my gosh. Well, that's one way you can get out. Let's not go in there ever again. Next up, we have the beach with some more quests, which we really need just one more emerald and then maybe we'll get closer. Uh, maybe let's start with the turtle. Hello, Mr. Turtle. What would you like? Build a nest. Oh, I have just the block for your nest. We could literally just go ahead and do one of these. So for all the baby turtles that you need, this will be your nest. Uh, I'm not really sure how uh, turtle nests are. Let's put one on the screen right there so we can see how inaccurate this is. But how does this look for a nest? You know what? I'll take it. Another emerald. And that's gonna complete another three. Before we go to do the trade again, though, let's see what this dolphin thing is about. Uh, how do I get up here? I guess I'll just make a little staircase. Let's get all the way up here. And it looks like Mr. Dolphin would like to talk. All right, what's up, man? Help the dolphin escape. Oh, we're getting him out. Okay, what can I do for this guy? Oh, wait, we have a chest right there. That might be the answer. What is in here? Leads. Okay, wait, so with the leads, what we can do is, why don't we just make a simple tunnel? Right here should be good. Oh, gosh. Okay, wait, we don't have that much breath. But now with the lead, come with me, buddy. Let's real quick swim you down here and you're free let's go all right how's that we oh, give us an emerald yes that's gonna be four emeralds all right let's get the next lava shake drink it up and 175 not the goal just yet but we are getting a little closer 75 more to go okay so the only quests that are left i'm gonna get started with the goat mr goat what do you want did, did, did i just give him a pickaxe huh that that's what he wanted to eat. he ate my item okay that's the second emerald thank you i guess only one more emerald to go and let's go ahead and check out this polar bear right here hopefully he doesn't attack us. Oh, find his son. Check the forest. Oh, so that's where his son is. All right, I will find the Mr. Polar Bear just so we can get that last emerald. Okay, so this is the forest. Is there any easy way around or do I gotta just like go forward? All right, let's just break through. Anything here? No. One eternity later. Guys, I, I am very ashamed, but it was this forest. That's just a random forest. Why did they not mention this one? Okay, we gotta make it through here then. Looks a lot more friendly. Oh, and that's the Polar Bear Baby. Okay, we just gotta make our way through. Oh, and is that it? Hello, buddy. All right, come with me. Oh, they're following me. Okay, let's make sure not to fall, but come this way, my friend. Oh, I think we're about to make it. We did it. And that should be the last quest done. Okay, so we did all the to-do list tasks, and now this should be the final lava shake. Let's get to the door first. All right, so we need 250 degrees. So let's real quick drink up. And does this change us? Oh, we've melted. What the heck? I think we've done it, guys. We are now boneless liquid accessorio. All right, so is this the hot area? Oh, yeah. I guess we can enter now. Oh, and now this is Lava City, where our new goal is 1,000 degrees. Oh, even the villagers are lava now. Oh, is that the next entrance? Oh, yeah. We gotta be 1,000 degrees to enter. Anyways, it looks like this is the first place we can go to right here, which is the daycare. Oh, there's a piglin teacher. All right, how's it going? This one has number one. Craft a toy. Oh, and we got a brand new craft. Is there a bell I can grab around here? Oh, there is a bell. Okay, let me just grab you real quick. And what we can do right here is do one stick and one bell and get the baby rattle. There you go. Now let's do number two. What do you need? When the game. Wait, like a game over here? Oh, we're playing a night four. All right, easy enough. Let's go ahead and get some black concrete powder, and this puddle is about to win. Let's go, buddy. Okay, so what we'll do is real quick start right there. Okay, we've been playing for a bit, and literally all I gotta do is just put my guy right here, and this should be a win. That win? Oh, we won! All right, sorry, buddy. Let's go all the way back down, put this guy in, and do I just right-click you again? Oh, nice! That leaves a number three. What would you like us to do? Build a Lego statue. Oh, we have Lego bricks. Oh, this is actually pretty sick. Hold up. Okay, so what can we do. Let's make a really cool Lego man. All right, so we'll do like this there. There we go. Oh, wait, I can't make the Lego float because it has to stack on top of each other. Then what we'll do is we'll make a Lego castle. This will be a little bit better. Let's real quick just do that there. Boom, boom. And there we go. Lego castle. How's that? And they're happy. Nice. All right, Piglin teacher. That should be everyone. And we get another lava shake. All right, how much is this going to heat me up 
now. 300 degrees. Nice. All right. What else can we do around here? Looks like there's a guy that needs help over there. All right. Don't mind me. Melted Accessorio is on its way. Farmer Villager, what do we got to do? Give me flavored snow cones. Oh, wait. We got to make those three guys. All right. So the three flavors are going to be with melon, pumpkin, and cocoa beans. All right. That should be easy enough. We have a no snowballs though. I might know a place. Literally right here. And now we just go ahead and put the ingredients. And the first one is chocolate ice cream. Go ahead and comment down below what your favorite ice cream flavor is. I'm going to go with strawberry. And is this going to be strawberry? No, watermelon. I mean, that that makes full sense. And is this going to be pumpkin ice cream? Oh, yeah. All right. Here you go, man. Oh, he took them and we get the next lava shake. All right. Let's heat up yet again. And now we're at 325 degrees. Very nice. What's this over here? It says vote. Oh, it's the election thing. But voting's closed. Oh, so it looks like we got to come here later. Oh, and that's one of my competitors. Here, Brian. Okay. Well, let's go get order first. Where the next guy we can go to is this blaze head. Huh? Hello? Gather all blaze rods. Oh, gosh. Well, where are they? Oh, this is a blaze rod. Blaze arm. Wait, so if I give you one, do you get the arm back? Oh, he does. Yo, that's sick. All right, so we got to get all the blaze rods then. Oh, that's another one right there. We need six more. Another one. New middle thrust. Two more to go. Number five. And we got the last one. All six arms. All right, Mr. Blaze, we're here to help. Wait, am I missing one? Oh, no. Oh, this is awkward. There it is. And number eight. Hey, level shake. All right, time to eat up yet again. That's going to be 350 degrees. Still not enough from what we need on the goal on the screen, but it looks like there's a lot of stuff to do on this beach. Maybe let's start with this one. Build an umbrella. I mean, I have orange concrete. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and make the umbrella with the blocks I have right now. Here's an actual umbrella build in Minecraft on the screen. This is something I'm just going to try to make up as I go, but it's going to be a very flat umbrella. Okay, let's just make this as wide as we can. There we go. That should be good there. And is that like good enough? Oh, we got another wall shake. Nice. Let's drink up. And now that's 400 degrees. Perfect. Okay, so now what do we have up here? I'm going to guess this might be the last thing we can do here. So, baby Strider, you need some help? Teach Strider to walk. Oh, wait. We got a brand new craft and hopefully the stuff for the craft is here. What is? All right. So, with this, we're pretty much making lava walking boots. Let's put these on. Oh, and I can now walk on lava. All right, Mr. Strider, come with me. We're going to get to that island over there. Also, this kind of hurts. Okay, let's just get all the way over here. There we go. Enemy made it. There we go, buddy. All right. This should be your place. Oh, and I get two lava shakes. Nice. What's in the chest? Oh, my gosh. Wait, there's actual loot. I mean, I'll take it. Let's real quick drink one lava shake and now we're at 500 so is this next one gonna be the big one all right guys this is for 1000 degrees is this lava shake gonna do it because there's nothing else to do oh we did it 1000 degrees fahrenheit yo i am now fire duster oh i look sick and we can now enter over here oh and it also set myself to 10 hearts nice this looks to be like the fire dojo if i'm gonna get to 100,000 degrees anywhere it's gonna be here well don't mind me we are going up first to the dojo master which is uh, Mr. Magma Cube. How's it going? Learn to shoot fire. Cause rain to grow crops. Is that the crops over there? I got a brand new ability here where I can shoot fire. Do I shoot it here? Yes, I'll try. Did that make precipitation? Oh, it does. Oh, that's sick. And now it's dripping on it. Wait, do these grow now? Come on, crops. Grow, grow, grow. Oh, wait, they're growing. Yo, I think we did a pretty good job. All right, Dungeon Master, how's that? Oh, he gave us a fire shard. What's this gonna give us? Dude? Oh my gosh. And that's now set us to 2,000 degrees. Now our mission is to summon fire mobs. Uh, Do we do it over there? Maybe we can watch fire on it. All right, here goes nothing. Fire. Does that summon anything? Oh, yep, it did. Okay, we are in battle now. Fire Duster will use the ice sword. Wait, I can't hit them. Oh, wait, they're friends. Yo, okay, I got my little golem army. Let me make way for you guys. And now we have a team. This will help for the presidential fire election. All right, Dojo Master, that is done now. Another fire shard. Let's get up to 4,000. Beautiful. Now we got to light five cakes on fire. Oh, so literally we got to light the cake on fire. That's one. Number two, I don't know why we're doing this. Third cake number four and finally the fifth cake all the way up there that should do it all right dojo master let's get the next fire shard and oh wait that made us go up to ten thousand we're getting closer next we gotta draw a picture with fire maybe that's it over there where we draw all right so we gotta draw something what could i do you know what this is the greatest thing we could do what if we just do a couple of these right there and we make a smiley face because we don't have a mouth ourselves we even added a nose right there that's gonna be one eye there and another eye right there <laughs> i mean it's something let's go show the dojo master all right, Dojo Master, how's that? Oh, and he gave us another fire shard. Now we're 15K. My goodness. Hone your abilities through combat. Wait, what does that mean? Do I fight these guys or who? Oh, never mind. We gotta fight this guy. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and eat some flamethrower on him. Oh wait, he's immune to flame. 
flames! Oh, guys, we're stuck doing this. Come on, buddy. Flamethrower, do your thing. Oh, wait, it's actually burning it. Oh, this is one way to take out a boss. And he's down. We did it. Did he drop anything? Oh, wait, a giant lava bucket. Do I eat this? Oh, I'm drinking it. And now we're level 20,000. Oh, my goodness. Now, step four is to reach 50,000 by bathing in lava. Wait, do I just, like, jump in here? Oh, it have fire resistance. So, literally, I could just go in here. And am I just chilling? Maybe I gotta go a little bit under. I'm bathing. Does anything happen? Oh, wait, something's happening. Oh, wait, we literally just stayed the same temperature. Oh, and I got given another fire shard. Maybe I take this in. Oh, that put me to 30k. Nice. Okay, that's more like it. Oh, now we gotta eat 10 lava blocks. How do you eat lava? Oh, wait, we found the special lava blocks. It was where the magma cube was. And we can mine lava. The most cursed thing in Minecraft. Literally just mining lava with our hand. Let's grab all these real quick. And we gotta just eat it. Do I just like right click? Oh, it fed me. Yo, let's eat them. And we did it. And now we're at 40,000. By the way, that next instruction, let's uh, we gotta get hit by a lot of fireballs. That means wherever this takes us, I guess we will find a lot of gas. So without further ado, let's jump in. Wait, what is this? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Okay. We're being hit by all of them. Is this enough? I don't know how many times I gotta get hit, but literally there was already so many gas waiting for me. Go ahead. Hit me. Hit me with the fireballs. Hit me with the fireballs. Go on. Oh my gosh. Guys, I think we have enough because we literally just got the shard. Let me real quick right click this. Oh, and 50k. We did it. Oh, and step five is to visit the volcano. All right, let's go back. Okay, now that we're back, this is the volcano. I mean, it still says presidents only. Do I just like right click it? Am I valid now? Oh, campaign for president. Oh, can we do that now? Oh, we got a challenge button. Do I like press it? Oh, our first task as our presidential run is to put down some flyers. I think I might know where we do this. So the election is going to be right there. So the first things we got to do really is place down some vote for accessorial flyers and hopefully they don't show up like that. What about this? Oh gosh, I, I'm, I'm not very good at this. This will be good. Nope, nope, not that either. And we got to do it in the first town too because everyone needs to vote. Wait guys, I figured it out. We place it like that. Vote next to story everyone here. We got even the shivering villagers, which are now warm, where I'm going to put one right there. And we can't forget about the warm school. Or I guess I can put it right there. Yep, vote next story before you go in. I think that's the job well done. Time to go back to the election. Let's click the button again. And now we got to get the hot candy to five babies. Oh, like a politician. Like here, you, and you. There we go. You get some candy. I'm going to run out of candy. There's so many. All right, last one. And that, that, that should be good. Good for the image. And next up, now we got to make a parade path and build a float. Oh, wait, I already have the float. And I'm going to guess the path is going to be the road. So hold on. Do I just like place it right here? Yo, the accessory parade float. That's sick. Oh, it's like a horse. And now there's fireworks. All right, let's go and start campaigning. Oh, wait, what? We have airbine too? You will lose, Nestor. What is this? My campaign cannot lose airbine. All right, we just got to go through here and make it all the way to the next area. Oh, gosh, wait. Uh, How are we going to fit? Do I have to break this? Hold up. Let me real quick get out of here. Oh, wait, everybody got out too. Oh, he's placing TNT. Hey, yo, let me put this a little bit back. Oh my goodness. This man is insane. He, he's left the TNT. How is he going to get votes with this? What is this? Well, there goes the gate. Let's real quick jump through here. And we made it through. We are going to be campaigning first. Oh, oh, and then there comes here by campaign too. You know what? No, everyone vote for me, please. And I also got to say, I, I fixed all the heaters. So please vote Extorio. I mean, this is going pretty well. Pretty sure this is the end of the line though. Let's stop right here. Let's right click that. And now we got to record a commercial. Hint, new craft unlocked. Oh, it's for this camera. Well, I guess we already have it. All right, well, here, Brian, if you're gonna record a commercial, I'm gonna get out of your way. Let's get back real quick. This is a good spot. We got the nice Extorio X right there. And let's get the camera set up right here. Oh, and it's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna hit record on it. And here we go. All right, and attention, all the citizens of this village winter fire thing, I'm here to unite everyone and get us all under a new presidency of me. The main reason that you should vote for me is because uh, I'm not here, Brian. So uh, yeah, please, please, please vote for me. Thank you. Well, okay, let's break that. And I think that's a job well done. Now all that's left is to click the challenge button again. Oh, we need 7,200,000. Yo, we can compete now. And now we got to compete in the election. Oh, and the iron bars are gone. All right, let me go ahead and get set up and wait for Herobrine to show up. Who are the other guys? The villager and the piglin. All right. Oh, wait, everyone appeared. We have the piglin king, the lava villager, Herobrine, and all the audience. All right, attention everyone. And my only thing I want to tell you guys is that I'm probably better than all these guys. I'm probably the highest temperature, even though everyone needs 100,000 degrees. And these guys even campaign. So vote Exostorio for the best life possible. Uh, here, Brian, do you have anything to say? Hello. Okay, he's saying hello. What, what, what's he gonna tell them? I don't like you all. Huh? What type of campaign is this? Is that it? Please vote for me. I, I, I think we won this by landslide, guys. The other guys aren't even talking. You know what? Might, might, might as well record this. I'm gonna put the camera right there just so we can get the extra production going. Oh, I won! Yo! And so with that victory, 
century. We are now presidential fire accessorio. Main thing we can do now, though, is let's go to the volcano. Oh, this is it. Does it just open now? Oh, it does. And now final mission. Jump into a volcano and see what happens. A little bit ominous, but I guess we can try it. I mean, as president, we've gone through so much to finally get here and to reach the max temperature. Okay, made of gold blocks, and it looks like we just jumped down. Oh, and there's diamonds. All right, here goes something. Oh, you interrupted. Oh my gosh, did I just make everything into lava? No, I am the worst president ever. Victory, not really. Oh my goodness. What would that be done, guys? That's gonna be it for Minecraft, but from gold to hot, I think I got way too hot, but now we just chill here. This is Minecraft, but what's this uh. furnace? Today our furnace is gonna be getting weirder and weirder, and well, you'll see at the end of the video. From a furnace that cooks anything, to a literal wide furnace, to even the mother of all furnaces? My goal is to cook things in every furnace possible, but every time I cook something, the furnace is definitely gonna be getting weirder. So, what furnace is waiting for me at the end? Stay tuned to find out. So this right here is a completely normal furnace but when we click upgrade furnace it's gonna change into the wide furnace oh my goodness and that's only five percent furnace progression where when we open it it looks a little bit weird i know what you're thinking what the heck is this arrow well pretty much we're gonna go get some coal and iron and show you what happens when this cooks and our goal is to smell the unsmeltable object which is bedrock i don't think we can smell to just yet with that one anyways there's a cave right down here and we got some iron right there oh and coal all right let's get mining that should be good. Oh, there's an emerald. Oh, and a skeleton spawner. Yo. Oh, 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 gosh. Okay. Why do they not have bows? What is this? Okay. Th 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 this video and server's already cursed. What is going on? I don't think they're supposed to not have bows. What? I just need to smelt. Okay. Let me just grab what's in the chest. Okay. There we go. A bucket. Some more coal. Nice. And some gold. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. How's it going, guys? There we go. Let's get some more iron. That should be enough. Okay, so to cook in this thing, what I'm planning is real quick, let's make one coal block. And I was told we were gonna need a lot of fuel. So let's put the coal block in first. Now let's put the eight iron. And look at it go! Oh my goodness, that is cursed. What? Wait, it's not eating the iron. Is this unlimited iron? Yo! Weird furnace. Now smelt 1,000 emeralds to upgrade. Oh! Oh my, guys, it's not gonna stop. What? All right, let me turn this off real quick. Okay, it's done for now, but we were told now to get emeralds to upgrade it yet again. So I'm gonna guess we press that button again and we were given a silk touch pickaxe. Luckily, we know where an emerald is. If we just run back here and look straight up there, that should be the emerald we need. Also, with that little bit of time, we already have a stack and 12 iron ingots. This is insane already. Okay, let's go up real quick. Grab that emerald ore. And now I need to get 1,000 emeralds. Probably won't take too long. Okay, I have a little bit of a plan just because it's going to spit it out. What if we real quick add a little area underneath here, just like this right here. Go back to the crafting table and we got to make three crafts. First, we got to make double chest because we're going to need that. Then another chest. And then with the other chest, we're going to be making one of these. Oh, wait, how do I make this? There we go. We need a hopper. And with the hopper, we're just simply going to grab everything that goes from here and put it in the double chest. Wait, that yeah. is cursed. Just like that. And now we should be good to go ahead and put one emerald ore here. Oh, and it's working. Yo, look at it go. Wait, is the hopper not working? Oh, no, I got to put one there too. Hold on. Let's real quick make one of these. Now with this good furnace, we should be able to catch everything. Oh, and we did it. Upgrade available. Wait, how many emeralds are we gonna have it here. Yep, that is a lot of emeralds. I'm gonna borrow a stack just in case we need it later. That being said, now we can upgrade the furnace again. And what abomination is about to happen? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's like nine furnaces, but it's only one. Yo, and now we're gonna smell the required items. Oh, a diamond pickaxe and enchanting table. Wait, is this like a bigger UI? Oh my gosh, that's cursed, guys. We're now cooking two things to get two things out, huh? So we gotta get the following items. We'll I'll be right back, buddy. We got your cane right there. One book. There we go. Diamond one, two. Oh, and three and four. Now we can go ahead and get one good old diamond pickaxe. One more diamond to go. Nice. Now for obsidian. All right, we got obsidian here. And now we got the obsidian. All right, let's real quick do one of these. And now that should complete both things we need. All right, big furnace, it is time. Let's go ahead and put the pickaxe right there and one enchant table. And now we got to cook it. Oh, it's cooking. What came out? Oh, an efficiency 10 fire diamond pickaxe. Yo. Oh, and now we got to cook the furnace, blast furnace, and smoker. Well, luckily, we can go ahead and make one furnace. Oh, and I already have two smooth stone. When did I get this? Oh, it's these guys. Okay. All we need is cobblestone, which because this has so touch, we got to use this guy. 
All right, let's start with the smoker, which is pretty much going to be this. There we go, one smoker. Then we got to make two more furnaces, because now we can go ahead and make the blast furnace, which is, I think, this. Oh, yeah, there we are. And now when I open up the UI, oh my gosh, it's literally three things. That is so cursed. It's still 20%, though. So let's go ahead and put one of each, where we put the smoker, the blast furnace, and the normal furnace. And we're cooking furnaces? What is this going to make? Oh, a smelter amalgamation. What the heck is this thing? I got it, and it's not giving me an upgrade option. Okay, I got to play this thing down first. All right, let's place this bad boy down. Oh gosh, wait, what's it doing? Um, yo, it's a giant furnace smelter blast thing. Oh, combine meat with raw gold. Do I go inside? Okay, it's literally blocks, so I'm gonna try to go inside. All right, let's figure this out. Oh, wait, it's hollow. Oh, there's stuff inside. Okay, so I'm supposed to combine meat with gold, and there's gold and a lot of mobs. Okay, let's make sure they don't escape. What's up here? More furnaces, normal ones. Oh, we got blast furnaces too. Okay, so smoker, furnace, blast furnace, and every every mob in Minecraft. So are these like special? Oh, what the heck is this? A smolter! It has so many slots! I guess we'll put the stuff here and then it'll cook over here. Let's get some gold then. I think I need the real version, so one sec. That should be enough. And let's get one of every meat. This pickaxe is insane. All right, I just need mutton. There we go. Oh, that's some gold blocks. Nice. Let's just grab a lot of you. Perfect. And now we can go ahead and do the weird cooking. Where we can go ahead and put some blocks of coal right here. And then the raw gold there. And I guess, do we just go ahead and put a meat like this? Oh, it cooked! And we got golden what? beef! Huh? Okay, can we get golden chicken? Oh my goodness, we're gonna get gold of every single thing, guys. What is the smolter? This is not one of the weird furnaces. It's like a side quest. All right, and we got all of them. Should I just make a lot of it? I'll just make a lot of it. That should be good. Can I eat it now? Oh! Now we can return to the furnace. Oh, and it's like a golden apple. Guess that's complete. And so does that mean we can upgrade this guy again? Oh, wait, no. Now we gotta make full diamond armor. Did it get more slots? Oh, yo. Now we have the two by two furnace. This is so broken and goofy. All right, so we gotta go back to focusing on this thing where we gotta get that many diamonds. All right, the diamond journey begins. Let's grab you and you. Oh, wait, I can super mine with this. Oh, this is great. Well, this is gonna be a lot easier. Right now, look at that number five. Because in three, two, one, and now we have 24. Oh, actually 25. Oh, wait, I gotta mine all these. Hold up. There we go. Okay, so now that we have everything, let's go ahead and put in the helmet, the chest plate, the pants, and the boots. And so what happens when we cook armor? Oh, it's now burning armor. Yo, are you sure this is safe to wear, it says? Oh, gosh, I don't like the sound of that. Anyways, let's go and grab that. Oh, and now we got a new mission. Oh, I think I already have all that. Okay, well, before we do that, let's real quick put the armor on. And so what, what, what does it do? do? Do I do anything? Can I shift right click? What if I hold a sword? Oh, yo. Oh, that's sick. I don't know what I'm doing, but we have cool particle effects. I have flames defending me now. Amazing. That being said, though, we gotta get some more cooking done with this right here being a, oh my gosh, it's a five by five furnace. This is so goofy. You know what? We already have all the stuff, though. I have the gold. We have some diamond, some emeralds, some coal, and iron. And literally one coal will cook all five? Sure. Oh, it's going. What is that? The ore amalgamation. And I gotta place it? Um, do I like place it right here? Oh, wait, wait, where's it going? Oh, it's going over there. Oh, it's going far. Oh, what is this? Is it hollow like last time? Oh, it has so much ores in it. Yo, enjoy the rich ore deposits. There's so many diamonds. Okay, I'm gonna keep this right here. There's even a mine shaft above there, but this will definitely come in handy. Let's go back to the furnace. Oh, and we already have the next mission. Now we gotta do steak, pork, mutton, chicken, fish, and rabbit. Okay, we have raw chicken, raw mutton, and that's it. So let's get some pork real quick. There we go. Now we just need salmon and rabbit. Oh, we have salmon right here. There we go. Now just rabbit. Oh, it's your blossom biome. Nice. Oh, first rabbit. There we go. That should be all of them done. And now back to Mr. Furnace, we're, we're gonna go ahead and put this guy, this guy, one there, one there, chicken, and salmon. And is this gonna make me like the ultimate food? Or is this again the food amalgamation? It's a three by two furnace. It's so cursed. Oh, here we go. Oh, and it squished it all together. The food amalgamation. Oh, gosh. Okay, no new mission. I think we gotta place it again. Okay, where is this gonna go? Oh, it's going this way. Oh, my gosh. Huh? What is that? It doesn't look very cooked. It kind of looks raw. Do, do, do I break inside of it again? I don't think it's edible, right? now. Oh, punch all the mobs out of the ball. What the heck is this guy? Okay, wait, so do I just like punch him with my fists or do I hit him? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't like this one. I swear I did not put this inside of the guy. Wait, so every time I punch him, more mobs come out. Let me put on the armor real quick and go attacks. Oh, this is sick. That's how you take those guys out. All right, what other mobs are going to come out? Oh my gosh, no. Oh, oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, okay, fire attacks. Do your thing, do your thing, do your thing. Oh my gosh, they take so much damage. No, 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 no. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. No, 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 no. I only have one life. Oh my gosh. We're going to beeline it, beeline it, beeline it, beeline it. I am going to real quick do this right here. And 
now we should be good to go back inside. Oh my gosh. Okay, round two. Oh, wait, that was it. Nice. Let's real quick take care of the blazes. And it looks like we got a new upgrade. Uh, an enchanted glycerine slice. What is this? Infinite food source. Oh, wait, is that what I got from this? Oh, yo, wait, it fed me immediately. It gives me saturation. That's sick. Well, might as well grab these blaze rods. And now let's go upgrade the furnace one more time. So from this furnace alone, we got that thing, that thing, and there used to be a thing there. Anyways, it's upgrade furnace again. Let's see what it makes. Here we go. Is it gonna get weirder? Huh? What the heck is this? Wait, this is like an illusion. Yo, what is this? Oh my goodness. It's a backwards furnace. So do we put stuff in here and it gives us something here? Or do we put it on this side? Hold up. Let me, let me try something out. What if we just put water here and coal here? It made ice. What? Okay. We need to try more things. Hold up. Oh, wait. So smelt a spotter to make a zoo. Oh, I might know where we can get a spotter. Well, right here earlier, we found the weird skeleton spotter. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and grab that with our silk touch big axe. Let's grab some of this also because we're going to need it. And just to try it out, some of this too. Okay, because why not? Let's put iron ingots here. Oh, and it makes it into raw iron. Yo, I kind of messed up the feel, but that, that's pretty cool. Now for the main thing. It's asked me now to uncook a monster spotter. This is going to be so cursed, but okay. Let's put in the monster spawner. Honor. And then a coal? What does this make? Oh! Huh? A zoo. The heck is a zoo? This is about to be so goofy. All right. Again, 30% progression furnace is already very weird, but let's go to places down somewhere. Oh, where's it going? That way. Oh, oh, uh, hello, horse. Oh my gosh. It's literally a zoo with the zoo sign. Okay, it's not letting me upgrade the furnace yet. So I gotta go and unlock and fill the enclosure first. We can do that. All right. I am now entering the zoo. Uh, what exactly do I do in here? Do I start with the horse? So do I do something with the horse? Do I ride it? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, you were supposed to mow the lawn with the horse. Yo, this is sick. So suddenly for the furnace, we are just mowing a zoo lawn. Th this is amazing. We gotta name the horse though. Go ahead and give the horse a name in the comments down below because this horse is insane. Don't mind me, just mowing everything down. And it looks like we don't really have animals everywhere besides this horse. I mean, that should be good. And do we just leave a beer? Oh, we got a good job. And we get fresh meat from that. Don't really know what this is for, but I'll take it. Oh, and the next area I think is for the pig, for the pig challenge. Do I just go on this? Oh, build a pig. Where the Back am I now? And there's pink concrete. Okay. Um, I'm going to build the smallest pig in the world. Oh, oh, maybe I should take off the armor. Okay. If this is going to be a little small pig, we're just going to do this real quick right here. This is going to be goofy, but it won't work. Okay. So it's going to be this little dude right here. We gave him the tail already. Oh gosh. That is not a pig face. <laughs> this is so goofy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. I got this. This is my pig. Yeah. Oh, wait, it's shaking again. Did they accept my pig? They did. Nice build. Uh, I feel like that's a lie, but it's all good. Let's real quick grab the fresh pork. Oh, and now we're doing the salmon challenge? Oh, remove the axolotls. Uh, where are they? Oh, wait, they disappeared. All right, here's the plan, guys. I refuse to kill the axolotls, so what we'll do instead is grab them one by one. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but we can place them in a hole just like right here, and that's what we'll do. Another one, two axolotls, and the last one. Look at all the axolotls. Oh, wait, it's shaking again, and we're back. This time, we got fresh salmon. Salmon. Nice. All right, let's grab that. And on to the next challenge, let's do rabbit next. Oh, defeat the rabbit? Wait, what do you mean defeat the rabbit? Oh, hello. How's it going, buddy? Can we just like race up? Oh, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, we're doing this apparently. Oh, the, 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 the rabbit just died immediately. Huh? Okay, hold on. I missed one of these. Let's real quick use this. And this will make it a lot easier. Oh, so I'm guessing I was supposed to race the rabbit and it literally just fell in lava. Well, on the bright side, our new goal is to not fall in lava. Let's real quick just jump and jump and jump. Jump. Oh my goodness, all this for a furnace. Oh, what, what's this way? Oh, is it a maze now? Yo! Okay, okay, okay. I'm literally racing myself right now. Go through here. I, I, I'm insane at mazes. Yo, I'm crazy. Wait, did we complete it? Oh, we did. Oh, and it brought me all the way back here. All right, now that we're back, let's go on to the next thing, which is the chicken. These challenges are so weird. Uh, chicken challenge is next. Oh, here we go. What's it gonna be? Flappy bird. What is going on? Yo, wait, I got this feather and you guys can see me from over there. Oh, that's sick. Oh my gosh, wait. So when I right click the feather, guys, it literally makes me jump like it's Flappy Bird. Okay, okay, wait, let's, let's just uh, play this a little slow. If you guys know what Flappy Bird is, it was a great app game. It's, it's a little ancient, depending on when you guys uh, got your phones. But we're, we're doing it right now in Minecraft. Okay, the whole goal is to just get through the little pipe things. And uh, in the actual game, you would have died if you touched the pipe. So right now, we're just gonna make it to the end. Oh, nice. All right, and we're shaking again. All right, goodbye, side view. And we're back. Very nice. And from that, we get a fresh potato. Oh no, fresh poultry. Never mind, that's not a potato. Oh, and the only one we haven't done yet then is the sheep. Oh, here we go again. Survive five rounds of block party? Oh, wait, we gotta figure out which color it is then. Hello, fellow sheep. Oh, stand on orange. Five seconds. Okay, let me just go on here. Oh gosh. Oh no! Oh, the sheep! Okay, now we gotta stand on purple. Okay, wait, uh, it's this one. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're chilling, we're chilling. I'm quick with it. Oh, well, it looks like another set of sheep are gone. It's literally just that guy. Oh, oh, I'm gonna come save you. I'm gonna come save you. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get on the red, get on the red. No, my friend. 
Oh, well, that sucks. It's just me. Lime green. Okay, right here. Honestly, the five seconds, I'm pretty quick with that. I'm crazy. All right, nice. And I think there's only one round left. And finally, black right here. We did it. I think it's only five rounds, right? Oh, it's shaking again. And I think we did it. Nice. Okay. And that should be the last food. Is this for like a furnace thing? I have no idea. Oh, wait, what if we're reversing all the foods to get the animals back? That might make sense. Let's go back to the furnace real quick. All right, uh, sheep, get out of there. Anyways, back to this weird furnace. We can now do this where if we put in the beef right here and then put coal, it goes as a cow. Yo. Wait, so does this work with everything? For example, pork. Oh my goodness, that, that that's insane. We can do it with sheep. We can even do salmon. All right. I mean, we also have chickens, I guess. Give me the chickens. Amazing. And now with all these mobs, we can go ahead and fill the zoo. All right, horse, you're already there. The pigs, we can now spot all of them. All right, pigs. There you go. Your brand new home. Oh, the sheep will go in here. There we go. Now for Mr. Chicken. Chicken, go in there. Perfect. The salmon one is pretty goofy. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, yep. Go in there, guys. Go in. And thank, thank you, thank you. Let me, let me push you in. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh. There you go. And now finally the last one. The cow. Uh, this feels wrong. I feel like the rabbit goes here. Huh. Well, that works. And now if we go through here. Oh, and now upgrade available. Time for another weird furnace. Oh, my goodness. How is it going to get weirder than literally a backwards furnace? Well, let's see what happens with a good old upgrade. And what's it going to become? Huh? Is that a frozen furnace? Oh, my goodness. It's literally a frozen furnace. Smelt hot items use ice for fuel. Oh, well, that's why that ice worked then. And now we got to get a lava bucket, magma block, fire sword, flint and steel, and torch. Okay, so, well, the first thing we do have is one torch. Now we need everything else. Let's begin. Now we got some magma. Let's real quick grab you. That's two down. Oh, and is this going to have anything good? Oh, flint and steel. That works great. We also got the lava bucket. That's four down. Now we just need a fire sword. Hmm. Hold on. I'm inside the giant ore, and I never saw these before, but it says loot me. So, could there be something like a fire sword book over here? Oh, there's a chest. What the heck is this? Literally a fire sword. Maybe I was supposed to get this earlier then. And oh my gosh, we even got fire sword too, but I'm gonna grab this in case we need it for the actual thing, but that makes things a lot easier. Wait, what does it do? Oh, it has like a little fire effect. This makes sense in a furnace video. Anyways, now that we have this, we can finally try out the ice furnace. That's in blue. So what happens if we freeze lava? Do we get something? Glass? Oh, wait, well, what's going on? Find the exit of the maze? I swear I already just did this maze. What? Well, now we will do super fast mode of completing the maze yet again. Guys, that, that was record time. All right, well, that was the lava. What about magma block? So let's put one magma block and one coal. And it's so cool how it does that. Oh, we got ice. Wait, oh no, we're shaking again. What's going on? Invade the obstacles with your bow? Wait, what? Hey, yo, there's snowmen. Oh gosh, okay, okay. These guys were not here before. Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta avoid the TNT. Please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me. They don't do any damage, but they push me. We have the skills, guys. We have the skills. Oh man. Going on ice on a boat in Minecraft is so much harder than it looks. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Let me get out real quick. And are we good? Yes, we made it. Oh my goodness. Now I guess fire sword. All right, let's put in the fire sword. And I'm gonna miss this guy, but please give me a better sword. Oh, we get the ice sword. Yo, what does it do? Oh, 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 we can now gotta use it against a lava golem. Where is he? Is there a lava golem? Oh, there he is. Hey, yo. Okay, let's use this attack. Oh my gosh, it makes me run at him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Melon. This thing is the only thing saving me. Oh gosh, I gotta get out, get out, get out. Okay, I gotta avoid those little attacks from him. This guy is huge. Let's go in again. And we got him. Oh my gosh. And we're back. Did I get anything from that? Nope. I literally just had the fire sword. Luckily, the melanie heals is up real quick. And next up, let's do the flint and steel. Okay, we just gotta put the flint and steel in. And so what is this gonna make us? An ice pick? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, where are we going now? Cold nether. Oh, we just gotta find the portal home. Okay, well, I guess I'll keep the ice pickaxe. Let me see what this does here. Oh, what the heck? Did I just throw something? Oh, yo, I can like break stuff when I right click it. That's sick. Anyways, this place is a little bit creepy. There's literally nothing going on in here. Oh, another word. I'm gonna guess that's the portal, but let's check what's in the chest first. Oh, pretty much nothing. All right, let me try right clicking right here then with this would this work oh it lit it yo that makes no sense but let's go in and now we're back definitely a weird one only one thing left to do with this weird furnace though by the way reminder this is only 40 percent let's go ahead and add the torch is the torch gonna be the probably the weakest one what's it gonna give me oh snow torch blizzard incoming clear the blizzard wait what do you mean blizzard incoming oh my gosh wait there's already a blizzard and mr stabby the heck is this guy oh my gosh I, I wish i had the fire sword right now okay okay this is actually insane hey yo i'm surrounded okay okay you know what it's time to use the fire pickaxe attacks. Oh my gosh, there's so many. How do I kill these guys? They just never stop. What if I use the snow torch? Does the snow torch do anything? It just throws snowballs. Guys, my armor's gonna break. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Come on. Oh wait, I got another 
another one. Oh, nice. I'm getting them now. Oh, no. My armor's breaking. Oh, my gosh. Get over here, you guys. Oh, oh, you guys. The armor's gone. All the armor's gone. Let me just eat this real quick. Oh, wait. I can forgot. I can use this attack. Go on. Let's claw all of them. Destroy this thing. Oh, my goodness. That was a lot of work. But now we can finally upgrade the furnace yet again. We got the cold furnace. What type of weird ungodly thing is about to become? Here we go. What's it going to be? And, um, what's going on? Am I being pushed away? Huh? Is this a furnace village? Find the lava tools. Okay, so we first got to find some magma tools before we talk to these guys. Where could I find that? Oh, wait, there's a chest right there with magma. Is this the magma tools? Oh, lava tools here. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is everything we need, I guess. Lava axe, lava shovel, even a lava bow, a pitchfork, and boiling water bucket. What is a boiling water bucket? Oh, that's what a boiling water bucket does. What about the pitchfork? Oh, I am so sorry, Mr. Cow. And of course, the lava bow. Amazing. Well, let's go start helping people. What about you? Smelt these cows. Huh? Let me try this cow. You made pink potatoes? What is going on? How does that even work? Uh, sir, are, are you happy with this? You know what? He's happy with it. I'm never going to question it. Next up, we have this guy who wants to smelt some clay from the river. That should be easy. Should be some clay here. All right. So do I just use a shovel like this? Oh, that worked. And we got the clay. All right, sir. Here you go. That's two done. Take your clay. And now let's do this guy right here. He has a bunch of pillars. Smell some sand from the river. Oh, wait. I already did this too. So Loki, we can just do this right here with our new fire tools. It's like a portable furnace. Anyways, here you go. Smelt it. That's going to be three done. Now we got a farmer guy here. I'm going to guess I got to use the hoe. Smelt some potatoes. Oh, wait. Is this going to give us baked potatoes? Give us baked potatoes. There we go. It worked. Nice. All right. How's that, farmer? Nice. That's four to be done. On to the next. What tool do we have to use with this guy right here? Smelt some wood from some trees. Uh, wait, like, like this? Do I do it with this guy? Wait, no, there's a furnace. What about this tree? Oh, yo, we immediately get charcoal. Oh, that, that's broken. Okay. Oh, well, that's done. And do you approve? He does. That's five out of eight done. Who else needs some help? Oh, guy right here. Smelt some iron ore. Hmm, maybe the pickaxe? Okay, let's go in this cave right here. And what about this? Yes, instant iron. Now, sir, that's mission complete. Six out of eight done. Next up, we have this guy in here. Smelt you? Huh? How do I do that? I guess sword would make sense. Oh, and now he's burned. Amazing. Everything's cooking in this village. Only one more to go now. Looks like we have a guy upstairs. What does this guy do? Smelt the zombies underground. Huh? Uh, like right underneath here? Oh, hello, zombies. Hold up. Let's real quick try our new weapons. Lava bow. Very nice. Oh, and we get burnt flesh from them. Ugh. Okay, everything's cooking here. Did I eat this? Probably not a good idea. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and give the evidence to this guy. Your zombie problem is done. And now that's the village complete, which means we're about to get a weirder furnace. Well, let's see what we get next by doing this real quick. And, oh gosh, what's going on now? Oh my! That's our next furnace. The mother of all furnaces! Okay, so do I just go inside? Have all the furnaces inside smelting simultaneously? Wait, how do I do this? Are there furnaces while we do parkour? Let's check. Oh yeah, there are furnaces. Okay, so what we can do then is, let's get our coal ready, and we'll cook iron ore in each one, and we'll make sure to do this parkour on time. Which way is the furnace? Oh, it's under every one of those things. So technically, this is gonna be our first one right here, and I'm just gonna put one coal's worth. Oh gosh, we gotta be quick. Okay, next one. Let's put this here. Perfect. Is that one still lit? It is. Okay. Other corner. Let's go. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. My biggest worry is that furnace right there. It's still lit. Okay. I think we only got to do one more in that corner over there. Okay. Let's just jump to it. Oh, gosh. Is this all four done? I think that's all four, right? Oh, it opened. Yes. Don't need those. And now we get access to complete the puzzle. What is this? Okay. We have an arrow right there and four item frames and a chest. Okay. What's this puzzle going to be? Oh, it's literally furnace puzzle pieces. Hold up. So will this go there? Another puzzle piece right there. Another one there. This should be the front one. And I completely missed this one. Okay, let's get these guys ready. And now I think it would go this, this, and this. Yeah, that'll be a furnace. Oh, it's open. Okay, now what do we do here? Unscramble the word puzzle. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's the word furnace. Let's write it down right here. F, R goes here. U, N, A, C, and E. Well, there's furnace. And uh, does it do over there? Oh my gosh, I just opened the door. On to the next room. And what do we have in this for? Finish the redstone pirate with the furnace. Oh, oh, that's fun, actually. So what we can do is real quick cook some stuff there and that should give fuel once we get these guys right here. All right, redstone repeater right there. Oh, I got to put them here. Okay, let's put one there, one here. Might be smart if we mine some redstone. There we go. Oh, we need more. Let me mine all these. Now we finish this. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a long trail. Luckily, we have some more of these guys right here. All right, I want to put one of these guys here. Let's just connect this all the way. And why not right there? Okay, everything is connected now. I just got to figure out how to light that redstone. Wait, maybe we use this thing? I've never actually used a redstone comparator. Hold up, what if we just put it like that. Oh, 
wait, it's giving power. Hold up. I need to cook something. Uh, beef. Is that gonna work? You know what, guys? Plan B. There's a block of redstone right here. We're doing this the old fashioned way. Come on. Is that gonna give us a strong enough signal? Oh, wait, no. I just gotta move this a little bit back. Okay, let's just put this right here. And yes, we opened it. That furnace challenge was too difficult. That's why we use the redstone block. Oh, and now furnace golems. Light them all on fire at the same time. Oh, um, how can I do that? Does that work? Oh, he got lit on fire. Okay, let me just light all of you on fire then. And I'm gonna guess they do something to get that key over there. All right, let's light you and let's light you. Is that all of them done? Well, that didn't work. What about the sword? Oh, that's lighting them on fire. Hold on. You get lit on fire. You, 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 and you. Is that, is that, is that, is that working? Oh, they did it. Yo. Find the key and smelt it. I mean, it was right there. I just like shoot it. Come here, key. Oh, we shot it. And now we get the key, which I think we got to smell. Oh, wait, there's a perfect way in the corner of a room. That works. Okay. Let's real quick go to this thing. And what are we unlocking with this thing anyways? Well, we're cooking the key and we now get the smelted key. Oh, and that just appeared. Do we use it on that thing? Key. Oh, yo, that's sick. Now that's upgrade available. Nice. We got to get all the way back down there. I have an idea. Watch this. It's going to be crazy, but it's going to be worth it. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. We're insane. We're insane. We're insane. That's how you get down in style. All right, big furnace. Thank you for what you did. But yet again, we get another upgrade and I'm feeling like we're getting close to the final 100% furnace. What's this one going to be? Oh, it's moving. What the heck is this thing? This is the 100% furnace? It's a circle. The furnace portal. What's going to be inside the portal though? All right, let's try it out. Here we go. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Furnaces of the end. Huh? Oh no, they're back. The normal furnace, the blast furnace, and the smoker. Summon the furnace dragon, power the furnace first. Oh gosh, what the heck am I doing here then? Well, first we have this giant furnace. This this is just wild. Pull all the levers. Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay, let's make sure we don't fall because I don't feel like I should trust the thing at the bottom. Okay, let's not fall. And this is going to be level one. Now three more to go. Number two, number three, number four. And this is the hardest one, but I think this should complete it. Number five. Is that all of them done? Oh, furnace power. Now find a way to power the blast furnace. Let's go to that one. Blast furnace. Okay, how do I go inside this thing? Do I just like break in? Oh, wait, never mind. The door's open. What are we doing here? Some cobwebs. Is there like a thing that happens? Maybe we got to go up. Is there something in here? Oh, wait. So to power this, it's like a lava puzzle. Yo, okay. How's it work though? I mean, I'm just removing it. Oh, wait, it's filling up as I do it then. So if I do this one again there, oh, it keeps going up. Let me keep going. I'm literally just gonna fill everything I can. Oh my gosh, it's following me. This is sick. We're powering the blast furnace. Come on, lava. Oh my goodness, it's going all the way over here. Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. Okay, it's going. Another one there and there. And now this should flow all the way down. Yes, that should be good. Okay, let me go downstairs real quick and see if it worked. Oh my goodness, everything's lava. What do I do here? Okay, let's block that. And blast furnace powered. I just broke out. On to the last one. And that's gonna be the smoker. Uh, does this just open again when I get close to it? Mr. Smoker. Oh, there we go. And what do we have going on here? Do I gotta shoot these guys? Gonna guess that's what I gotta do. Oh, there's so many of these. Okay, I'm just gonna go run around, shoot the targets, and then that should power up the smoker. As long as we don't get cooked inside. Okay, there we go. And this is all to summon a furnace dragon of all things. Don't know if I wanna see that. Another one. Let's get that target down right there. And it looks like there's only two more. Unless there's one all the way up. Oh, yes. Smoker powered. All right, let's get to the top. Oh, wait, no. That function escaped the smoker. Oh, no. Okay, let's get out. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I knew this was a bad idea. Okay. Dragon Furnace, champion of the smelter of bedrock. Oh, this is how I smelt the bedrock. I forgot about this. Oh, there it is. Hello, Dragon Furnace. All right, let's take this guy down. We have the lava bow and the pitchfork. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, my attacks are fighting his attacks. That's kind of cool. Oh, my goodness. We're doing so much damage to him. Uh, yeah, he's kind of all the way over there. Looks like we're going to take him down with the fire damage, oddly enough. And that should be it very soon. We did it. Uh, So how do I cook the bedrock? Try smelting that unsmeltable object. On what, though? Did it drop something? Oh, wait. We have something right here. Oh, the final furnace, I think. The dragon furnace. Okay, that is cursed. I guess I can smelt the unsmeltable object here. All right, let's put it right there. And it made a subscribe button. The developer of this mod had too much fun with this. Okay. Well, let's get the subscribe button, guys. And that is the final mission. Go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> okay. Well, with that being done, guys, this could be Minecraft, but the furnaces get weirder. So with that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great one. And here's the video just like this one. Bye, guys.